Morning, Al. Look Morning, people. Is. And Woo! the Taza. As a Taza. Oh, it's been ages. Well, it's, it's been a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like it's ages, a, yeah, Al. Always. How long has it been? A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. What have you done? What have you been up to? Oh, dog fostering. Doggies. Yeah. Uh, working. We had a workshop yesterday, which was I marvellous. I saw that on Facebook. They were so good. They were so good. They all did brilliantly. Bit of leather. Bit of leather, can't yeah, be a bit of leather. Yeah, I did see that, yeah. It's lovely. The smell in the hall was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, you get it in candles and stuff, don't you, leather? Yeah. Oh, do you? In candles? Yeah, yeah the smell. Oh, no, oh, sorry. The, the actual leather. I was going to say. The fragrance of it. I'm not sure it's the smell the same in a candle. No, yeah. But <laughs> leather it, smell. Yeah. Got you. So you had fun? We had great fun. Ah, so great that was fun. local. Was that local to you? Yeah, we, I've, I've been doing some in the village hall down the oh, road from me. So nice. we're about to launch our autumn series. So, oh. so keep watching. I'll post. I'll post it on Facebook. So. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, so what have I been up to since I've seen you? Not a lot. Dog sitting. Dog sitting. Yeah, it seems that I've unofficially <laughs> turned into the dog doggy hotel of our <laughs> of our close. You know, it's like, and I'm not complaining because they're all wonderful. Um, but I came, I turned up from work yesterday and he was like, oh, we've got a visitor. And this little French bulldog comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was there yesterday. Yeah, Haru. 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 Aww. Which means um, joy, apparently. But not in French. Not in French. I can't remember what language it is, but he is joy. He is. Aww. He's very naughty, though. He's like, but naughty, not in a bad way, naughty. Naughty. Cheeky. Yeah, exactly. All French bulldogs have got that element to them, haven't they? Though they're just a little bit mi the mischievous. Yeah, that's the right Aww. word for it. Yeah, I don't mind because I love dogs. I think dogs are the best. Um, my two cats weren't impressed though because they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're not keen. My cats don't mind dogs, but they don't like the ones with the flat faces. Yeah. So for some reason, especially if the flat faces get in their face. Yeah. Which, Aren't which... they bigger than them? Hey? Aren't they bigger than the Dave Frenchies? is. Dave is a massive cat. <laughs> but he is huge. But even he's like, mm, does that noise. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I've got, he's half, my cat's a half Maine Coon. Wow. Whereas Pearl just looks like a normal size. Dave is hench. <laughs> he is a big boy. He's a cat. He is a big boy. Like he's a, he, like he sits in the window and it just takes up most of the window. Um, <laughs> What's out the light? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, Alison. Oh, no, I went to a concert. Oh, did you? That was good, yeah. That Very was really good. good. Um, deconstructed uh, Kiddie's Playhouse yesterday when I finished oh. work. Oh, right, as you do. So, until the rain started, that <gasps> was. Didn't it come down? We were on, we were packing up from the, the workshop, so it was in and out and in and out. It got drenched. Oh, did you? It wasn't too bad here. <gasps> Considering it came they down. were saying that it was going to be thunderstorms and lightning. Yeah. We didn't get the thunder and lightning, but we did get heavy rain. <coughs> we got rain. Enough to water the garden. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, enough to do that. After See, the last couple of days, I was quite happy to have rain, to be fair. It was yeah. so hot. And me. It, I don't, I, yeah. Too hot. It can be too hot. Sorry, I'm just... I'm, Aren't I'm we just, very British? We're so British. We're never <laughs> happy, are we? Um, what is coming up on your Sunday show? Oh, am I excited about today? <gasps> Um, there's just a few items in today that I am definitely, definitely interested in. Um, by the way, in your eight o'clock hour, your first three auctions, which you know what we mean by that, they're hidden. Oh. They're not available on the web. The reason why we have done that, you want everyone to have the same chance because what happens... Okay, um, sometimes, yeah, we get like an order of like 20 and that means everybody else misses out. So we're going to make it fair for absolutely everybody. The first three auctions, you oh, can't see. Mystery you can't box. see. It's the first time Ross has ever done it. He says, I want to make it absolutely fair for everyone. Because, yeah, we, yeah, I, I, yeah that makes get sense. That. So just stay with me. Just stay with me. What else is coming up on today's show? Well, um, I mentioned this yesterday afternoon. Haven't seen this in ages. We've got your tiger tail. I know. We've got big I've never seen those big reels. Big reels. Big reels. Keep on turning. Yeah. Keep on turning. My baby. Sorry, we were singing disco yesterday. <laughs> well, now it's going to be reels, isn't it? Um, in the monochrome, so you've got the white yeah. and the black. Well, all the necklaces on here that have used it, so these two, have used the white. Have you? Oh, you've used this? Yeah. Well, I've used the smaller reels version. Yeah. 
which I, I swear by. Beautiful, you I get masses it. on there. And you don't mind those showing. Do you remember the old Stevie <coughs> Gray colour? Oh, well, you yeah, didn't want to see looks it. Like steel. Those you could wear. You could just put one gemstone on that on that black and, yeah. and, and a, a crimp, crimp clasp yeah. on the end. You're good to go. Yeah, absolutely. That could be the look itself. So shop ahead on those jewellery makers. We have 300 <gasps> and you do get both. Oh, do you? Yeah, you get it's both. It's not what, so, get that one or that one? No, you get both of them. Oh. They're 0 0.8 millimetres and there's 50 metres on each reel. So that's wow. 100 metres you're going to be getting for early bird price. Wow. Which is amazing. So yeah. do shop ahead on those. Then at 9 o'clock, lovely jewellery makers, oh, we're going to be moving over to our lovely Azataza. What amazing jewellery, Alison. I know, but what amazing gemstones. Oh. It's one of my favourite designs. I've made this in so many different gemstones, um, but it just I just love it. I absolutely love so it. So you have Botswana. I know. The Botswana is amazing, isn't and it? And Sakura. I know. Two natural agates. That is Incredible. some project. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lovely the colours. Yeah, absolutely. Stunning. So your Sakura is the more nude, and then the Botswana is the more, the richer tones. Yes. Yeah. Um, both totally and utterly natural. Please do not misinterpret your Botswanas and your Sakuras for your standard sort of dyed, which no. are lovely too. Yeah. Um, but they are so much rarer. If you do want the vibrant colours, then don't you worry. We've also got those. Yeah. Um, I mean, how joyful is that? Oh, it is. It is. And, yeah. I, and I kept this one. I did. I nearly, I nearly made this one up and ombre it. <laughs> but I thought, no, no. Don't be predictable. Don't be predictable. They're stunning, aren't yeah. they? And They're of course, you, there's nothing stopping you kind of cherry picking colours no. out if you want, maybe complementing other um, other gemstones. Um, but I really like that sort of carnival of colour that you see with this uh, project. Plus, you get Alison's instructions. Yes. Um, which one's it for? Uh, the bib. So that's the bib. for the bib. And then do okay. the ones the chainmail. Okay, so. so you get the instruction for that beautiful uh, graduated bib. Then at 10 o'clock, oh, we've been swooning over these this morning, jewellery makers. Swoon, swoon. Totally. Oh, Look natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ross has just gone, whoa. Natural ripple pearls. They come Stunning. presented in this beautiful, beautiful display. And that seems right because the quality yeah. of the pearls is on a whole other level. Um, we have, FYI, a hundred opportunities. Mm. And you saw what we did yesterday with your Olmec. Basically, Wayne's on holiday. Scott's on holiday. Oh. We don't know if Dave's on holiday. But he's not here. But he's not here. Um, and I think Dave would be fully supportive of it anyway. Um, loads of the managers are on holiday. So we were very naughty yesterday with our old mech. Uh -oh. I've, I've got a feeling that we're going to do the same today with your ripple pearls, which more than anything, we absolutely should not be doing on pearls because they are so difficult to source. Um, but we've got an incredible 100 quantity of those jewelry makers at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we have a whole our selection of mega deals Ooh. in your beautiful when was the last time we saw this black opal really oh <gasps> wow <coughs> excuse Look me we used that. to have black opal quite a lot didn't we yeah 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 um that's amazing not for a very quality. long time yeah incredible um and i know i always use the same um analogy and i have done for many years if you let a firework off at, at day, you'll see the colours, won't you? And it'll be yeah. lovely and very new. Yeah, Everyone nice. will go, ooh. But if you let that same firework off, uh, off at night, oh you're going to see the colours and yeah. then some. So that deeper body colour really uh, um, highlights the internal play of colour. Um, so they are at 11 o'clock, jewellery makers. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going to... Oh, Alison, I'll tell you what, your projects today. You've I got know. Botswana, Sakura. Yeah. And then at 12 o'clock, you've got the colour wheel. I know. I, I've not had the colour wheel before. Have you not? Is it the no. first time you've worked with it? So. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've been on the show with it, but I've never actually had it, I don't think. Historically, that's probably one of our most considered strands. And I don't mean price point. I mean sort of rarity. Yeah. For the first time ever, what? It's in a project, yeah. as far as Ross knows. Yeah. Well, I was saying, in, in terms of our history, that's got to be one of the 
the what yeah the oh there we go the greatest strand we've ever had it's certainly the one that took the longest time to put together um that's because you've got all the colors yeah. of your jadeite um and they're all <clears throat> um like i said incredibly desirable incredibly valuable natural so you've got lavenders greens reds yellows and the imperial whites all in one um master project so it's gonna be epic absolutely epic, epic. The sun's out. It's a beautiful day. We've got Alison. Aww. What more could we possibly want? Well, okay. Oh, you've got guys to join us. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. We need you to be with us. Yeah. You're the, that's it. You are the main ingredient. They are. The main ingredient. Maybe cake would be good. <laughs> cake would be nice, wouldn't uh -huh. it, to add on our, on our Sunday morning? Something like well, that. A little bit of cake. Or a bacon butty. <gasps> oh, done. I had a conversation with one of my neighbours yesterday, Haru's mum and we were talking about food and she was like yeah <laughs> she popped over to pick haru and it was like oh you, have you been for a drink and she said yeah 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 i'd love one i was like okay <laughs> so we sat down oh. a glass of wine i my arm didn't need too much twisting <laughs> um anyway and she was saying she doesn't like smoked bacon i haven't stopped thinking about it since she said it i don't it. like smoked bacon what i don't like smoked anything pretty much sorry do you like normal bacon? Yeah. But not smoke. But not the smoky taste. She was saying that's all I can taste. Yeah. Do you Just... like smoked bacon or normal bacon? Okay, Ross, perhaps I'm, I'm the minority then, because Ross is saying I... You with me, Ads? You like smoked. <laughs> um, Ad, uh, Ross is just saying if he's buying it at home, he would buy normal, but he will eat smoked bacon. Smoked or normal? Either. Either. I feel like... Yeah, they're both delicious, don't they? Aren't they? Um, Lauren, right, we're 50 50. Oh, you can't sit on that fence if you had to choose one. Well, no, that's one. what you've all said, so. Smoked. Smoked or not smoked? If it's on a menu, Lauren, which would you choose? Probably smoked. There you go. She said smoked. I mean, I think. <laughs> Ross is saying if it was on a menu, he'd order smoked. However, to buy at home, he would buy the normal one. I, we don't know why. What's the difference? Who doesn't like crispy bacon? Oh, crispy bacon! Now it's you're talking. It's got to be crispy. It's got to be crispy. He likes it like pale. Oh, no. Oh, no. John does. Show it the pan. No, no, no. I like no, it crispy. No, it's going to be crispy and fresh bread and you squash it yeah, and all the bread takes on the delicious. shape of the bacon. Oh. Do you know how I cook Lovely. my bacon when I do? I'll cook it. Yeah. Like, so it's cook, well cooked. Leave it yeah. so it crisps. Then just quickly warm it up. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know how we got on this conversation. Right, should we get cracking? With what? Sorry? You, he's like, I've told you this. It's on the front corner. Oh, yeah. Copper Mojave. Copper Mojave. Um, <laughs> we talk about food a lot, don't we? Well, Food's we all good. need it. Yeah, that's oh, true. Look at that. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Jury makers, get ready. No, no, hang on a minute. It's a pound. What? It's a pound. There's loads of you there. You're up. You're on it. Well done. We've had it hidden, just to make it fair. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Ham oh, Ella in Essex was first. Well done, Ella. Well done, lovely. There are tons of you there. How they will sell out. 38, 48, gone. Well done. There's loads of you there. Oh, wow. have you seen this strand, Roscoe? <gasps> I can't believe you're doing it. Have you seen it, though? Ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Look at the quality of this lapis. Wow. Oh, oh, um saucers it's natural it's gone crazy it's gone crazy <laughs> Alison you think ah uh, I mean look at it it's I know. stunning seriously oh my god check out your baskets you gotta be quick you have to be quick on your one pound deals I love it it just shakes us into our day doesn't it it does but but you and, and by doing that you're getting the most incredible bargain absolutely well done, everyone. Well oh, that's done. Stunning. Uh, 
Fired agate. Oh yeah, got it. Oh, see, I call this dragon agate. Yes, I can see that. Dragon vein. Yeah, it's got the skin, like the dragon skin yeah. pattern on it. Yeah, love it. Love beautiful. A bit like, uh, do you remember Terra Jasper as well? Yes. Terra Jasper yes. was a little bit like this. It's not Jasper though. It's agate. It's an agate. Yeah, you have this wonderful kind of like scaling across the surface. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Oh <coughs> my gosh! It's a burn. <laughs> How much is it, Al? It's a burn. <laughs> I have got a cough, so I shouldn't really. No, do no, that. you shouldn't do that. No, okay, don't do that again. No, it's my. F I will do it though. <laughs> you, you know that. It's a burn. It's, it's crazy. Burns. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and just not be able to talk. Yeah. Um, well done. Well done. I have got a sterling silver stardust piece Isn't it of bead. Lovely. It's beautiful. There it is. There it is. Perfectly formed. Well, I mean, with all the strands that we've brought you so far, they'd be perfect, wouldn't they? No, that's not. What? That's no, not. no, no. Good. Sterling silver. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to say it's still nine ninety nine. What's good for to say. precious metal yeah which uh, is an incredible price when you say the size of it yeah and it's uh like i said it's not base metal no it's not even silver plated base no. metal a price that you're not paying we have 160 available let's see how many of you are watching shall we this uh, glorious sunday morning every single person that is watching we are certain we'll get it we'll we'll purchase this you'll add it to your basket because this next price drop is not your price not your price did you like that ads little finger waggle oh this is going to be a multi-buy 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 isn't it well it already is can you imagine that on a hoop earring? Yeah, perfect. Can you imagine double. that with any of your gemstones? Oh, totally. totally. With, it, with, it, with your ripple pearls that we've got coming up. The final opportunities of your amazing Amazonite and Neon Appetite. And with anything. On, on your the black. Thread. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready? No. Remember, this is Ross. This is Ross. He says, I'm going to stagger the calls because this isn't your price, jewellery makers. Solid 925 sterling silver. They're going to sell out. We've got over 100. Lisa in Pfeiffer says, I'll have 10. Thank you very much. Of course. And Yorkshire's got five. And Linda's got six. And Suffolk's got four. And Surrey. And what, what, what? Yes. A, a, a stretchy bracelet made up of them. Yeah. Why am I so confused? <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be one of those days. I just had one of those moments, you know, where like a... Uh, um, Complete blank. Yeah, just like a, I had a little bit of a software issue oh internally. Gosh. Just like... <laughs> oh, you were affected by the whole uh, software clearly, thing where you just, yeah, just a delayed reaction. Yeah, just went into a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Loading face. <laughs> Yeah, well, exactly. You put that on a bit of leather. It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's an amazing sterling silver bracelet. You put it on a cord, maybe some macrame or something like that. Or, yeah, with your jadeites, it's coming up. One pound. I can't quite do that. That the is... One pound 99. <laughs> it's not the same, is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I went from Frank Butcher to Well Out the Dog. Oh, do you remember? That's a great name for a dog, isn't it? Well, well Out. Well Out. He was an Alsatian, wasn't he? No, he was a Belgian. Was he? He was a Belgian shepherd. A Belgian. I didn't know there was a difference. Okay. <laughs> they look the same, don't they? There's three different varieties of oh, Belgians. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Three, four. Three. There we go. One pounds and 99 pence. Um, amazing. Angela's got 10. Linda's got 10. Mary's multi bought. Durham, well done getting five. Suzanne's got four. Some might say, I have to say, Wellard was one of the best characters in EastEnders. <laughs> I mean, he was very char charismatic. The delivery he? of his lines was spot on. Oh, perfect. He was like, his acting skills were impeccable. Yeah, totally. 
He stayed. He's, well, yeah, he was a method actor, so yeah. he stayed constant. Stayed in character. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Even when he wasn't being uh, um, a, a being filmed, he was still a dog. He was like. <laughs> That has taken it to the to the ultimate, isn't it? He was committed, yeah, very, very, <laughs> even down to the food he ate. Yeah, really, everything. everything. <laughs> there, there he is. He is. Yeah, he's a belly. Look at him with the with oh yes, with the classic market behind look. There he is, well, lad. <laughs> I'll show you a photo. There he is. He's glorious, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit older there. Well, lad, the actor. He's got his own Wikipedia page. That as a dog, as a dog. You have literally, you are at the peak of success. Is there another famous dog? Yeah, there's loads. Loads More of famous, famous dogs. dog than Wellard. Yeah, there's loads. What about Lassie? Lassie was several dogs, though. Oh, British dog. Right, okay. Um, you know you've made it. <laughs> you know you've made it. Look at, oh, look how old he is there in 2000. Yeah. Is it six? Is it, what's his real name? What's his yeah, real name? Be. Kyle? Kite, I was going to say, I'm not feeling Kyle as a name. He was actually played by Chancer, Zena, and Kite. Right, okay. It's three different dogs. He, d he, d he lived from 94 to 2008, the character. Ah, well done, oh. my lad. <laughs> Ross is probably getting... If you go to his Wikipedia page, look how much information is written on Wellard the dog. <laughs> there are politicians that have less information on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a lot of episodes. He was he very was. popular. Who's he? Who's he? He's... Oh, did he? I thought it was... Um... Ricky and Bellard. I thought it was Ricky. No, I thought it was... Not um, no, it wasn't Ricky. No, who was the actor? Robbie, yes. He's got... <laughs> <laughs> look at the sub... <laughs> look at the subheading. Wellard has a paragraph on Wikipedia, impact on popular culture. I'm intrigued. Can you I, read it? I'll... Wellard is considered what? a celebrity dog and during I can't read it from there his EastEnders tenure the dogs he played oh he did personal appearances at events he was even at Crufts he was the top dog at Richley was the top dog yeah that's amazing love it there you go just reflected on Wellard love it what a dog I wonder if any of our dogs be could become the next EastEnders canine. No. <laughs> we get yes, I'm, I'm totally dog. up for a jewellery maker yeah. dog. Totally. They could model the strands, yeah. you know. We used, to, we used to have one with Chrissy, didn't we? Yeah. Chrissy was like a... And, and I saw Chrissy the other day. Oh, did you? Because she's the next door neighbour. Hey, she is getting old now, bless Aww. her. She gave... Um, she Marie, retired. She gave Marie a little... Yeah, she is retired. She gave Marie... Although Marie's got a puppy now at the moment. Oh, I see. She fosters uh, blind dogs. Yeah. And when they're in training, obviously. Um, so she, uh, Marie texted me. She was like, oh, we've got, we've got a, a foster uh guide dog Aww. um so she's she and she basically says that because she knows that the girls will come over and cuddle it and this is all part of the tick boxes yeah yeah um yeah but poor chrissy gave maria right fright though because she must have eaten something <gasps> and apparently she almost died oh, no. almost died but she's all right she's okay and the vets didn't know what it was that she ate she got banned in 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 jm from people feeding her because everyone was feeding she's a labrador uh, she so she, she used to have a plate of carrots that people could take a carrot and give her a bit, didn't <laughs> they? We all kept feeding her, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so she was getting fatter weight. and fatter and fatter. <laughs> Chrissy, it was great having a dog around. She was lovely. It was great. Anyway, should we get back to our jewellery making, <laughs> shall we? Sorry, we've spoken quite a lot about dogs. Um, now, because Wayne's away. Oh? Peacock shell pearl and white shell pearl. 30 of each of them, separate auctions. Well, no, we shouldn't be playing them because we were only talking yesterday that the fact that we can't... How, when was the last time we saw Shell Pearl? Yeah. I'll put the, them both. Oh, you were asking for them individually. So if you're one of those people that messaged Russ, 
We aren't supposed to, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Uh, start with the peacock and then I'll bring you the pure white. So they would go amazing with Mark's projects yesterday. Beautiful. And we were saying, Alison, yeah. was, I can't remember the last time I saw Shell Pearl. No, because we used to have big bundles yeah, of them, didn't loads. we? But, we but it's that knock on effect, isn't it? Yeah. Of, 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 of the, the pearl yeah. industry. Um, even here at twenty nine ninety nine, that's amazing. You've got that beautiful classic Tahitian colour. Which of course is so sought after. Um, and remember when we I spoke recently about natural blue acoya pearls. Mm. Um, acoya pearls can form in the powder blues that we had, but it can also form in the dark and more Tahitian like colours. Right. Um, so we've established that we definitely should not be playing this. And we've established that we've only got 30 of them. Mm. Um, obviously the graphics are live, so we are playing these. First price crash, not what you're paying. Uh oh. Not paying nine ninety nine. They're brand new. We've got thirty. Third of the stock, already gone. Well done, everybody. Not dilly-dallying. We haven't seen Shell Pearl in ages, but it does make sense, doesn't it? After everything that we've been talking about pearls, Shell Pearls will be affected, because there is Pearl in a Shell Pearl. <laughs> 7 99 Wow. £7.99? Fantastic. The beautiful shell pearl. Oh, I hope Mark's watching. <laughs> I hope he's watching. Um, speaking of Mark, there's another Mark there. Hello, Mark in Lanarkshire. Hello, Liz in Lancashire. Hello to you, Patricia and Anne and Amanda. Um, Helen, make a Brenda good. Hello to Zoe. Uh, hello to Sylvia. You've got yours. Bertha Tidfield, Mary and Jerry, uh, Susie, Julie, Warwickshire, um, Sue, Amanda. Oh, make her in Warwickshire. Did you hear the concert? Uh, do you live in Warwick? Mind you, Warwick's just quite a big county. <laughs> I'm just assuming. Did you hear us? I'm, you know, just assuming. <laughs> oh, Baker in Warwickshire, you must live in Warwick. Um, that was because I was thinking it didn't like it was a very noisy concert. If you live local to Warwick Castle, pardon. Well, concerts are noisy, yeah. But like <laughs> I was like, if you lived right next to it, you'd be like, oh, I don't need to buy a ticket because I can hear every single word. <laughs> like a silent concert. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? There's McFly. We're all sat there with headphones. <laughs> silent concert. And then someone's filming you all going, what on yeah, earth? Yeah, <laughs> how bizarre that would be. Um, 7 99 That's unbelievable. That shocked me. You've got the white ones coming up as well. Oh, I'd just alternate, I would. I'd go like sort of oh, Just blue. every other black and yeah. white. Peacock Very, white, peacock um, white. Uh, I want to say Zandra Rhodes, but it wasn't, was it? Who was the black and white lady uh, designer? Uh, Mary Quant. Mary Quant, yes. And a bit of uh, Chanel. Oh, yes. Chanel's all about the monochromes, aren't she? She was, yeah. Loves a bit of monochrome. Make sure you check it out. These are on the verge of selling out. There's loads of multi-buyers getting involved as well. Um, how about putting your peacock shell pearl alongside something like Amazonite? Oh, okay. as soon as you said that, I looked over there. Definitely. Yeah. It would go both with the Amazon. Amazon and the neon and the yeah I can't speak this morning that's all good I'm usually like that I was like that yesterday it took me ooh, um, it took me um, a good hour or so to actually you know figure out how how to how to talk <laughs> how's this talking thing work yeah. again oh yes oh, yeah, yeah. it's not like it's my job you know um, well done everybody make sure you're checking out your baskets there are loads of you there and I think it's on the verge of selling out well done well done well done let's do the white ones Oh, shall I put it up to the neckline? Here we go. Oh, that's Can't just go wrong, stunning, is it? And and as against pearls, this is these don't mind a little bit of hairspray. They don't mind, you know. They're less precious. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you if you are, yeah, a cultured pearl. Obviously, you know that we love cultured pearls. Yes. But if you are looking for everyday pearls. There is still pearl in it and shell, obviously, that's basically reconstituted. They are that much more durable. Um, so um, 
you know, the rule of culture pills is basically it's the last thing you put on and the first thing you take off. Because obviously after you've done your makeup, after you've done your hairspray and things like that, culture pills do not like those or, or put your perfume on. Whereas you don't need to be quite so cautious with a culture pill. They're a bit more durable. We're at £29.99. We've got 30 of them. We'll do it in one price crash. No surprises. Lots of you have already shopped ahead. £7.99. Wow. Remember, Ross has put a slide together for you. You've got one hour to check out. But actually, it's not one hour, it's half an hour now. You should, do you know what you should do, Ross, with this? You should have a countdown. What, they can't do a countdown? We could just do a clock, couldn't we? To be fair, sometimes you do run over that clock. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, <laughs> scrap that idea. It was a great idea, Al. Park that one. <laughs> um, Pamela, hello to you. Pauline's got two. Zoe, hello to you. Uh, London's got two. Dorset's got two. Sorry, he's got four. And well done, Jane's got two. Pauline's got three. Helen and Mark and Patricia and Susie and Jackie in London. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. Do get your text messages in as well. Oh, so dear. you need to help me out as well. I, I need oh. a little bit of inspiration. Oh. So next Saturday, yeah. it's uh, Willow's turning eight. Well, oh, she's not turning gosh. eight on Saturday. She turns eight on, on Wednesday. But she's got she her party, party on the Saturday. Aww. So we've got I've got that sorted, you know, just like yeah. kids' picky food and everything. But I've got a few friends coming back, and I don't know what to cook, but it's got to be convenient because I'm going to be out of the house. Bar so what should I cook? Barbie? Well, that's what I was thinking, but is that just a bit boring? No, it's not. So I need your help. What should I cook? Something that I, that, that I can do before I go, ideally. You see if it... Samosas oh. and picky bits, like tapas. Yeah, yeah. Tapas, oh. Yeah. Some nice salads. Dips. Do you reckon? Yeah, cheese board. Cheese board, oh, I love cheese. Oh. I'm liking these ideas, yeah. yeah. Big box of samosas. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad show. I, you do, samosas are ace, aren't they? I was also been, um, my neighbour was talking about, Cos, is it Costco? I've never yeah. been to Costco. Have you never been to Costco? Apparently it's really good. I've never been. You do like have Tom's to be like, yeah, you'll go and you'll go for something specific, come like, a, something I else. don't know, like a, um, a cake, and then you'll come back with a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's got everything. So I'm like, I need to go to this place. I've you never do. been. You need a canoe. Well, there you go. I'll, I'll go to Costco. <laughs> come back with a canoe. I'll, I'll pick you up a canoe, Ross. <laughs> Just go to work with it. Yeah, Ross. <laughs> Um, okay, next up. Natural, faceted, sapphire. Wow. Yeah, wow. Natural, faceted, sapphire. It's not a short strand, this. Oh, look at that colour. It's amazing. It's the depth, isn't it? It's, yeah. For, for natural sapphire to have that you know, cashmere-like blue, midnight blue. Think about the Royal Engagement Ring, basically. Then, you know it's exciting, because normally they'd have to undergo some kind of heat treatment yeah. or diffusing or filling to get that lovely colour. This is, tot I'd use this with pearls. Just separate your pearls. Totally. Hiya, Judith, have you given me a good idea? Hiya, Judith. Chili in a slow cooker, yes! Taco salad and dips. Ah, oh, yes, Judith. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, that is a good call, Judith. And make those like big, I could make those. Have you ever done um, like tacos with, what are they called? Your wrap bread, basically, tortillas. Oh, flatbreads. Oh, yeah, with tortillas. tortillas. Have, you yeah. Ever do, have you made those? Like no. soft tortillas? Yeah. They're really good. So you cover it in a little bit of oil, whack them in your air fryer, and mm. I can do that before as well. Yeah. And you get big tortillas. Big oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, better than more. normal. Normal tacos just in disintegrate, don't they? You just get in a mess. So, like, you want a big one that you can scoop. Big scoop. Hi, Amanda. Um, Blue Peter. 
Shep and Petra and Goldie. Oh, so I was still thinking food then. I was yeah. like, whoa, 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 what are we talking about now? We're not Shep, eating Shep, Petra and Goldie. I remember oh, yeah. Goldie. Wizard of Oz Toto. Paul O'Grady's Buster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Buster. Oh, I miss Paul O'Grady. Yeah. Um, Hello, Mandy. What about who? Schmeichel. Schmeichel from Corrie. Oh, I never watched Corrie. <laughs> What's Schmeichel then, Mandy? What kind of dog is Schmeichel? I'm guessing a schnauzer. Yeah, I like schnauzers. Schnauzers always look really grumpy, don't they? <laughs> no. Um, hello to you. Kathleen in Manchester. Hi, Elle. Oh. I'm going to my first craft oh. fair today. I would like to thank everyone at Jewelry Maker for making it possible. Oh, bless oh, you, Kathleen. Good luck, Kathleen. Good luck, my darling. Yeah, that's amazing. You I... made it possible, not us. Mm. You did. Was it you who I saw with a massive table laid out? ready to go i'm sure i saw a post it was oh and i can't remember your name sorry but i wonder if it's you oh did you Kathleen. post a picture on on facebook because good I, luck it looked amazing lovely. it really did yeah, yeah good, good luck, luck. Oh, you'll you'll be you'll Ooh, do awesome exciting. and you'll enjoy it as well that's the most important yeah. isn't it you will enjoy it right um so if you are like kathleen maybe starting your own little business um then sapphire is one of those gemstones is immediately recognized and immediately has that perceived value rightfully yes. so 40 carats you're getting jewelry makers but remember i've only got 27 opportunities of these again that beautiful matching you've got that lovely rich regal blue which when still to this day well, i mean i know that our viewers know that sapphire comes in a rainbow of colors but still to this day blue is the most sought after we could bring this to you at 99.99 all day long couldn't we yeah all day long and i don't think that's unreasonable you've got to remember that's 40 carats so if you did the maths what, what's that like two pounds something in a carrot something like that yeah oh we've just oh some a moment of someone just dawned on ross Quite bizarrely, you get 20% off. It's not, it's not this month's birthstone. <laughs> it is bizarre. Ruby, they did this last year as well. Ruby is July's birthstone. Sapphire is September's. But anyway, hang on. We're giving you extra 20% off anyway, regardless. Oh I almost gosh. feel like somebody in our, um, in our IT team or whoever does the website. Is that IT? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I generally don't know. It's like, can't remember which birthstone goes for July. Can't remember. It's either ruby or sapphire. I tell you what, I'll do 20% for both. That's how I feel how that panned out. Um, use the code July20 and you'll get a further 20% off this strand. This next price is also not your price. It's a big jump, isn't it? How many of us were thinking that he was going to go to 49.99? You literally just crashed two 20% off that price, Ross. Wow. Not 20% off, you crashed two 20% <laughs> and he's going again. And you got a further 20% off. There's only 27 of these available though. Like David, I will be multi-buying on this. I'm a September baby, so it's a given, isn't it? So yeah, not July's birthstone, it's September's birthstone, but weirdly... <laughs> Yeah, who knows what you're going to get off in 20% uh, off in September? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> so it's £3 off 14 99 It's a £12, yeah. No, no, no. So I was just thinking, how are we doing a strand of this length at £12? Yeah, of sapphire. Of genuine sapphire. That's amazing, isn't it? There's not nearly enough people on the phone lines. I almost feel like we're, we're, we're like, we've, we've, I feel like we've kind of like distracted you onto sort of your famous dogs. <laughs> um, and now we're almost missing what's in front of us right now. There is natural blue sapphire for £12 on our screens using the discount code July 20. What on earth? 14 pounds and 99 pence you know what ross if they don't sell out i'll be getting some of those but the pearls literally go pearl sapphire pearl sapphire pearl sapphire how amazing is that and Incredible. it goes back to kathleen's amazing craft fair that she's going to do she's going to smash it today you know if you when someone comes along and says oh i like that piece of jewelry what is it and you immediately you say sapphire you know your the respect that, that, that those yeah. customers will have for you as well will be will go up well, I know when we when I started here, I'd never dreamed I'd be working with the, no. the big five. 
No? Never. And I've now worked with all of them. And, and that's only been through jewellery maker. You know, you don't go to your, to your average shop and say, oh, can I have a 30 odd centimetre strand of sapphires? Can I have 40 carats? Yeah. 40 carats. Yeah. But I only want to give you 15 pounds. Yeah, right. They'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Jog on. Jog on. 12 pounds actually Bye. with your July 20. Unbelievable. Amazing. I'm going to leave that with you. Um, okay, we are going to do a run of auctions that Wayne said, please replay these because he needs them gone. Right, okay. So you got to remember oh. our vault is not endless. We need space. We need to manage the space. And he did something sp stupid the other day when it was he all He did there. a lot stupid. Oh my goodness me, what is that? I've never seen this before, Ross. Have you seen this? You know what you're seeing on the computer screen? It ain't nothing like what I have in my hand. Oh my goodness me. There are four. I've never seen this before. Ro Wayne did something silly on the price on a load of red jadeite the other day. He did. Okay, I don't know what he did. I, this is the first time I'm seeing it. It's absolutely incredible. We'll do it in one price crash because you've got, there's only four. Okay, 30 seconds. Oh! That's just amazing, isn't That's it? incredible. Absolutely incredible. I think I'm actually holding it upside down just because you've got, I'm looking at that vase there. Oh my goodness me. The level of artistry yeah. goes, yeah, it goes back to that conversation that we had yesterday about when, how, you. There are four. The middle doesn't move on this one, does it? You've no. got, you've got the circle of heaven. Which is gorgeous. And the you've delicateness got... that centre part is in there is yeah. incredible. If this Sorry. doesn't sell out, can I, Ross, can I buy it? Straight down, one price crash. One four nine. Just to put this into perspective, jewelry makers, look at the size of this for a red jade. Amazing. The rarest colour of all. Look at the size. That's absolutely incredible. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. £37.25. pence. There are four available within the vault. That's unbelievable. It shocked me, the size of this, to yeah. be truthful. Because normally red jade, like we do expect it to be that much smaller, naturally, because remember how it forms. You've got that wonderful richness of colour. This is measuring, what, 53 millimetres. It's huge. Absolutely huge. I've only got four, though. There's David there. There's Hertfordshire there. There's more of you with it in your basket, by the way, than we actually have available. You do need to check them out and remember that these will only stay available until the top of the hour. I love this because it's it's slightly different to the normal carving. So there's yeah. no dragon. There's no, you know, if you're not into the, the Chinese culture side of it, yeah. this is quite a neutral one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's global, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely global. Oh, if they, they're available come the top of the hour, I'll be getting some of those. Another one of my favorite carvings, um, so much so, I actually included it, uh, the pea pod in the Willow and Tick collection. Um, did, did yeah, because it's representative of family. You know, you have your cosy little pod and all your little peas then inside that are all protected beautifully. We're gonna do this in one price crash. Type A red jade eye. Love this. Absolutely love this. On manager special day, uh, Wayne did something silly. He did. He really did. It's £49 did. Pounds and 99 pence for natural type A red jade eye. That's absolutely incredible. Remember how this forms? If it forms, um, it's when the boulder will oxidize. Um, but if you can imagine biting into an apple, just to put this into perspective, the flesh of the apple would be maybe your greens and your other colors. Um, the skin will be the red. So it is very rare to get solid red in any piece of jewelry. Um, yeah, that's why many, many jade experts will actually say red is rarer than any other color, far rarer than imperial green uh, jade eye. Um, how have we got, Roscoe? Six available opportunities. Again, make sure you are checking out your baskets um, to guarantee uh, your success. Ten carats in this beautiful piece. Um, well done. I'm going to leave it with you. Congratulations. I have. It's like an infinity, this one. Lark said not it. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful, isn't it? I said earrings. Yeah, lovely. 
It's just gorgeous shape. I absolutely adore this. Now what we're going to do some two price crashes. It's never been lower than this price. And then Wayne swoops on in here before his Ollie Bobs <laughs> and did this next price crash. How many have we got? Five, okay. All the meaning behind the infinity design. Mm. Yeah, perfect earrings. There'd be a lovely, a lovely single pendant as well. Yeah. Um, again, you've got that beautiful uh, natural red colour. So this is type A grade, Burmese jadeite, completely irreplaceable. I mean, look at the split pay. But this is this is a Wayne deal. He's only going to answer to himself on this one. The other day, came on air with his manager special and half the price, £49.99. It's he, all you're doing, Wayne. He did go on one. Was he on one? Yeah, he was That's on because they're all was competing for two hours. one another. Yeah, yeah. Poor old Lindsay <laughs> came off with her ear ringing. Oh, yeah, I do sympathise. Yeah, Wayne's very loud. Very, very loud. Yeah, we disqualified him the day after because Brie only had one auction. Oh, like, yeah, that's no, hardly no, you're fair. You're only meant to have one auction. Um, Yorkshire maker, new customers getting involved, £12.49 pence only. Um, I've only got a handful of them, so again, it'll be first come, first serve basis. This is, we're, we're, we're basically... Um, Hold on to the coattails, basically, of the manager special deals. <laughs> um, so <laughs> um, make sure make sure you're checking out. They shouldn't be this price. It previously closed at ninety nine ninety nine. Lorraine, Yorkshire, Angela, Maker, Maker, new customers. Well done to you all. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Fiona and Dorset, you're there as well. Amazing. There's loads and loads and loads of you getting involved. Don't forget your early bird as well. All about your tiger tails, where you get the monochrome colours. Now, oh, we launched this the other day. Lavender jadeite. I've got four left. I think this is the only strand we've got in the entire business, isn't it? I'm fairly sure. Um, we used to have lavender jadeite, not mm. by in abundance, because again, lavender jadeite is incredibly rare. So we've established what the how the red occurs in in uh, jadeite boulders. It's when if the boulder actually oxidizes. Lavender jadeite um, only occurs because of one element called vanadium. The reason why it's as rare as it is, is vanadium is not very abundant in the location of Burma. Now, don't expect it to be like an amethyst purple. It's not the same. No. Um, you know, you are getting a suggestion. It's a whisper, um, a soft tone, basically, like a bluish, purpley, soft tone um, of lavender. And, and again, this is... Chinese Gem Lab certified natural lavender Burmese jade eye. It's the only lavender strand that we have in the entire business. So again, going back to the rarest colours, if you were to speak to um, Stanley Stanley Chu, if you were to speak to Sally Hewer, if you were to speak to Bernard, if you were to speak to uh, um, Ron Schlussel, for example, then they would all say reds and lavenders. They're the rarest colours. Yeah. And they will overtake, they, you know, I think that's a common denominator with them all, that they will overtake the value of imperial green. We can't have many of these left, Ross. Okay, four. Yeah, I didn't think so. And it's a full 38 centimetre strand. We're at 99.99. But that is not where we are stopping. We're going to do it in one price crash. Look at that colour. It you is, it's like it. a soft wisteria-like yes. colour. Wisteria, that's a good one. One price crash. Good luck, because there's only four. And it's irreplaceable. We can't replace even the more... I don't want to say abundant, that's the wrong word. Oh, did we do that, Ross? Did we? Okay, we can't replace, like, your more apple greens, let alone lavender. You know, I remember, I think it was on YouTube somewhere, watching... Because um, you buy jadeite blind effectively yeah, you buy so the big boulder, don't yeah you? you buy the boulder in a hope and they tap it and apparently there's a music there's a sound that each of the boulder makes Love to hear that. um to let you know if there's jade eye or what colors are inside but this is like a, a, like a lot what can only be described as a lottery win if you find lavender inside it's incredibly rare and i remember watching a video on youtube where the whole boulder was lavender and of course worth literally hundreds of thousands if not millions of pounds we only were ever to source from the very get-go 
55 opportunities. So we are literally down to the final four. And I've got Yvonne there, I've got Lorna there, I've got Susan there, I've got Maker there, and I've got Laura there. Um, so two left, I believe, if, if my maths is right. Now, we've done a bit of a, um, a jadeite run. Let's do a closeout deal, <gasps> a jadeite closeout on our, of our own. Yeah. So <laughs> never mind holding on to the coattails of our Wayne. <laughs> You're going one better. We're going to do our own. Woo! You're not sassy. Uh, Adam wants to play safe and stay on the coattails. No, Adam. Let's do it on our own. You'll, you'll be going along, Adam, and that coat's going to rip. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we, we don't... we don't. Oh, imagine this with the lavender. Mm. Because actually, if you put sections of that previous strand in between your type A black jade out like this, it's going to intensify the lavender colours. Well, it's got to, hasn't it? Could you imagine that with one of those ripple pearls hanging down? Oh, it? yes, Alison. That'd look lovely. How many have we got? 40 available opportunities. The graphics are live. This is type A black jadeite. Now, this is what I always find so fascinating about jade is we've discovered why a boulder might, or sections of a boulder might turn red. We've discovered why boulders might turn lavender. A black jadeite forms significantly smaller than any other color and also it takes three times as long and you might be thinking okay it's just a couple of extra extra years <laughs> it's multiple millions of years longer this has effectively progressed through all the color saturations the color wheel um, of your jade eye now this is surely where we should be at 299 surely how about says ross <coughs> excuse me under 100 pounds for natural type A jadeite, we've spoken about designers like Cartier, Dolce & Gabbana, who have at some point included jade. Notice I say jade, not jadeite. So that could be nephrites. It could be, well, you know, it, it doesn't actually say it's totally natural. And they're £35,000. We're at, at, at a double figure price point. I've got wow. 40 available. We're going to do a manager special of our own mm. today. If there's enough for you, we're going to half that price. 30 seconds to show Ross. Can you fetch the red one back, the disc? The disc, the disc. Oh, yes, Alison. I'd have a multi, multi strand to that disc. So I'd probably have two coming down or I'd make it a three strand choker. So it'd have two going from each side at slightly different points on it. How amazing. It would look brilliant. Because you've got loads of anchor points on that, on yeah. that um, red. That I just I just love red jade with black jade. Yeah, I do as well. Just stunning. They, but they work so beautifully. Yeah. No way near enough people. I know, I get it Sunday morning, jewelry makers. But if we want to bring these early bird deals, we've got to make sure that we get that 40 out. 40 out. Because basically, none of us are managers here. Yeah. They don't trust me to manage anyone. No. <laughs> no. You're an excellent manager. Um. <laughs> sorry, Adam is. Adam, sorry, literally is a manager. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> Adam's gonna turn up in a suit. You're a cool manager, though, Adam. That's the thing. That's the thing. Half that price, jewelry makers, for the beautiful rondelles. Do you know, as I said it, I was like, no, actually, Adam is a manager. <laughs> um, sorry, Adam. Um, see, <laughs> here see me after are. the That's show. Fine. We'll have a chat after the show, Al. Um, $49.99, London Lorna, um, David in Lincolnshire, new customers getting involved as well. Totally natural, it's not dyed. Um, genuine type A jade eye, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. This also would go with the uh, Guatemalan jade that we had yesterday <gasps> yes. as well. That amazing carving with the lovebirds. Um, you could suspend it from uh, from that location. Uh, sorry, from that pendant. <laughs> um, yeah, it's from the same location. Angela's there, well done. Loads of multi-buyers. We should have been, or we could have stayed. 
all day long into the moon and back at 99 99 would mm. you agree that's yeah. an amazing price we are talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones still to this day even more so in actual fact given the fact that um and we discussed this at length yesterday kotan mine now illegal to mine that's ten thousand years history done burmese mine closed closed after 800 years history guatemala mine which is this location also closed not because it's deplete but because they've discovered that ancient mayan mask which basically means that archaeologists have taken over the location no gem mining so we cannot access this gemstone so to, for it's silly actually for us to then go ah oh, just half the price <laughs> it should do the opposite shouldn't it it, it, it should go the opposite direction. It sure should. That's what normally happens. The rarer something gets, the more expensive it gets. <coughs> yeah, we're any other short dude on do these. That. Yeah, we're getting short on these. Up goes the price. Yeah, but we are. We're not, not like logical. normal. No. We aren't logical. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like, I, I, I mean, I, I don't like it myself. But you remember when the kids everywhere wanted Prime as a drink? Oh, right. It was stupidly expensive because it was so sought after stupidly expensive i was like no will i'm not spending six pound on a bottle of drink <sighs> and, and it's horrible as well have you ever tried it it's nasty um it's nasty it's so sweet anyway just my opinion my personal taste <laughs> um but it was expensive because people couldn't get hold of it you know there was such a demand for it we're bringing you something that is not mass produced that is a, a rare beautiful gemstone it's inaccessible and then yet we're half in the price well done everybody i'll leave those with you make sure you are checking out your baskets is it time it is time for your early bird jewelry dun, makers dun, it's been dun. a long time since we've had tiger tail you get both of them as well you know and it's a decorative tiger tail so you could leave yeah. it exposed to 100 meters in total you've been shopping ahead on it it's up next <laughs> Now, um, a little bit of an L catchphrase is that I always say we'll romance you with gemstones every day, but we must never forget the practical side of jewellery making. So we need things like our findings, we need our tools, we need our threading materials. And actually, here at Jewellery Maker that broadcast every single day of the year, actually we don't see that much threading. We don't. We used to get it all the time, didn't yeah. we? Had some multicolored on, of the, <laughs> Did of, we? The, of the slightly finer. But I love that I've never seen these big reels of it. No, and perhaps they're new because they are jewelry maker. Mm. So made by us. These are 0 0.8 millimeter, and you, you get make, both. I can't, that, that's the bit I can't believe you get both. 100 meters in total, 50 of both. Well, 30 pounds. 30 pounds is a is a cracking price. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, because you think how much jewellery you can make out of 100 metres. Yeah, exactly. You can make exactly. a lot. A lot of jewellery. When you think what oh, a bracelet's going to probably use, especially if you include things like your clasp and everything, what, six inches, depending on the wrist size. Necklaces, maybe 18 inches, depending mm -hmm. on the length. You know, you can make a lot of jewellery. And it's, it's I, with what Alison said earlier on, you know, your standard tiger tail, if you say tiger tail to me or threading, beading thread, I think about that kind of steel looking wire yeah. that's not particularly attractive. Um, whereas something like this, you could go for the whole illusion look, couldn't you? You know, you could actually have the beading thread exposed. Well, well you would, you would, I, I would absolutely. And because it's the, the thicker gauge, yeah. I would totally put one bead on it. Yeah. and just have it round your neck well, it you would look sensational something like that but it's, the quality is just lovely it is lovely. i love our new have you ones. worked with this then i haven't worked with the thicker gauge i've only worked with the thinner gauge but the i've never seen these before ah. but i loved it I, when i came in this morning that's the first thing i went to i bet i bet the pearls are gorgeous but i went straight to that because you know you need it that's yeah. the thing it's and there's nothing more infuriating than not having the ingredients to make the jewelry totally. now wait a minute we're at 10 pound per 50 meter reel that's a lot of, of beading thread that you're getting for your money. Next price crash. Oh These gosh. are brand new. Still not your price for two. You uh -oh. get both. You do get both. That's five pounds Whoa. per spool. One of yeah, the smaller you know, it's a, ones. It's a maybe. weird one. Can we just throw this one out there? Are these a reel or a spool? Because the reel are normally narrower. Spool are normally taller, but this is that kind of in-between. On those criteria, 
I get a re removal. Oh, I like it. A removal. Yeah, let's go with that. These are flying. We have 300. Well, you could have a spiel, but that sounds even worse. Yeah. No, no. Let's sure have a removal. I had 300. It's approach. It's got to be approaching half, uh, um, a third of the stock wow. being allocated. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence only. Brand new today. That's four pound per reel. They're, it's busy on the phone lines. You can shop with us on the web, the app as well. Um, get them whilst you can, because I can't remember the last time I actually had Tiger Tail. You can knit with this. You can knit with it. Yeah, you can, you can knit, knit with, with it. it. Yeah, and you make if you knit with it. And you tie it together because you've knitted it's, it it will expand so you can make knitted cuffs that oh, slide nice. over your wrist what like a little bit like your viking knit and stuff yeah yeah no proper knitting knitting ah. needle knitting um hi ted at uh, 999 is 10p per meter 2p per bracelet that's not that's oh, well good worked out. Ted. well worked out well we're lower than that now ted so can we work <laughs> this out work it out ross <laughs> i can't get over that's for both so we're, we're talking about a penny, one penny something, aren't we? Yeah. One penny something per bracelet. Not much bracelet. at all. Good maths, Ted. Seven pounds and 99 pence, needless to say, the phone lines to the web and the yeah. app have gone wild, everybody. Hey! They've gone wild, well done. Is how much? Eight P a meter. It's very wow. good. You could easily make a full suite of jewelry out of one meter. Yeah, It's gonna totally. cost you eight P. Which is great. Anything that cuts the cost down. And we're not just talking, you know, we're not just talking your agates and your jaspers you're using this for. You're using this for all your gemstones. Absolutely. You could put your jade out yeah. on there. Tot 100%. Oh, totally. You could use your amazonites on there. You could put your... Um, and I love the fact that it's very cleverly the white and the black. Because, yeah. for example, I would use the white with something like, I don't know, aquamarine or... Yeah, um, with it with translucency. Yeah, with your jades, for example, because you don't really want the sort of beading thread. Well, you might. It might be part of the design. Um, but if you're trying to sort of blend it into the piece of jewellery, go for the softer colour. And then if you've got your darker gemstones or maybe something that you want to encourage a, a, a depth to, yeah. then go with the black. You know, so absolutely amazing. You know, something like, what about the black jade that we just had? I would literally use the black beading wire. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So if you don't want to knot, mm. your other alternative is your beading wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's basically, you're going to do one or the other of those. You can thread it on cord, but if you're not knotting it, what's the point? Yeah. Because you've wasted your cord. So so pop it on that and it's going to look amazing. I use beading wire all the time. If you use crimp beads, you can make like station necklaces. Yeah. And again, because, and I put, put a crimp bead cover around, but because that is such a good quality i'd be perfectly happy to do that and have the black oh how about having a multi-layered one with black and then white and black and white you could do a whole whole it's very row, strong load of them. tiger tail isn't oh very it? Very, yeah, yeah. very very strong so it's a nice um you know if you want if you put in particularly your heavier carrot weights or yeah. your heavier gemstones sorry. on there sorry i keep sliding this desk <laughs> um then um definitely this would be my go-to lots of you getting involved the call screens has well it's completely full completely full we've got twos threes fours how many you got ross we had 300 96 left but it changes at every second every second because there's so many of you on the phone lines um I don't even know where to begin with that call screen. There's that many names there. Uh, Patricia, June, Susie, Kathy, Julie, uh, Cheryl, Sylvia, Audrey, Dawn, Sheila. You're right, Azataza. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you fixing my desk? Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, lovely. Push. Push? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to catch your fingers. There you go. I oh, okay. <laughs> um, clock to close, jewelry makers. You didn't film that, did you? <laughs> Clock to close. <laughs> in a bit. Not my best view. In a bit, in a bit, in a bit. Oh. <laughs> I missed that. Adam's just so. Uh... <laughs> we have already established that. Yes, Adam. <laughs> Adam. Adam, I respect you. I do. I have to say this, and I know that I'm going to upset another person by saying it. Adam. You're the best. Ooh. There you go. There you go. I thought Ross was like, no, excuse me, I'm the best. I'm the best. 
Make sure you're checking out everybody. Um, this clock also closes everything that we've brought you this hour. Um, so all of those amazing jadeite deals. Um, what else have we brought you? The shell pearls. Um, everything else that we've seen on the website as well. So make sure you do check out your baskets. We have about 59 of these left. We might recap them once the call screen, let the website recover, etc. Got beautiful Botswana and Sakura Agate coming up in the next hour. Stunning inspiration with our gorgeous Alison. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. It's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. We're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we going to start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me. I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewelry and accessory organizer. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. everyone it's Mark here I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up my kits are just incredible in the nine o'clock hour we've got macrame with fire agate beautiful beautiful agate and then at 12 o'clock we have got one of my favorite products We've got diamond tubing, brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and Pearl Elements. It's gonna be the most amazing show. We've got so many surprises, competitions, giveaways. It's gonna be an incredible show. 
So that's Tuesday, 23rd of July. Join myself and presenter Eleanor. It's gonna be amazing. I'm a coffee that properly hit the spot. <laughs> you, know, and you're like, you know, sometimes when like coffee's or, or a cup of tea, like yeah, really, just right, really hit the spot. We have um, on our tablets ours to connect mine and John, so he knows when I'm just coming up the hill. So after a day at JM, I get in and there's a cup of tea oh, waiting because well he can see when I'm just coming. I'm just nearly yeah, home. And he's like, oh, that's a, that's he's a cook. That keeper. is a thoughtful husband. It is, isn't it? It's like clear the way. I'm going straight through. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'll have my cup so of tea. To be fair, I can't. I can't, like, I have something similar. Normally, um, I mean, if Tom's working during the week, then that it might not. But yeah. usually it does. Um, and he'll be like, I'll have a, I'll have lunch made. Oh, nice. So yeah, I went home. Um, wasn't yesterday? A couple of days ago, and I had a nice chicken salad on the table. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I see, done well. We found good ones. And it was still there. It was still there. <laughs> it was still there, yeah. Yeah, the dog hadn't eaten it and the kids hadn't eaten it. So yeah, That's it was amazing. still there, ready for me. Aww. Right then, jewellery makers. Yeah, and, and Adam, what you just said, don't you think your coffee or your tea always tastes better on a Sunday morning? Yes. I do love a cuppa in bed. Ooh. Nice cup of tea in do bed. You? <laughs> no, there's nothing better than being able to have a nice hot cup of tea or coffee in bed. It doesn't yeah. happen very often because I'm up. I'm up early. I'm up early. You know, and I'm usually the person <laughs> that gets up first in our house. So I'm usually the person that makes said coffee. If I oh what in the morning? Okay. Oh, I don't normally have biscuits in the morning, Ooh. but okay. If we're pushing the boat out, let's try. Not in the morning. You have breakfast first. Okay. Why? If I could. <laughs> Yeah, true. Why, why? Why? If I could. Oh, can I just say I tried one a new biscuit the other day. Oh, go on. And it's a classic. Yeah. Reinvented. Oh, go on. And I have to say, they were epic. Come on, come so on. So you know your malted milk biscuits? Yeah. It was malted milks as a custard cream. What? Yeah. Where'd you get them from? Sainsbury's. Where's the nearest? Uh, um, not too far. I'll drive you there. Okay. Um, <laughs> malted milk custard <gasps> creams. Oh, they're epic. Do you know what I was going to say? It's really coincidence. John managed to find some the other day. I haven't seen them for ages. Chocolate coated malted milks. Yeah, I love them. I always get them. And we we got a packet open just yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, and you said, malted milks. Are oh, I elite. need them. I They're need them. I love milks. them. I love yeah, we've milk. got a massive Classic biscuit donkey. jar. Yeah, our biscuit jar is obscenely large. <laughs> Because Tiggy, in particular, loves a biscuit. Oh, does she? Loves a biscuit, like custard creams. Yeah, yeah. So, all your classic ones. Can't be to But yeah, I saw cream. these, I was like, ooh, Sainsbury's, I'm trying oh. those. They sound nice. So, just to be fair, just to get a bit of balance, have you had the M&S completely coated custard creams, no. chocolate coated oh. custard creams, and they do a chocolate coated um, bourbon cream? They they end up being a lot bigger than the natural the normal one. But you had me at an M and S. To be fair, <laughs> the moment you said M and S, I was like, it's going to be delicious, isn't yeah. it? Oh, they are. They are it right. is M and S <laughs> elite. Couldn't do my weekly shop there though. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Couldn't do that. But do you know what's better than that? Well, what is there any better than that? Botswana agate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That is true. Bringing it back to the gemstones, Alison, yeah, well done. Hey. Um, your amazing designs. Oh. I love them. Love them. Alison, this is one of your favourite designs. And it's oh, something it is. that we've seen kind of... Uh, um, I've got a whole range of yeah, different... Yeah, revisited. Different, yeah. And it looks so different with different gems, doesn't it? It does, it does. And I've never done a written one for it. So this is a... I've, I've oh, got really? a visual one. I've got a, a, a video one, but I've never done a written one. Okay. And I know, you know, some people prefer a written tutorial to a video tutorial. I think I, 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 have, I have a visual person, but um, these instructions I would probably find easier because they're photographed as well, aren't yes. they? So technically you are still getting the visual side of it. We've got a message from Vera in Tyne and Ware. Morning, girls. Morning, Vera. Um, Alison's projects look stunning. She's a gem. She sure Aww, is. Thank you, Vera. She sure is, Vera. <clears throat> when you have gemstones like that, 
It's so easy to make stunning jewellery. So easy to make stunning well, jewellery. Well, when you've got the knowledge like this, <laughs> sorry, Adam, <laughs> then again, it's easy to make jewellery because there's yeah. no way. I could, I could imagine it, but there's no way I'd be able to put it together without your instructions, Alison. So what is raw? So raw is right-angled weave. Right. So you get raw, then you get craw, which is cubic right angle weave, right. and you get praw, which is prismatic right angle weave. Okay. Raw, praw, and craw. Okay, but don't worry, if you don't know what any of those mean, you've, I do you've tell got you. the instructions, and you get those instructions First bit with, saying, the yeah. per, uh, with the purchase um, <laughs> of Alison's projects. Now, um, like seriously, Alison's projects today are absolutely insane. The jewelry is absolutely amazing. You have Botswana which we're going to be starting with. We have Sakura, both natural one. agate, which is rare. Agate is, can be more abundant. <laughs> However, not these varieties. But you get, you, it, it's, it's like everything. You've got your, yes, you get all sorts of rough and ready agates for the garden. These are yeah. gem quality. Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Rarer. You know, and I love them. I, I love an agate and I love a jasper. And I think they are so underrated. Well, Botswana agate is regarded as the king of agate. Yes. Um, if you can imagine, and this is how I always visualise it. You know, sometimes when you think, if you think like Arizona or somewhere like mm. that, and you were to go into one of the, those big, vast underground caves. Wow. And you can see like the layers, can yeah. you, within the rock. And then every so often you might have this sort of uh, opening where the sunlight beams in. And just imagine all those colours and the, and the glow of the sun, the warmth yeah. of the sun in a gemstone. And that's, that's, that's what's a call, uh, sorry, what Botswana is. In fact, in fact Ross, can you, because I know it's only a short one, um, get the Botswana information. Because for all the years I've been here, what, this is my 12th year here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and for all those years, it's only this year that I discovered that Botswana Agate is one locational. Yeah. Um, so this is what we're talking about with Botswana. You get these lovely, Stunning. amazing bands within the gemstone. You can literally see, like the circles of a tree, mm. um, you can literally see how the gem actually grows. Um, you have wonderful separations and they, it says uh, Botswana is a stunning stone known for its rich earthy tones and intricate patterns making it a popular choice for jewelry makers and crystal enthusiasts alike but Botswana isn't just a pretty face it also has a rich history and a variety of fascinating properties that make it a valuable addition to any collection totally Botswana, also known as sunset stone, um, is a special kind of agate that's really popular and valuable. It has beautiful bands of white, black, grey and blue colours. What makes it even more special is that it can only be, be found in the Bobanong district of Botswana, making it rare. It is a very rare gem. For thousands of years, people have been using banded agates in carving, beautiful yeah. designs called cameos and intaglios. The layers of different colours in the agate are important for creating the design. Among the varieties of agate, Botswana agate is highly valued because of its fine bands of white, black, shades of grey and occasional pink and salmon hues. Just, oh. just, yeah, exactly. Just keep a little memory on that sentence i'll say it again botswana agate is highly valued because of its fine bands of white black shades of gray and occasional pink or salmon hues these special stones have been used as talismans and amulets since ancient times and the greeks uh, were one of the first civilizations to appreciate their beauty and durability in archaeological sites dating back to around 15,000 bc such as the grave of griffin warrior both plain and carved Bots Botswana agates have been discovered. Wow. So it's steeped in history. Yeah. It is incredibly rare, particularly in certain colours. According to tradition, Botswana can keep spiders away. Could have done with that <gasps> yesterday. And it loads. Yeah, and it's believed to help us focus on details, uh, bring positive vibes and ignite a spirit of adventure. In ancient Ooh. times, agates were used as lucky charms to safeguard against storms, quench thirst and bring good fortune. Wow. Uh, Botswana forms when slow moving waves of lava over layers of stone again, uh, sorry, 
flood over layers of stone again and again. Each time this happens, a new layer of silica or quartz is deposited, creating beautiful bands in the stone. As the lava cools and hardens, um, it interacts with the surrounding rocks, shaping the agate. The different mineral uh, minerals and impurities um, in each layer of silica or quartz cause the distinct patterns and colors we see in Botswana agate. It's like nature's artwork, telling a story of its, its formation over time. It is absolutely beautiful visually, but remember certain colors are rarer than others. I'm gonna show you the colors that you get within Alison's amazing project alongside this beautiful piece of jewelry. And even then you don't just get that. You get, Tuck that behind there for now. If I just pick the board up. Oh, I've got another piece. The most amazing findings, including this beautiful bale. Oh, sorry. This beautiful bale, pinch bale as well. Look how gorgeous that is with the open gallery. Then you get jump rings. You get a selection of your jump rings. You get your crimps. You get your crimp covers. You get your spacers. Ooh, come, oh, come back here. You get your spacers. You get your extender chain with the heart. You get your head pins with your heart and you also get a long length of chain. Now jewelry makers, you get the same findings pack with the Botswana, the Sakura, and with the other Agate project that we bring you. But let's go back to, remember that sentence within the Botswana Agate presentation, popular for, uh, there we go. Botswana agate highly valued because of its fine bands of white, black, shades of grey, occasional pink and salmon hues. Have a little look at the three strands that you get jewellery makers. Would we all agree there are pinks yeah. and there are salmon hues? They're just stunning. The colours are just gorgeous. Absolutely those, beautiful. Those salmon-y pinks. I mean, these two down here, look at those. I know. They're, well, they're, there's your pair of earrings. Yeah, yeah, to totally. I've got 50 of the Botswana agates, jewelry makers. Oh, the graphic, all? that's it. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up. We relaunched Botswana agate because it almost disappeared for a good few mm. years on our screens. The price that we're taking this project to is the price that I would pay for one of those strands. Um, plus, you also get all of your findings alongside a, a 38 pack of your silver plated findings. Um, but I would pay the price of this project um, for one strand of the Botswana Agate because you have the uber rare pinks and salmon. Totally. Within. Um, and they are totally natural. These are not dyed. They, you can see those beautiful formations. Remember, it's a one locational gemstone. I only knew, as if I only knew that this year. Well, I didn't. I mean, obviously, you've got to assume that it's come from Botswana. I, but I, I didn't assume, I didn't realise it only came from Botswana. Well, exactly, it might have been discovered in Botswana. Yes, so yeah. That quite, you know, and that's why it gets its name. So, um, yeah, that was my thoughts. Wow. Okay, we've got 50 available opportunities. This will give you the instructions for free, by the way, for this amazing necklace. I love it. So, Alison, did you go random? Yeah. Um... Yeah, because I took them off the strand. I very nearly, I very nearly sorted it. And I thought, no, do you know what? I've done some sorted one of these. I'm going to go random with it. But it looks so beautiful that the tones in it work so well, don't they? Just beautiful. That's um, three strands of rounds, six, eight and ten. Yes, but that's not all of those three strands. I had oh. to have a little bit left over. Did you? Yeah, not tons, not not tons, but, but you could, do maybe could have a made a pair of bracelet or well, a pair of earrings. I've done this with the Sakura one. Yeah. So you could do that. The the eight mil will fit in your bale in your pinch bale. Yeah. And then just have a pair of earrings to go with. Oh look at that! That's gorgeous. Literally Isn't just so squeezed pretty? it into place. Yeah. How gorgeous! Okay, 
We have 50 available opportunities. The love, love of Botswana has, has been a continuous one, mm -hmm. hasn't it, here at Jewelry Makers for as long as I've been here anyway. Um, but yet there was a good, a good few years. Well, I'm not going to say we didn't have any because we had the occasional strand. But it, it's a, it did disappear for a yeah. period of time. Um, for years. Yeah, for we years. We didn't see it for years. It was years. It was a, it, so much so it justified an absolute relaunch, which yeah. is where that presentation was put together from. I actually, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we actually made, I made that presentation for the relaunch, which was when, Ross? Like a few months ago? Wasn't that long ago? Maybe a bit longer. Now, jewellery makers, we're at £59.99. pence. That's £29 per strand. Sorry, £20 per strand. And then you're getting your silver-plated findings and the instructions for free. Have you counted up how many carrots that is? That's 520 carrots. Of, of natural Botswana. Of natural Botswana. What? Botswana? Botswana. That's incredible. Um, when I first started here at Jewel Maker, I used to be involved in the kits, as mm -hmm. we called them then. A strand of Botswana in any kit hugely used to push the price it, up. It did. It was an expensive stone. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever seen a three strand no. Botswana. So we've just looked at the relaunch. Ross has said, I, I've got all the information before me. And a what? A six mil of Botswana closed at 16.99. And that's a six mil. Then the eight mils would have been probably 20. The 10 mils, maybe, what do you think, 30, 29.99? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially, and do you know what? We're just talking about sort of standard Botswana. This is not standard. You've no. got the salmon hues and the pink hues within this, Ross. So it'd probably been another price point on top of that. We are no way near done, jewelry makers. I've got 50 available. You get the findings. You get Alison's amazing instructions. You get three strands of natural Botswana agate. There are only 50 available opportunities. And we are not stopping there. 30 seconds and we're going to start chipping away at that price tag, jewelry makers. 50, Fighting. especially on... Are oh, you going straight down to it? Okay, because of the quantity. What you need to remember is Saturday and Sunday are our busiest shows here at Jewelry Maker. And um, that's because some people are, are, you know, at home. They're not working, yeah, yeah. maybe. So our audience is that much larger. Um, we will absolutely launch some of your favourite gemstones on those days. That makes sense, doesn't it? Botswana totally. is definitely one of them. Definitely, definitely one of them. But it also means that a quantity of 50 can be gone in a heartbeat. Well, yeah, because it, it always used to disappear. In a heartbeat. Oh, well, because we don't get it very often. Alison. And it's so... We said the 10 mil would, was 29.99 on the relaunch. Yeah. Well, you're buying your 10 mil. You're getting your 8 mil for free. <gasps> your 6 mil for free. Your silver plated findings and the instructions all for free. Oh, my gosh. Well, Bargain town. not only do you get the inspiration and the knowledge from our amazing designers, you also get the saving um, purchasing projects like this. All of the findings, all of the knowledge, all of the know-how, two extra strands for free. Um, how unbelievable is that? It's based, oh yeah, yeah, look at it this way. £10 per strand, everything else for free. This is crazy. £10 for Botswana Agate. Um, chips, maybe. Yeah, 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 a chip strand, maybe. Yeah. Um, Ross, uh, not Ross, sorry, Adam's just said, Alison, I'll give you 30 quid for that necklace. No. There you go. <laughs> no. no, Adam. Elle's trained train, train me better than that over the years. There you go. <laughs> Maybe triple the price. That's yeah, more realistic. Yeah. That's more realistic. Triple it, yeah. Because you're gonna, you've got you've got the skill of Alison Tarry. £100, there you go. £100, natural Botswana, and it's also got, I know I've added a bit. Um, yeah, but you've got your time as well. You've got to factor in your time. You have to factor in your time. And you've got to remember these are the rarest colours. And these are all conversations yeah. that genuinely, all joking aside, you would actually have with your customers. Totally. And you could take, and I very nearly did, you could take this and you could, you could again, ombre it and put colours together and it will look amazing as well. I like it It'll when Alison totally goes different. random. I have to work hard at it. Especially with Botswana. Botswana, is, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those gems that, yeah, you, it, it works in these random yeah. formations. 
We had 50 jury makers, Angela, Denise, Mary and Jerry, Wiltshire, David, Anne-Marie, Patricia, Kathy, Margaret, London, Janice, Barbara and John, Erminia, hello to you, Susan, Pauline, Lanarkshire, Susan, Jacqueline, Catherine. And if you have any questions as well for our lovely Alison, do text in. We're live in the, uh, in the studio. That is if you're watching it around about half past nine in the morning. <laughs> um, if you're watching at half past nine at night, I'm fairly sure I'll be almost asleep. I'm pretty sure I will be too. Yeah, yeah you get up. Very, <laughs> get up at very three early. in the morning. Yeah, very very early. Um, well done, everyone. Congratulations. That's just an incredible. Or I'll most definitely have a glass of wine in hand tonight. Ah, definitely. Well, why not? It's oh, I'm my, working it's tomorrow. My weekend. I'm back tomorrow, so. Are you? Mm. Oh, Alison, this is this... so pretty. The uh, one thing I don't envy today is if you've got to make a decision between these two um, amazing, I'm gonna put them there. If you've got to make a decision between these two pieces of jewelry, um, I don't envy that no. decision because I could, I genuinely think I would struggle choosing. They, they'd go so well together as well. Yeah, you they could, would. You could mix those in together. But let me just give you, apart from the obvious color difference, mm -hmm. a Sakura agate, which is, we've got the king of agates in your Botswana, the Sakura agate is referred to as the darling. Oh, the darling of the agate. I've not heard that before. Yeah. The Aww. darling of the agate family. But gemologically, they are different. Obviously, they're the same gemstone. Mm. Botswana agate forms in layers that we showed you, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and we talked about how it forms, how the sort of cooling. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the flow over, uh, over the rocks. Now, a Sakura agate differs because it's not layers. In fact, it is one of the only agates that forms in a blossom. So basically like a three dimensional blossom. Yeah. So you don't get layers, which I understand that gemologically. I can understand how a gemstone, almost like the rings of a tree forms. Yeah. What I can't understand is how you get a three dimensional bloom. I know, I know. In, and a, you, in a hard durable gemstone. As you're going through your stones, I mean, that one there is such a good example. It is from my angle. <laughs> but they, they're, just, they're just so pretty. So, so pretty. Yeah. You can see it there. It's almost like cotton wool it has, is, has, yeah. has, has, has been caught in it. Well, Sakura one, yeah. is basically... Um, it's just gorgeous. Is it, you know the blossom tree? Yeah. Cherry blossom tree. Oh, is that the Sakura? That's what it means. Oh, yeah, the cherry do you know blossom I never tree. Knew that? So if you look at Makes this, sense. cherry blossom agate, that's what they refer to it as one well yeah. as Sakura, um, is the kind of stone you see and fall in love with instantly, says Kelly Flew. I totally agree. Um, in the world of agates, cherry blossom variety occupies a central place. Fascinating and absolutely stunning. This stone is found in Madagascar. Cherry mm. blossom agate is a plume agate that ah. features elaborate inclusions that give the stone okay. its outstanding aesthetics. Like all other flower agates, cherry blossom features three-dimensional blooms as opposed to other plume agates that only have a 2D one. Uh, cherry blossom agates in particular feature floral plumes that closely resemble the gorgeous cherry blossom flower which is what this stone is named after. Agate is a very old stone. It takes 50 million years to form and widespread rock that has bands of colour on it. We're talking real rarity. Oh, yeah. And, and, and again, agate, if you speak to any gemologist, agate will be one of their favourites. Yeah. Because if it, it's the, the gemology side of it. So I did, I did um, a, a, a module a year in my uh, university career and we studied all the rock formations, how they were formed and things like that. A Anglesey is so rich in yep. different types. So you can see all that layering and things, but the pluming is fascinating. I'm going to look, I need to go home now and look up how that pluming happens. Yeah, because I can't get my head around it. But it's got to be when it's in a liquid format. Yeah, it must be. So it all... Before it actually, yeah. because otherwise how something that's as hard as, as agates. Now we know that Sakura, the darling of agates, is a more considered strand. It is an expensive gemstone. However, we're at 20 pound per strand right now, jewelry makers. Let's take it, what, Ross, what? Is there a big quantity? Is that why? That was gonna be oh my, my next gosh. question. We have got a big quantity. It's the biggest project quantity of the hour. Okay, we're at 10 pound per strand. And what we believe, wow. well, I remember the launch of it, mm. instantaneously fell in love. You were talking a hundred pounds a strand. 
you know, £100 a strand for Sakura Agate. We're at £10 a strand and going even lower. You've got eight, six, and four. You get the findings, you get the instruction. Today, no, another 30 seconds. Sakura Agate. Oh my god. And then gosh. we're going lower than £10 a strand. That's never happened before. Ross, you're right. We've never done Sakura Agate under a ten, have no. we? We did a massive closeout Sakura deal the other day, and it was nineteen ninety nine. I do remember, and they weren't rounds. We're already beating our closeout deal. When oh you say gosh. we've got quantity, Ross, how many have we got? Eighty. Oh, oh okay. It's not that big a quantity. No, I was going to say it's quantity, but not massive. We're at ten pounds strand. So pretty. It is unrepeatable. It's rare. Sakura mm. Agate is rare. Like nature's confetti in a gemstone. This is the sort of gemstone that you're also buying that unusual story. Yeah, absolutely. And I would, I would story. very much put about the cherry blossom um, agate if I was selling this because it, it's part of the romance of the stone. It's not just about the fact that it's 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 an agate, you know, yeah, blah blah blah. But it's the romance of it, and mm. and it's, oh, it's, feminine, it's named it? after the cherry blossom tree, and it's also called that. I think that's amazing. That's the sort of thing I'd like to know when I'm buying a gemstone. Yeah, hundred percent, absolutely. Sorry, oh, so I'm just thinking out loud here. Sorry. If if you've got three strands, yeah, and your findings, yeah, and your instructions, yeah, five five. Divide oh. that by twenty-five. That's five pound per component. So five pound for your knowledge that you will always have. Oh, okay then. Five <laughs> pounds for the findings. Then five pounds per Sakura Agate strand. That is historic. We have never done Sakura at that price. I wouldn't even sell that single no. solitaire as a fiver. That wouldn't be a fiver. I wouldn't sell a dyed agate for five no. pounds. I mean, that works so well with that. On, when we launched Sakura, that was what, a, I don't know, a year or so ago, you wouldn't have got one strand at twenty four ninety nine. No. No way. That's Especially amazing. rounds. This is going to wow. sell out. We've got 80 available. Um, it's oh, your favourite, Ross, along with Nan Hong. That with Nan so Hong. I love it because it's that blush pink. It's that, you know I'm not a pink, but that's lovely. Yeah, that's more like a It's the white nude. in it. Yeah. Do you know, for me, it, it just reminds me of beautiful weddings, Sakura Agate. Aww. It does. And and it's a, on my bucket list to go to Japan. To oh, I'd love Japanese to see. Blossoms. I would love to see it's on my blossom. bucket list. Keep pricing it up and it's not cheap. No. Um, no. Anyway, that's going to sell you. out. We've got less than 20 of those projects available. We're going to do the demo and I do have one more project to bring you as well, folks. So um, take it away, Azataza. Okay. I'll Should pop I take that? that? Yeah. Sorry, I completely forgot those when I set my jewellery around. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. like, as soon as you fetch that finding fact up. So, right angled weave. Um, it's a great, it's a great um, weave to do. You can do it with all the same gemstone. You can do it with all the same size and you'll get a linear, it will just go in a straight line. The joy, whenever I see three, three sizes of graduated gemstones, this design always comes to mind because it's just so easy to do. It's yeah. so really well. Yes, it doesn't look easy. But it, but it is easy because it 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 it's all basically your gemstone size is what shapes it. If if these were all the same, it would sort of be out there like flat. But as soon as you start doing that, it naturally curves. So you get this very natural feel of it. Right. You know, sometimes if you put multiple, if you'd done that flat, it would all be kinked and. It, 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 this is so much fun, isn't it? Mm. So, so I'm gonna the one I'm demoing with is the die die gate one, yeah. and this is a party. This is going to be a party necklace. Yeah, you really would. You could wear this to go to go to your um, festivals and things like that. Oh yeah, and it's going to look amazing. And Glastonbury and do you know what this would go well with? If you've got a strapless white top and then you put this so at the point comes above the top. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? It would look great on you, Adam. Are you talking a little bit of like cleavage down? No, well, no, I, because this would cover your cleavage. Oh, yeah. It would sit straight out and you'd have it and it's almost like it's the necklace. Like it's the neck piece the of, of the top. Yes. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Sorry to spoil spoil the fun, but yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. well, that's, it's, it's, it's keeping you modesty. Well, yes. 
So I do tell you how many I've used. So you'll notice on the other two that they're, they're slightly different. They're a slight variation and it's exactly the same technique but I've slightly altered the number of gemstones. Okay. The smaller gemstones, because the Shakura is four, six, and eight. Yeah. Um, so it will be a tighter curve. Okay. The the larger six mil gives you that bigger curve. Um, so I would tend to wear the Shakura one higher up the neckline, so mm. it fits just at the bottom of your neck. Mm. Um, whereas the other one you could wear lower, because if you try to wear the other one lower, it will kink a little okay. bit because you want it to follow the curve. So the same with this. You've got your four mil, your six mil, and then we're going to add on the eight mil. So right angled weave is what it says on the tin. You can do it without seed beads. I've done them both. Um, I do like it with the seed beads. I think they just give it a little bit of a punctuation. They're eight O's. Any colour, you know, any colour you've got will do. You could do it if you've got enough of them with sterling silver spacer beads. Wow, that would be a piece of, of, of uh, jewellery. Oh, wouldn't it? Um, and you, yeah, you could mix the colours of the precious metal as well. Couldn't yeah, you? yeah, totally, That'd totally. Nice. Um, so you can add all these together. So right angled weave, you start off, and I'll do this separately and then go on to the other bit I've got prepared. So one, eight, uh, one, four, one gem, uh, jump ring. Seed Thank bead. you, seed bead. <laughs> she got up at three. <laughs> so you're going four seed bead, four seed bead, four seed bead. And then you're going to jump to the next size up. So you're then going to do an eight, uh, six. Come on, six. And then your seed bead. I've got, I don't usually work, this is a, a, a 12 needle and I find them quite bendy for me. So you do that. And you basically tie them in a knot. So I'm going to do a loose knot, obviously at the end of your thread. And you tie them in a knot and you tie it again. And that's your starting point. So I know when you've got the extra seed beads in, it's not very right angle, but you do get, you can see the square. Right. And you see the square more when you're getting the seed bead punctuation squares in it. So once you've got that uh, started, We'll flip over to this one. So the reason you get the graduation, like I said, is is your layers, um, your layers are graduated in size. So in each row, mm. you've got three of one, and then one of the next size up. So I very often I will lay them out so I don't, I don't forget how many I've got, and I'll lay them out on on uh, a beading mat. And I'll, I'll do this. So you've got, if you want to alter the colours, if, if you want to um, play with it, um, especially if you're doing a graduated one or an ombre one. So I'd lay it out like that. There we go. And then the next row, you're going to have your two. You're going to have your row of those. So each time you're using four, so you've got one, two, three and then you're bringing in the bigger one. So you can see you get these bands going up to the bigger one. And you make this and you go around, and that's what gives it, and then right at the very end, so the point of the necklace is all of the biggest size. Um, so, Alison, sorry, yeah. I just need no, to briefly okay. interrupt you because the Sephora okay. is sold out. Oh, I'm not surprised. So let's just quickly swap over the graphics to the, the project that Alison's actually yeah. working with. I'm loving these. These are gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. So you get, again, the three strands, um, across your sizes four, six, and eight, full 38 centimeter strands. Um, and you get the same silver plated findings pack as well, full 38 piece. Um, love this. And you can do the same technique as you can see Alison is actually yep. demonstrating with it right now. You also get the instructions. Hey. How many have we got of this project? 80, Ooh. same quantity, what you've just seen 80 sell out with the Sakura Agate. Um, this will be no different, I'm sure. Loving the colours. The, 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 the way agate takes up dye is fascinating. Yeah, it is. And, and you still get, so you're still getting all the same markings with them that you would get, but you're getting the different colours. And it's, and it's such a joy. I, I think this, that's what this reminds me of. It does remind me of joyfulness. Do you know, if I was, to, like, if I was looking for an outfit, yeah. and I wasn't necessarily thinking about necessarily the rarity or the gemology, yeah, yeah. I have to say, I think I'd gravitate towards these colours. This is going to go with everything. It is, yeah. You've I mean, got, imagine, you've got a colour that, for everything in here. Imagine that at a concert or something oh, like that. Oh, you're going to go that, mad with yeah, it. Yeah, like at a barbecue yeah. or, you know, meeting your family or friends. 
First price crash. And then we'll get back to your demo. Okay. 29.99. Oh, hang on. First. Hang on. First. Yeah, ten pound per strand. Everything else for free. Ooh. But we're not stopping there, as it has a. We're going oh even gosh. lower. Going even lower. As it has a. You know, you've got the black Ethiopian opal. Mm -hmm. This well, is that like would, that would this. Be nice. Yeah, this is like all the colour in the Ethiopian opal has been exploded out into separate gemstones. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, like that. I like that. It's a carnival. Nowhere near enough people, says Roscoe. Oh. I've got 80 available. Another 30 seconds. Oh. Uh, look, you get you get three strands of beautiful, genuine gemstones. And they, they bead up beautifully. You get the space, uh, sorry, you get the findings pack. You get Alison's amazing written and photographed instructions. Which, how long did that take you, Alison? Um, it took me most part of a day. There you go. And you're going to get those instructions for free. Tell you that for free. For free. You get that for free. Tell you for free. And you get it for free as well. So this is, this is a project. I'd say it, it, it's four to five hours. I know. You know. But it's work in progress. You can put yeah, it back down. Yeah, depending on whether you want to sort them up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that stopped you in your tracks, didn't it? Oh yeah, it did. $19.99. Oh, well done, Ross. You got some amazing, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I, I know. It's summer, a... summer, summer time. Ooh, summertime. I reckon, I reckon you should go summer nights. What summer nights? The summer. Because, Sorry, got because you got that little bit of black in there. Yeah. So it's a, it's a nighttime summer, isn't it? Yeah. I, tell me more. <laughs> tell, yeah, I can't sing, so I don't really want to. Um, You're doing well there, Rob. I like it. I've left you there. You do did. You, you left me hanging there. Do you get that first first wives club thing where they walk off and leave leave um, what's her name singing on her own? Yeah, I was like, oh. Left me hanging there, Alison. Please Sorry, sing it darling. with me, darling. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm horrendous. <laughs> I'm like Back a cat. To you. We had 80. How are the phone lines looking? You can still do it. I'm surprised this hasn't sold out faster. Um, um, okay, okay. We've got the Ripple Bills coming up as well, jewelry makers. Sorry. Um, amazing, absolutely beautiful ripple pearls, totally natural. We've oh. got a hundred quantity of those. And beautiful. I've never presented. done this style in a pearl. Oh, that. Would be I've nice. done it in jadeite. I've got a green jadeite graduated from. I've actually done it in jadeite, that. which I meant. Um, the I countdown meant to fetch. for the pearls is on. Back to you, Alison. Right. So once you've got your start one, which is there basically, you then start adding on. So each time now you're only adding on a set of three. Okay. So hang on, let me get one more on. Where are we? There you go. I hate this needle. So you then only got three because this is your start place. Okay. So you then want to go down through that, um, down through that, and pull round. And then you're going to feed all the way back round through, so you don't have it through that seed bead. That's what you have. So you then get these butting up against each other. But each time now, you're going to come up through that one. So you're going to come round. So you do um, the two smaller sizes, then the bigger size. And then you do the bigger size and the two smaller sizes. So it alternates as you go round. When you've got round, so what your limiting factor is, um, in this one, I found it was the medium size limiting factor. Um, but you work round. To, that's why I lay it out, to see how many. Okay. Um, because if you keep going, you'll run out of the other bead sizes. Because the bigger ones, obviously, on a strand, you're going to get less of them. So when you've gone all the way as, as far as you want to go, you're going to feed it back round because you now want to come onto this one, but we're going the wrong way. So you're going to feed it around through. Oh, Janet's got five of these projects. Well done, oh, well Janet. done. And Barry's multiple. Oh, now are you going to? If you're going to take those five, are you going to um, ombre them and sp split them out? Well, you could do a black one. Sixty-six you... per strand. And That's then crazy, and, isn't it? And, and, and yeah. In fact, no. Do this maths then. Go on. Twenty pounds divided by how many months did we say it was? Five. Five. Four pound per component. <gasps> yeah. 
That's crazy, four isn't it? £4 per strand, £4 for your instructions. That's amazing. Right, so when you get to this layer, we're going to add on two of those and one of your big ones. So let me fetch some over here. No, I'm not going across all the time. So we're just going to quickly add that one, that one. And it's, you can, this, is, this is all it is. This is the technique. You just, I know it's called right angle weave, but I call it loop de loop. Loop de loop. Because you're just going round and round and round, adding, adding another, to make another four. Um, you can do it with two needles mm -hmm. if you want. I mean, I've done them with the beading thread, uh, the tiger tail. Steady on now, as well. I'm not sure I can be trusted with one, let alone two. <laughs> so you basically, which is the ladder weave. This is, this is in a straight line this is yeah. basically your ladder weave this is uh -huh. what ladder weave is so we go back through this one so you're only ever going when you're going through that single gemstone uh, when you're going through that next layer you're only ever going through the gemstone not the seed bead by it and then we're going to create a little four there so i'll get to that stage come on on you go i'm doing it backwards i can't do it backwards i flip it over that's by far the easier way to do it. You do silly things that when you're on you're TV. That and you're working with a needle that you don't like. Yeah. I, 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 I usually do bead towards myself. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I usually bead away from myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I, I do the opposite to what most people do. I, I'm contrary like that. Right. So we're now on, look at those colours. Yeah, that's gorgeous. stunning. Mm. So you'd carry on. So what we need to do, I'm on the right, wrong loop round, is you would come up through the black and then you'd add another seed bead. So I'm just going to whiz round to there. Oh, that's it. I've just gone one too many, that's all. There we go. Let's come back down there. Getting carried away with me loop de loop. So you've come out through your black. You pick up another another seed bead and you cross over to the green. So what you're looking for is getting that little square in there. Can you see that little square forms? Yeah. So each of those forms a little square as you go along. So you literally just go along there doing your loop de loop and again you're going up and down, but now you're only adding two gemstones on because you've got yeah. two sides of your square yeah. and you want the the other two adding on. So you're just adding two each one along. One big, one one medium. Yeah. So this one's going one medium, one big. And yeah. round and then you'll come down through there so you go one big then one medium yes and then one medium one big one big medium yes. so you, you go along like that and then you go down to the lowest layer which will be all big so we'll come down here let's imagine we've got our medium layer so you come down to your all big and then you're then just going to start layering up the diamond bit can I just borrow one of those sure Ta. so this bit so you've got your layer that goes around with your pull it down alison silly woman it helps if you see it that layer there is your second row which is and lovely then, on its yeah. own isn't it as well so you could you could stop there and just yeah. have that yeah. and it would look very pretty i like having the point so that bit here there is an extra uh 10 beads okay so you're adding those on no i the, the other one's an extra 10 i added extra on so you're adding these on again is the same layer but you're naturally losing one each time yeah so you go five four three two and then you one at the end and that's it you're just doing this loop-de-loop -loop thing that's that's the whole technique you've always got your little four in the middle um and that's how you know you're doing it right because wow. it if you've missed one so exactly the same bit and then what i've done at the top um, which I never used to do, is I've just used a little bit of French wire or we had a load of wire guardians yes, on the other are, day. Yeah. If you've got, I couldn't put my hands on my wire guardians. Um, put a wire guardian in there and then it protects your beading thread. So much better than before when you'd like just putting a jump ring on. So that's that's great and, looks, and it all works. looks polished, doesn't it? It as does, well. it does. Don't forget if you've got any one of these projects today, you do get the instructions sent to you as well. So uh, whether you've got the Botswana, the Sakura or the coloured agates, you get you get Alison's instructions, which I was just looking, Alison, yeah. is what, 34, 30. is that? 34 steps? Right Something right like that. that. Um, steps to make this amazing piece. We do that with every project here at Jewelry Maker. It's available upon dispatch of your order. So um, you can go to your order history, um, basically download it, save it to your desktop or print it off, whichever you wish. Yeah. Um, so that comes for free. 
for free. Now, can you imagine, Alison? Yeah. That. Yeah. With maybe a Nan Hong. <gasps> oh, I've Have not done a done Nan that? Hong. I've done black. I've done green. Yeah. Oh, Nan Hong. <gasps> now, I'm going to show you three strands. It's not a bundle. They are separate. They are extremely limited, though, such wow. as the nature of Nan Hong. Nan Hong is mined out. There's no more of it. Yeah. Unless unless uh, they discover a new location in China, which, I mean, took centuries Ooh, um, previously and is all mined out. Now, I want to show you the three strands. So you could use this, couldn't you, Alison? Oh, totally. And it doesn't matter the different shape. No. You could use that totally and it'll work. So you've got like a chamfered cube. Yeah. It's stunning. A round and then another round. I'm going to start with the chamfered cubes. Let me quickly talk to you because agate is one of those gemstones that I, I, I almost feel we need to overcome thinking, and it's only us here mm. at Jewelry Maker, overcome thinking that it's abundant. It's not abundant, especially Nan Hong is mined out. That's why at 99.99, that's a fantastic price point. Yeah. Nan Hong was historic, like I said, and was uh, China saw it get mined out centuries ago. They rediscovered it. But then when we, when we went to Hong Kong at the beginning of this year, um, further news broke. In speaking to a Nan Hong trader who had a very small offering, but spoke about this material and he says, the material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Okay, what history? The fact that it mined out previously. Well, since September, the price of this material is now 10 times the price previously per carat. Um, Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost complete, uh, almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jade in the market right now. I, I get that. It's actually more of a pillar box red than red mm. jade actually offers you, especially this one. Um, okay, what situation I hear you thinking? Well, the mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East and the last one in the world. China has seen it before uh, when it disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine, grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Even this is commanding huge premium. They set it like happy diamonds at Shopard. Mm. It's still around 1,000 Hong Kong dollars per gram. Wow. At that size. Um, yes, they use it like uh, like Shopard, but they also reconstitute it. Yeah. So wow. but that means it'll be heavily treated, whereas you're looking at something that's totally cool. natural. I've got 10, 10 available. We are at the very last opportunities of our Nan Hong, and it is irreplaceable. Why? The mine's closed. Unless you want Nan Hong powder, we can get that, basically. Uh, 29.99. Oh, my gosh. Even when we are talking about a gem as rare as Nan Hong, you know, we will still do like close out deals effectively mm. clearance deals even when we're talking about nan hong agate because effectively it's every area within our vaults you know is we need those locations so <clears throat> six is not viable for us jewelry makers that's think about when we launched nan hong agate that would have had a one in front of it and that's an amazing price yeah. point it really is if this was 129.99 i wouldn't bat an eyelid at that of a natural certified Nan Hong Agate. London, Ayrshire, Pauline, Susan, well done to you. I'm going to move on to the five mil rounds. Beautiful rich red. Amazing. Remember, Nan Hong with the finest red is as expensive now as Taipei Red Jade. Eye. How many do we have? Stunning. I can't take my eyes off it. Oh my gosh. That is cherry tomato yeah. red. That quote, just remember that. Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jade eye in the market. Natural cherry tomato red. First price crash, Alison. First. Oh my god. If you've always wanted as a collector, yeah, yeah, I agree. If we were to grade it, it would have a triple A in front of it. Totally agree. If you've always wanted to source Nan Hong Agate, but it's been outside of your budget and price point, today's the day, I have to say. But you need to be quick. You do need to be quick. Because, Ross, this is just not sustainable, is it? 
It's not sustainable because we can't replace it. The mind's closed. You know, there's, no, there's nothing more uh, definite than that. The mine is closed. It's mined out. They're literally grinding it down to powder. We can probably bring you something that is reconstituted, but then you saw the price. Even the powder was 1,000 Hong Kong dollars per gram. Here we are at 24.99. And you might be thinking, well, how are you doing these prices? I get that question a lot. We bought it prior to the closure. We would have bought big quantities. We might have even been able to negotiate it alongside other gemstones. We don't, the difference is we're not like a standard jeweler. We don't go, okay, this is the market value of said gemstone. We go, this is what we got it for. So, okay, we need to make a little bit of profit because let's be honest, we are a business. Um, we, need to, we need to pay Ross. He needs paying. <laughs> and <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so make a little bit of profit, but we'll still make sure that the customers get those rare gemstones at an affordable price tag. We had 20. Oh well done, gosh. Jackie, Susan, Ayrshire, Wiltshire, London, Deborah, David's got two, Sandra, Paulie's got two, um, London, Claire, Cumbria. Good luck. Make sure you are checking out that beautiful cherry tomato red that is totally and utterly natural. I love it. It, it fascinates me that, that you can get this variety in yeah. it. And I love it. And what usually happens when the, when the mine closes, you know, and Price you get no up. one. Exactly. And that's logical. Uh, uh, totally. <coughs> so it's totally logical. We did the opposite. Yeah. We did the opposite with all gemstones, to be honest. I love We've done it with jadeite. We've done it with, yeah. with Kotan. We've done it with... We're, we're doing it with pearls now. Yes. Because there are, you know... Absolutely. It's hard to get hold of pearls, isn't it? It really is. And pearls are being cultured. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're still culturing pearls. But if a mine's closed, if a gemstone that actually has like a, has been formed in the ground, mm -hmm. that actually has zero human intervention. Yeah. You know, that, well, that's it. That's, that's final. That's what it looks like. It's yeah. final. Unless, of course, Mother Nature allows us to find and discover another, another location, which you've got to remember for centuries they've been sourced yeah. looking for this gemstone. Okay, jewellery makers, again, make sure you're checking out. They were the five mils. I've got literally four of them. Two, two of them left. I'm going to leave those with you. Wow. I've got one more to bring you. There's 35. Oh. So it's the biggest quantity of your Nan Hong. <sighs> if you want to make this pattern with those... What I would say is, don't hang around because because you want to be able to get it to match the other two. Yeah. Don't get stuck with the two. So don't, please don't hang around because I'd hate to see someone bought the two and couldn't get this one. Oh my goodness me! Look at that. The price red. is ridiculous. Yeah. What Ross has just said in my ear, one of the, the rarest agates in the world, under twenty pounds today. One price crash. I've said it. I've said it out loud now. 35 available. Um, it's not going to be available for long. The, no. the reaction on the web and on the phone lines has got has, is, has been significant. Well done, people. Um, yeah, 35 available. London's got two. Susan's got two. Wiltshire, Yimei, Cumbria, Pauline, hello to you, London, Ayrshire, David, Claire, Deborah. I can't mm. keep up. Make sure you're checking out. We've only got 35. A third of the stock is gone already. Under 20 pounds for that beautiful, I always describe it as a cherry tomato red. Yeah. That's not like a that's not a, like a um, a gemological term. That is what you get from from uh, from amazing top quality Nan mm. Hong. That cherry tomato red, twenty pounds only. It's mined out, unless Mother Nature. It's it's like it's like you know, granted, you're right. Yeah. It's not being mined anywhere at the moment in the yeah. world. Um, and that's a gemstone that fetches twenty thousand uh, dollars per carat. Yeah. You know, Nan Hong Agate is not being mined anywhere in the world right now. Wow. And we're giving, bringing it to air for 20 quid. It's crazy. 20 quid. It is, it is crazy. You know, if that was a, a 10 centimeter strand. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. little taster strand. Just maybe. But not, not at a full 38 centimeter strand. It's gonna sell out. Wow. In a heartbeat. Morning, Debbie. Morning, Samantha. Morning, Sandra. Morning, Carolyn. Morning, Jackie. Morning, Deborah. There are so many of you there. I had 35. I don't have that quantity anymore, do I, Roscoe? There are, he says, I'll show you. There's 11. 
It's still an opportunity though. If you haven't yet reached for your phone. Yeah, but you've got people multi-buying. So, so no. that 11 could turn into five people. Yeah, but you've got to remember, you can't you think, oh, I've probably missed this. I'll wait another, for oh, no, another don't. day. Don't do that because what we've got is what we've got. It's irreplaceable. Wish list it. Wish list it. Wish list it. Definitely. Because things pop back in. I, yeah. I love that phone call you get. I know, it's like it's a... Like, Hello, it's, it's Sarah from Jewelry Maker. I'm like... First few times you're like, what? Hey, <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, that's my first. Time. What have I done? <laughs> Would you, you 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 showed some interest in the Nanhong Agate Strand. Would you like to buy it? Yes, please. <laughs> in a heartbeat. Yes, well please. done, everyone. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everyone. Six remaining opportunities. Well done. Now, if you think that was fantastic, wait until you see your deal of the Ooh. day today, jewelry makers. Yeah. Oh. You know, on your phones, if I was an emoji right now, I'd have the little love hearts everywhere. Yeah. Um, because the these eyes. are apps. <laughs> these are absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> the quality. Ripple pearls are the hottest trend in the pearl industry. Um, right now, they're, they're, they're new, they're exciting, they're innovative, and we'll talk some more about it during the next opportunity. I am completely blown away by the fact that we have a hundred. Is we? Yeah, this, that, that's one of the biggest quantities oh. I've ever seen on our, you know, on our luxury pearls. We've normally like got single exactly. figures or just these, into double figures. These are luxury pearls. Yeah. And I will tell you, that's reflective in the price. So if you love our luxury Ooh. pearls, and that's the only way you can describe these, mm. you're not going to find pearls like this on the high street. You're not going to find pearls like this even in some of the finest boutiques. You're going to find pearls like these in auction houses. Do we all agree? Yeah. Because I, as you can tell, I'm getting a little bit hot under the collar about these <laughs> pearls. They're absolutely beautiful. There's a hundred available coming up as your deal of the day that the, the quantity reflects an amazing price point for you as well. So if you're a pearl lover, like so many of us are, it is still our greatest strength. Just we're holding on to it. Still our greatest strength, pearl buying. I'll explain some more after this. gorgeous jewellery makers it's guest designer carol here i'm back in the studio on the 22nd of july and i've got some lovely things to bring you in the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects there's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings so i've made some necklaces and i've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead and then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and i've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you it's very very versatile very adjustable i've had real fun with that um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. It's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. 
we're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we gonna start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me, I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewellery and accessory organiser. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colourways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? and also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up. On Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up. My kits are just incredible. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got the macrame with fire agate, beautiful, beautiful agate. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got one of my favorite products, We've got diamond tubing, brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and Pearl Elements. It's gonna be the most amazing show. We've got so many surprises, competitions, giveaways. It's gonna be an incredible show. So that's Tuesday, 23rd of July. Join myself and presenter Eleanor. It's gonna be amazing. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Now, I just, just for a second, is like, what do I start with? Because are we? Would we agree that? And I know I've repeated this so many times. I know, I know, I know. I have. Even my husband says it to me now. It's, it's one of the jewelry makers' greatest strengths. No, <laughs> no, but it really is. It really, it always has been one of our greatest strengths, pearls. The supply, the pearl quality that you get here at Jewelry Maker is amazing. Yes. And so much so, it's not just me saying it, you know, and I'm sure lots of you who are watching have nodded along or even felt inclined to text into the studio and say, I won't buy my pearls from anywhere else. How many times have we heard that? Oh yeah, totally. You know, it's, it's one of those opportunities. We can buy, per you could buy pearls elsewhere but what you can't always, I'm not, I'm not tarnishing everyone with the same brushes. I can't, you can't always guarantee the quality. And you, I, I think would be really hard pushed to guarantee the price point, especially now. In the world of gemstones, it's an ever evolving one. It changes on a regular basis. Fashions change, don't they? But pearls has always been a constant. I think that's fair to say, literally over centuries, thousands of years in actual fact. Pearls were once upon the time, before, prior to Mickey Moto, they were the rarest gem in the world. Back when there wasn't culturing, you used to free dye for pearls. 
That, can you imagine that? Yeah. That's how you used to find pearls. You used to free dive, try and find oysters firstly. And what's the likelihood of them actually having a, a pearl inside? That's why they were the most expensive gemstone on the planet. Anyway, fast forward to Mickey Moto, who developed that process, um, literally of culturing pearls, inserting the tiniest nucleus bead, and then caring for said mother oyster. And they are literally cared for. I can't stress that. They're not just, you know, okay, there's a bead, stick it in the water and hope for the best. They are literally pampered, these oysters. You know, whatever the location, whether it's South Sea, Tahitian, whether it's marine pearls, whether they're freshwater pearls, whichever they are, they are literally nurtured. So if you can imagine, if you're an oyster, you're having any debris or any barnacles literally removed from your shell, and you might think, well, what, what's the point in that? Does that really affect the oyster, uh, the, the, the hopeful pearl? Yes, it does, because how that oyster can filter, how that oyster can actually feed, also the temperatures, the nutrients, the cleanliness of the water all massively impact the oyster and a happy oyster will hopefully produce a beautiful pearl, hopefully. But this is not a quick process. You know, firstly you have to mature the oyster over years, usually around about three years as an average, depending on where they are. So you have to care for that oyster for three years before they can even start the culturing process. So you're vested straight away. And then when you do start the culturing process, you have to nurture that oyster for a fur further few years on the unknown of whether there's an oyster, whether there's a pearl inside. So you might go through what, let's say five, six years, maybe less, and still not get a pearl at the end of it. Each ripple pearl, firstly, because there's lots of different varieties of pearls, each ripple pearl will be one pearl per oyster. So for your more potato pearls, for example, they'll try and cram as many as they put in as they possibly can. That's why you get the sort of irregular shapes. But when we're talking about pearls like this, and also justifies the thousands of pounds price tag that you see in most jewelers, is because you know they're going through that whole lengthy process in the hope that there's going to be a pearl, one single pearl inside, um, one. Add to that then, jewelry makers, the fact that, remember your five virtues of pearls? Colour, oh sorry, size. Anything over double digits is a huge pearl. Huge. And takes longer to actually culture. Then we start talking about shape. Are they spherical? Spherical is still the most valuable. Then we start talking about colour. Now you can bleach and dye pearls, no problem. But if they are naturally coloured, it's the impossible pearl. Because your oyster, and let's just say it's about the size of my hand. To get this colour, they are a rare hybrid oyster. So what that basically means is they've bred different oysters together so that their internal mother of pearl shell, if they see one which has a strong purple, a strong papaya, a strong pistachio, they will actually breed them in the hope that the other, uh, other oysters will be able to actually produce more pearls like this. So it's something that, oh my goodness, this is an, this is an oyster that actually has a strong purple colour, will breed that one further. So you know, because it's the most popular, certainly the most popular. Anyway, I go back to naturally coloured, the impossible pearl. These are all strong, natural coloured pearls. Some of the strongest are ultraviolet colours, yeah, absolutely. Then we start talking about the nacre. Na nacre is the rare precious material that makes a pearl. So the coating that that oyster will secrete as to sort of protect itself from the irritant, the mother of pearl, um, repeating that natural process. The more of nacre that you get, the, the larger your pearl will be, obviously, um, but also the final virtue, the more luster. Luster is the most important of all your five virtues, and that's the joy of ripple pearls, which I'll get to in just a second. Luster is how reflective the exterior of the pearl actually is. So if I was to look at a pearl and it had size, it had lovely shape, it had the most amazing natural colour, it's got layers of nacre, but it didn't have luster, so it's quite matte, 
it's a meh pearl basically <laughs> so it's a bit like if you were to have a, a diamond and it was to be it was i don't know let's say a carrot yeah mm -hmm. it's a carrot in size it's de decolorless it's flawless but if it's cut badly oh yeah 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 you lose everything so cut is the most important for your for your diamonds luster is the most important for your pearl that's where we start talking ripple now these are new to the industry a ripple pearl is basically like folds extra layers of nacre that produce the most mirror like luster and they hit the pearl world by storm very recently I found an article that talks about ripple pearls and I'm, these aren't my words but um, it describes why the pearl industry is so fanatical about ripple pearls at the moment ripple pearls your new favorites that says it all doesn't it everybody wants ripple pearls um they go on to say and this is this is the author's actually saying two weeks ago i promised you a small primer on one of the newest hottest pearl trends in hong kong ripple pearls ripple pearls are also known as kasumi style freshwater pearls which uh, i personally prefer but the name can be a bit confusing um, as actual kasumi pearls coming from lake kasumi um, in japan there are pearls they, it's actually a harvest as well these japanese freshwater pearls were once very famous and very very covetable they were the only Japanese freshwater pearls on the market and known for their intense metallic luster. There's the nacre, there's the luster, an array of dazzling natural colors. Unfortunately, Kasumi pearl production ceased in the 1980s due to extensive pollution um, of Lake Kasumi and these rare gems um, became even rarer found in only uh, collector's markets. And I, I, a little update on that, Kasumi pills have actually, because there was a huge um, environmental drive to actually restore um, the location. So they have actually started again production. However, we're not talking about Kasumi pills. We're talking about ripple pills. Currently, there are only three pearl producers working hard to bring back Kasumi Pearls productions in Japan as we speak, and I wish them all the best of luck in the future. Well, they succeeded. They, ha they have succeeded. There is a small Kasumi um, culture pearl location. But, like I said, they're not Kasumi Pearls. That's, if this isn't that location, this is a ripple pearl, which is all about the abundance of nacre. Um, Q 2009 and the Chinese picked up a Kasumi pearl torch using secret grafting techniques and especially hybridized, we've used that word already, freshwater pearl mussel, a combination of two types of mussels I'm not even going to attempt to actually pronounce. Um, a select few freshwater pearl farmers began experimenting and creating the Kasumi style freshwater pearl. Now again, can I just interrupt that this, this article for a, section, a second because you think about Edison pearls. Edison pearls were introduced to take on your South Sea pearls. Yeah? Yeah. Um, these were uh, um, created, if you like. Created is probably the wrong word. The idea was to take on the Kasumi market. This involved um, inserting an actual bead nucleus into the gonad of the freshwater pearl mussel, similar to how saltwater pearls are nucleated. So the same way. The pearls quickly picked up their name Ripple Pearls due to their heavily textured surface. Can you imagine, and, and, and I want you to try and visualize this. You know when you, if you were to literally pour melted chocolate, you've got that beautifully lustrous, delicious yeah. texture, and you were literally just to hold it, I don't know, maybe in, uh, you were to pour it, I suppose, on one, and you'd get those amazing textures. You see those beautiful mm -hmm. folds of the melted chocolate. Now imagine that with nacre. That's uh, what ripple pearls yeah. are known for. You've got that really beautiful mm. abundance of nacre, delicious nacre, producing all of that amazing luster. Um, so I'm going to show you a photograph here on the same article that says a classic ripple texture and orient. So with a ripple pearl, please do not expect them to be perfectly smooth. That's not what they're about. A ripple pearl is all about accepting that a pearl is about is all the beauty of a pearl is is the is the nacre and whether it forms perfectly smooth where you could easily misinterpret it for a synthetic pearl a ripple pearl is about 
you can tell that these are um, totally natural. You can tell that they are genuine pearls. The intensity, intensity of the Orion is just astonishing. Violet, magenta, bright flashes of blue shimmer over every bit of surface area on each pearl. Now, what we're looking at on this article are your beautiful classic whites. But in that article, they also spoke about hybridized oysters. Mm -hmm. So you've got hybridized oysters produce a ripple pearl. Furthermore, these are hybridized oysters that produce natural colors. They go on to say that ripple pearls debuted in 2009 and 2010, and the initial harvests were priced at sky high premiums. Uh, this original lot I picked up showing pink and peach body colors and intense gold and aquamarine flashes were in the high, th high hundreds into the thousands, depending on the size um, and surface quality. But let's face it, this pearl necklace is simply stunning. So she's in here, yeah, that's worth every single, whether it's thousands of pounds or hundreds, it's worth every single penny of it. It is stunning and they are naturally metallic. You know, it was said from a harvest of freshwater pearls, a harvest of 10,000 freshwater pearls, less than 10 will be metallic. Gosh. That's a lot, that's a lot. Th that, that is such a low percentage, isn't yeah. it? And you think about that, that is, that is but incredible. The statistics will go up even more because we're not just talking about metallic. Yeah. We're talking about the impossible pearls. Yeah. The ones with those beautiful, intense ultraviolet colors, the pistachios, the golds. So you've got the rarity of that color. You've also got to add to the fact that these are all color matched. How long? Yeah. Do you think, how many harvests? Do you think it would have taken to produce enough pearls to make your necklace? Imagine this piece knotted on an 18 karat gold clasp. How many harvests do you think that it would have taken? Remember that Remember that, that pearl supplier in Hong Kong at the beginning of this year and she was saying, look, it's gonna take me years to be able to replace this pink strand. Years, mm. she was saying, because you just, the rarity is in the color. How long do you think it's gonna take said supplier or pearl harvester to find enough impossible and metallic ripple pearls. Oh my gosh, yeah. When there's only a few farmers that will actually harvest ripple pearls. Should, I know they're talking about the sort of the whites and the pale pinks, but it's still absolutely applicable. And we've got a hundred of these jewelry makers, so I want us to watch it. They are, she is talking about freshwater pearls but yours is actually rarer than this because there's quite a few different freshwater pearl harvesters that are trying to recreate the South Sea. There's very few that have the hybrid oysters to produce these. This is Dave in Hong Kong earlier this year talking and, and listen to when she says, it's gonna take me years to be able to re replace a strand like this because it absolutely applies to your deal of the day. This is it. With Mattele. Hmm? And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? What's the image? This one. One thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And what, what size is it? Eleven to four. Eleven to. Fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And this one. Okay, I like uh, this one here. Price. Uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare. Very rare. Yeah. The 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 color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls has gone very expensive now <laughs> in the market because of Nini Ni and Yang Ni, yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 very. US dollars. US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, no, 
Now I only this color only one, this size. Right. Yeah, maybe a little smaller. Smaller, but a smaller, not material like this. Okay. Yeah. And, and if the, if smaller, uh -huh. okay. So, uh -huh. can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can no two maybe two. Two. Yeah. Similar. So similar so color. yeah yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? Uh, yep. You. This one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. Five thousand five hundred dollars yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also, special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. Is this lower? No? This top, all top, lower is over there. So for the top yeah. white? Yeah, top white. And what the kind of, what, okay, so uh, how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this law is seven. 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 Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy all Natural seven, color, right? Natural color, yeah. natural color, all natural color. We all natural color. Just a golden and a black. We die. This is all natural. 6,200, okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything manufactured with? We can, we can clasp. But if you have clasp, but we made it now, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. She only had one because it was natural pink and metallic. See how excited she got when she said metallic? Pinkish. Pinkish? Yeah. Pinkish. And they were thousands of pounds. And you heard Dave say then, and I think really deep down, he knew the answer to the question, how many can you get over many years? Maybe, maybe another two. Over many years. Look at the color over my shoulder. That's just incredible. Prior to us becoming live this morning, jewellery makers, the conversations that the team um, we've all had is they are the deepest colours, coloured natural pearls that have ever graced our screens. That's a big statement, isn't it? But mm. I absolutely stand by that statement. In fact, let me, let, me, let me throw that question to you. Have you ever seen a purple like that? I'm not talking about dyed pearls. Do you notice how she was like, ah, oh, the dyed variety at the back. They're at the back. You want the more affordable, they're down there. These are top. These are top grade. And she had one. She had one strand of the natural colors with the, with the metallic. Hello, Mandy, darling, saying the color of those ripple pearls is stunning. They are perfectly imperfect. But don't you? Yes, absolutely. You know what? That's what ripple pearls. Mandy is 100% right. Ripple pearls are about those beautiful shapes. They're about the abundance of nacre. Because you know what? It goes hand in hand. You can have the most spherical pearl, but it not have nacre on it. Or very, very, very little nacre. This has so much nacre that the nacre folds and that's what produces the color and that's what produces the luster. Now, they come presented literally like this. And that's what we should expect of the best colored pearls I've ever seen. I have ever seen. There are, this is absolutely incredible. Do you know what, Ross? It's not May the 4th, is it? No, it's not birthday. May the 4th is jewelry maker birthday. I should, be, these should be a jewelry maker birthday deal of the day. They are, we've got a hundred. And a special birthday at that, not yeah. your, not your 13, no, yeah, like you know, a, a, a 10 or a 15 or a 20 or. Yeah. That's just amazing. I'm amazed they haven't been snapped up for our sister channel's 20th anniversary. I don't think they've been shown them. <laughs> Jewelry makers, there are a hundred. I have to make it fair for everyone. And I can I can I just you might be sat here thinking, these are beyond my budget. These are beyond my budget. These are beyond my budget. I'm gonna tell you today, if you do, if if this price point does not excite you, you ain't ever gonna have the finest quality pills. Because honestly. The, the deal is unbelievable. Is that true, Ross? The deal is the best I've ever seen for the quality. I'm not talking, they're ripple pearls. Very, very, very new to the industry and have taken the industry completely and utterly by storm. The auction is 
now open jewelry makers every single natural ripple pearl is demonstrating your metallic colors is demonstrating those um the impossible colors you've got a reason why i say put impossible is because remember you've got to hybridize the actual oyster and then the strong colors these beautiful ultraviolet colors only occur on the circumference of the oyster when you consider the size these are 10 mil that's like a carrot diamond basically when you consider that this pearl wouldn't have formed actually in the flesh of the oyster it would have formed on the exterior of the oyster where they have the most condensed color and that that um, normally means they're going to be much smaller. These are the impossible pearls. I've used that terminology um, for many, many, many years. We have an amazing 100 quantity. And jewelry makers, hands up if you're a pearl lover. Oh my gosh, two. Two hands up. I have never been more of a pearl lover um, until recent years here at Jewelry Maker because the quality that we bring you is on another scale. I, I mean, I could sit, I'd get myself in trouble, but on, honestly, <laughs> I think the quality that we produce just surpasses so many big designers, so many big brands that you might expect. The reality is they can't offer pearls like this of, of, of quantity. Yoko of London, one of the finest pearl suppliers in the UK, can't offer you pearls like this. They are literally out of stock. They spoke to us, they reached out to us and said, look, I, you know, we can't get pearls. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong. They're soft pink. They're not as deep a color. And they're 22 and a half grand. I guarantee lovely jewelry, uh, jewelry makers, pearl lovers, these will be one of the most shocking in the best possible way prices. Now normally, Ross is saying in my ear, Elle, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Normally we might chip down at the price. You might say five grand, three grand, because that's what you could expect to pay. You should expect to pay. A trade, possibly. This one here, a trade, pre-Pearl Mania, was $1,980. So we could go 2,000 pounds and can make that comparison. Another one. If you were to cherry pick that parcel, Dave texts them two and a half thousand dollars per strand wholesale. Oh, by the way, that's if we buy the whole lot. So if you want to buy one, it's four. So we could stop at four and say, look, that's wholesale. You ain't buying it retail at that price. Another six thousand nine hundred ninety five. They are a bit bigger. Yeah, granted. Again, that's wholesale. That's wholesale. That's not what you are going to pay in a high-end jewellers. But that's not got a patch of the colour. No, it's, it's much paler. We're going to do something a little bit differently today. Mm. For the deepest purple colour, the most metallic pearls we've ever brought you, you want to you wanna do what? The first price crush that we introduce is still no way near your final price. This is going to shock you. It is going to shock you. As a start price. 499 pounds with five way split pay. Oh my gosh. All 100 of these are, are finding a home today. Um, we are, with a quantity like that, which is probably one of the best quantities we've ever seen on pearls. They've got electric flashes, yeah, almost cobalt blue running through. Yeah. That's not dyed, that's not coated. That's all down to that mother beautiful. oyster. Um, those rare hybridized pearls that can produce these. We've got a hundred. Honestly, Alison, I've deliberately not told you what these are going to. Because you have oh. the reaction. No, 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 no. That's where we're starting, darling. That's where we are starting. No. You've got to imagine, like 20 seconds, we're going again. 6.99. That's that's what I was expecting. Six nine nine. Yeah. Yeah. Six nine nine. Yeah. Which would yeah, be awesome. Yeah, not six pound ninety nine. Six hundred and ninety nine. That would be awesome. It's ten percent of the price that we yeah. saw of that strand at Tucson. Oh Four my gosh. nine nine would be absolutely amazing. Stunning. The most affordable strand that we saw, we've 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 what we've done what twenty five percent of that price, and we go lower. We go again. How about for the largest? natural That's amazing impossible pearl 
finest colour with the deepest metallic luster and still know when you're done. Alison, I've just seen the clock. I know. You if you love pearls and you are after the best pearls in the in the richest colour. Hey, listen, my pearl collection is amazing, thanks to Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Even if you think oh, I'm well stocked on pills, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity, trust me. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. The colours is incredible. 45% of the stock done, confirmed. Thank you for your trust. Because you're all thinking right now, even if you were to stop here, Jewelry Maker's 399, Happy. look at the quality. They could have a one in front of it and that would be awesome. Yep. They could have a, a, a nine at the end of that price tag. And the reality is that would be awesome. Because you ain't finding any high-end pearl supplier giving you pearls of this quality, ripple pearls, with that intensity of colour, with that level of metallic. Remember that what that pearl supplier was saying? Metallic. They're all metallic. One. Very rare. Take, you know, I can produce one. That's it. You know, you're not finding it. And how much was it? 5,000? Something like that? Five to ten grand? Oh, no, that's silly. That we is... are so comfortable. Yeah, I'll bet. To stop here. If we had 50, make no doubt about it, it would probably be more than this price. And that would be amazing. Yeah. We are still oh no way gosh. near. Do you know, I think this is probably some of the most exciting I've ever been in a pearl auction. It's, a, it's an amazing purchase, this. It's an amazing, I mean, an amazing, it should be our, do you see what I mean? May the 4th is our birthday here at Jewelry Maker. So These special. are birthday auction worthy. Yeah. Would you all agree? Yeah. The quantity, totally. the quality, the colour, the price tag's just ludicrous in the best possible way. <coughs> in 30 seconds, Jewelry Makers, you're about to see your deal of the day price tag that we managed to acquire. Can I also just say it's a trivial thing, but that box is costing you fifty pounds anywhere else. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, box yeah. alone, the box alone would be fifty pounds anywhere else. Are you ready, jewelry makers? No. If you are a pearl fanatic like so many of us, these are the best. And this is the worst possible lighting in the studio. We've got floodlights above us. Um, that's why I have to put so much makeup on it, literally just drains us out. Um, you're getting this, the reality, that's natural daylight, natural purple ripple pearls. <gasps> Do you see what I mean? That article that we just read through spoke about them being in the high, high hundreds yeah. into the thousands at trade. At trade. Plus that article was written before all your Tahitian pearl 10 year supply was bought up meaning they're not accessible same applies with your South Sea pearls we can't get either of those Akoya pearls astonishingly expensive now all freshwater pearls now China won't export them they won't export them because we're still striving jewelry makers slightly deluded but we're still striving to bring you the most affordable price tag on a gemstone that can command the highest price points it is deluded on our part um but my goodness me have we succeeded today um that is just out of this world and i'm with you i'm going uh, mega mega press it I, in fact i'd probably put platinum with it yeah platinum 18 karat gold De definitely um it's your choice, of course, but I agree. This, it's, it's opportunities like this which make me go, there is no way I'm putting that on a silver clasp. No way. No. That's, put it on an 18 karat gold clasp. Um, you're only adding to the value of that piece of jewellery. The quality of the pearls are absolutely incredible. You've counted what? 32 individual pearls. Think how long it's taken to acquire 32. I can't say that out loud. I'll say it. I'm a buyer, I'll say it. How much was that, Ross? Less than £6.50 per natural, incredibly, incredibly purple pearl. That is... And metallic. The metallic is off this... You know, you can look at yourself in them. This so, is, wait a minute. How many did you say are on there? 32. 10,000 pearls harvest, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. Yeah. So, so you've got to harvest over 30,000 pearls, to, and that's just metallic. Yeah, yeah, without the purple. Without even factoring the natural purple. What? 
that's amazing. And that's not just like, oh, one harvest, right, the next one will come along. Like, it's years yeah. in between those harvests. They don't, they're not given anything to make this colour. It's, it's a natural process, isn't it? Yeah. It's just that you look inside to see what you've got. It's a lottery win, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. That oh, like that bloke who found one in the restaurant. Yeah, the tiny purple pearl. Yeah. Look at, look at how many you're getting. And that yeah. wasn't metallic, by the way. London was tiny. Norma. Um hello to you. Uh Ollie Kinka, that's a lovely name in London. Agnes, Janet, Cheshire, Christine, Chrissy, Essex, Christine, uh, Cardiff, Des, Lucy, Jane, Suzanne, Geraldine, Heather, Rosie, Catherine. Um, hello to you, Jane. Got mine. Thank you, jewelry maker. Oh, well These done. are for me. Jane, I wouldn't part with them either. Um, yeah. Well done, my lovely. They're absolutely remarkable. Um, hello, Samantha, um, a big collector. Go, go, Roscoe. Tell Elle <laughs> to get her mobile. I'm going to. I'm, I'm totally, totally going to, Samantha. 100%. I was talking to my husband about it last night. I was like, I'm going to buy some pills today. And he was like, doesn't argue with me. Because every time he tries, he's like, I'm like, no pay, no say. Coming out of my bank balance. It's yeah. fine. Um, and to be honest, where else in the world will I get pills of that quality at £199? There are 38 <gasps> opportunities. Oh, no, well. What are you doing? No. What? No, 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 Ross. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, you know you were going to buy some pills today. Yeah, I, I was don't think going you're to going buy to. pills today. I, okay, I just want to put this one out there. I love you all. I'm a buyer as well. I would be buying these two. I'm just going to put this one out there. I strongly disagree with this. <laughs> because that is unbelievable. Look, let's just, look, I'm all about giving you best amazing savings, but would we all agree that's ridiculous. The, 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 We're at less than six pound fifty per impossible yeah. pearl for a ripple pearl. And what? What do you say? You could get these home for less than forty quid. That's all of them, not one. You pay more than that for a takeaway. Interest free. Ross's words: I am willing to get the final thirty-five, thirty-four. <gasps> they are too beautiful to have within our vault. You want this to be a one auction wonder. It's going to be Ross. It's in a, in a, can I just say, if you are, you could literally just, and I, and I don't think anyone would do this, but you could buy them and sell them straight away. And you yeah. do. don't sell them cheaply. Please don't sell them like the prices that we do. We do this for you guys. 60 seconds, it's going lower, jewelry makers. Um, you've got to be in it. You've got to be in it nice and early. Look at that color. Just take a moment to Amazing. breathe in that natural, deep ultraviolet color. It is natural. Take a moment to breathe in that natural metallic luster on every single one of those pearls. Um, oh my goodness me. Just consider how rare. He gets pearls are cultured, but it's not a case of, I'll just pop that bead in that oyster and I'll wait. Yeah. Um, these are all individual, I always say it, lottery wins. And that's singularly, not the entire strand. Then you've got to colour match it. Then you've got to graduate it. Then you've got to make sure that the luster, the ripples, and also that metallic beauty is all matched. This would have taken years to put together your necklace. I'm not surprised, Yi Mei, another amazing collector in London. I'm not surprised you've chosen to buy three. I mean, when have we ever seen pearls of this quality at such an affordable oh, low no. price tag? And that's here at Jewelry Maker. Suzanne's multi-bought. Durham's bought three as well. It's first come, first serve. I can't say any fairer than that. It's crazy. It will sell out today. I guarantee that. Oh, boy. Oh, something's just dawned on me, Ross. Ross, something's just dawned on me. The box is 50 quid. You've just done pearls of this quality for 100 quid. How much does that make each I don't, No, I don't know that no, I want to know how much I each one is. I don't, because it's making me... You know when you're a little bit anxious and excited yeah. at the same time, you start feeling a little bit sick? Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm nervously laughing right now, because honestly, I still have friends in, um, in Hatton Garden. If I was to walk this down to Hatton Garden, show it to some of my friends that work in, in the luxury jewellers there, they would literally laugh in my face at 149. Honestly. Hello, Jane. I bet Jen Pori will be spitting feathers at that price. That's <laughs> yeah. another thought I was thinking as well, Jane. They'll be so envious. Because also, don't forget, Jen Pori are about to celebrate their 20th birthday. Um, 
and they haven't spent a single penny on pearls. Really? Normally 30% of their budget, for the birthday budget, goes towards pearls. They haven't been able to buy any. 100 on their birthday would be gone in seconds, so it's not a viable auction for them. But after, we've got a slightly smaller order, only slightly, mind. Uh, if, you don't, if you're on the phone line, stay where you are. I, and if you miss out, wish list it, wish list it, oh, wish list it. How on earth have you, Ross, I'm, 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 I am quite nervous about that price. Look at the split pay, Ross. £29.80. pence. We had 100 opportunities. I'm not moving on until these sell out. 144 oh. of you have it in your baskets. Can we show the call screens? There are 22 people on the phone lines holding. Stay where you are. Do not abandon those calls. You might be next in line to be answered right now. The call screens, as you can imagine, has gone nuts. Completely and utterly nuts. They debuted in 2010. They were an immediate success. And when they debuted, they were immediately at Sky High Premiums. And even the ones that that, that, that author was talking about, she, uh, she, wasn't, she didn't have the deep purples. She had the look, beautiful, don't get me wrong, the mm. lovely gold. Look at the color of your purples. And they're all natural. There you all are. It is going to sell out. If you've got a one next to your name on, on your, the other side of the line, you're in the process. You're either, it's either sat in your baskets or on the web. If you've got a number one next to you, you're in the process to be answered on our call screen. Um, if you've got a T, you've been answered. If you've got a B, it's in your basket and you need to check it out. It's not guaranteed to you until you confirm. If you've got an A, you're an app. Um, so June in West Midlands wants two. June, you need to check, the, uh, check those two out, my lovely. Now, I often like to show this call screen because it, vi it visually shows you how limited this opportunity is now. Yeah. The reality is, a strand like this, I should be bringing you maybe two. That supplier in Hong Kong, the largest gem, one of the largest gem fairs, certainly for pearls, she had one of those pink pearls, didn't she? And she was selling them at trade at between five and 10,000 pounds. You've just got naturally ultraviolet purples, naturally metallic, ripple purples as well, and you've just got them for less than 150 quid. Hello, Anne. Um, never thought I would own these. Thank you very much. I mean, this is a thing. You know what, Anne? That, that just... Uh, it sums it that, up, doesn't that's it? That's why we've got the best job in the world, because we are able to bring you the best... Um, quality gemstones, the finest quality pearls, and get it at an achievable deal. Well done, Hertfordshire, Ross, what a deal, too good to miss. We're sitting on my hands, but this is too good. I agree, Hertfordshire, it's one of those opportunities that if we didn't act on it, I think we wouldn't forget about it. You, 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 you don't forget, you don't forget purchases that you miss out on, pieces that you love. Samantha in Coventry, thank you, Roscoe, we love you. <laughs> he is pretty good to be fair. He is pretty good to be fair, Samantha. Well done. Do you want to know how many we've got left? No. Two. Oh, we got no chance, no. Alison. Can I just say it again? That box is 50 quid. You've got those pills for 100 pounds. That's madness. One of them should be more than that. One single, single ripple pearl, naturally ultraviolet naturally metallic one should be over 100 pounds you've just got a full 38 centimeter strand they've sold out gee there's a surprise wish list definitely wish list it i will be wish list they've sold out so we're a bit early before the top of the oh. okay. <laughs> frisk girl on the way out <laughs> sorry snitched then Alison rumbled me. <laughs> Only if you stick one up the other side as well. <laughs> okay. What? Sorry, Ross. You've just... I did, I did notice you disappeared momentarily. You've just run upstairs. You went into George's... Oh, you didn't. <laughs> he's pulled out... He's taken one of George's pearls. The massive closeout she did during the week as a manager special. You've just checked the quantity, there's 59 left. I wanna show you one thing. Are you gonna play it today? No, it wasn't me. I wasn't there. Yeah, can I just, can I just show you one? Right, look at this. Oh. 
Ooh, that's liquid gold. So that pearl on its own. Wait a minute. Let me just, just, just maybe do that. So were these South Sea? You'd think. That, yeah. Or are they a Koya, maybe? Might be a Koya. It's the golden, though. I, I... You're not text. No, don't text her. She'll say no. Let's Look at the quality of those. Now, the first, first pearl opportunity has gone. Look at those. Mm. Now, you'll want to do an auction. That what, sorry? Really? I wasn't here. What Georgia did on these pearls, apparently, and I've, I'm clueless, is frankly ridiculous, says. Is it? My goodness me, these are incredible. Can I get a black bust? <gasps> do you want to do these now? now? Up to our customers to text in. Do you want Ross to be the rebel that we know he is and do these right now? Because we've got a few, thank you, because we've got a few minutes to spare. Yes. That's the only reason. Just because, you know, what, we're we just going to chat for the next five minutes? You literally went into Georgia's top drawer and stole her big manager special pearls. Oops. Shall we do it? Text in. Do you want Ross to do it? Do it. You have every colour that you could wish and they're all natural from your apricots to your purple to your pure white. Um, hello, Fiona. Beware where you take them for evaluation. Many high-end uh, jewellers don't understand what's happening with the industry. Got mine, thank you. Totally agree with you, Fiona. Totally, totally agree with you. Um, Fiona, go for it, Ross. We need more than that. You need to egg, You need to encourage Ross. Egg him on. Yes, 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 this month. You need to do some arm twisting for our Ross. The fact that you've actually run upstairs tells me you're not going to need that much encouragement, Ross. Should we just do it? Yeah, go on. There's loads of messages now. Do it, Ross. Saw these in the saw these in the week. Must sit on hand. Exclamation mark. Oh, so you know what the price is? I don't know, Hertfordshire. No, I don't either. Do it, do it, do it. Go, oh. Ross. Oh, I thought, oh. 30 seconds to graphics, jewelry makers. Look at that. Natural pinks. Yeah. Natural papayas, natural purples. Do not miss out this opportunity. I'm actually blind here in this auction. I don't know what these are going to. Just you wait. Come on, Ross, says Cheryl in London. Go, Ross. Go, Ross. We love you. In 10 seconds Drop for the gold. The I'd be getting involved for those beautiful golds. And again, this is the worst possible lighting to look at these pearls. We're in the studio with dreadful floodlights. Remember, Charlie used to get all, all grumpy about it, didn't he, the floodlights? Hi, Hertfordshire. Elle, get your phone now. <laughs> um, can someone please get my phone? I don't know what this is going through, but I trust you, collector in Hertfordshire. The last auction sold out. Let's open these up. Oh, no. Oh no. Can someone pass me my phone? Or my bag, if you don't like it. Um, we're opening it up. At 149. Okay, can I go back to this? Oh, the other bag, sorry, I've got to. <laughs> sorry, Becky. Hang on. Nowhere near enough people on the phone lines. If you want to reg us on to repeat this. Have we got many left, Ross? Have we got we enough for me and Elle to get available. one? Yeah, well, I'm getting me out on the phone in a sec. Just for that, those. Look at those. Look, are it, they are literally like it's, gold. I know. And they're totally natural. 
I love it. One of them should be 149. Mm. Again, pop one in a pinch bale. It's going to yeah, look beautiful. amazing. Thanks. That bag. <laughs> Why am I in trouble? Got it. I'll get two. Hi, Mandy. I'm waiting on these uh, arriving. Couldn't resist the colours. I agree. I know. The colours are amazing. They're amazing. It's gold. They're like gold. Yeah. The next price crash. I, can you tell I'm really drawn to those golden yeah. ones? Yeah. Oh, what? No way near done. Seriously, Ross. What do you take these to? <laughs> oh, you tease. I do trust him. I 100% 100, 100 trust you. Okay. And Alison wants one. Yep. Okay, Alison. I'm added. Well, there's been a quantity, so. All the managers are trying to outdo each other. That's a hint to how low Georgia took these. And how many did Georgia had, have at the original, at the beginning? 200, wow. Wow. That's amazing. I literally not those, put them on a gold class. How amazing are they? Oh, stunning. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers and in eight seconds we are going even lower. Can you believe that? Couch, no. couch, couch. I've got the buffery, buffery wheel of doom. No. <laughs> um, What? Whoa, hang on. <gasps> George is in so much trouble. Thanks for the heads up, lovely, lovely customers. Yeah. Look at those. George is going to come in on, on Monday and go, or tomorrow, where's my pearls? Ah. <laughs> uh. Where are they? <laughs> oh, you put the sample back in the drawer so she's none the wiser. Oh, why haven't I done this? Um, loads of multi-buyers on this. I, I missed this auction. It happened on Monday, didn't it? Oh, that's just so pretty Stunning. like that, isn't it? Can I just say I would mix it round. I would put the purple and the, uh, and the, the papaya in the middle and then the whites at the top. Yeah. That's what I would do, personally. Natural. Massive managers close out deal. And they didn't close at £79.99. and pence. We had 200 we have the final, what is it, just over 25%. 59 when we started. I don't have 59 now, though. 69 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Deborah. So beautiful. Absolutely couldn't resist, but really shouldn't. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Gorgeous. Had to get them uh, to add to my pearl box. Jewelers offered 6.5K now. There we go. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. What, for your, for your box of pearls? I'm not surprised. It's probably more now, given the fact that's going on within the industry. That's unbelievable. Can I just say once again, for these golden ones in particular, just because of how metallic they are, that for 69.99 is insane. Absolutely insane. Oxfordshire, Janice multi-buying, Jenny, Suzanne, Amanda, Sally, half just got two, and Eleanor in Worcestershire, you've got two. Um, Durham, you've got four. Yeah, like when have you ever seen anything like that? Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? I'd pay $69.99 for that one. <laughs> Deborah, Samantha, Kim. Durham's got four. Um, Cheryl, Cheshire, well done. Jane in Lancashire, I got these. Um, they really aren't, they are, yeah. Have you got them home already, Jane? Yeah, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Jane. $69.99. What on earth are you doing there? I, I like it. Okay. Not. I mean, to be fair, the last auction. Yeah, we've, we've got no accountability here because it's all on Georgia. Georgia choose, chose the price, not us. And she does most of the pearl buying. This exact sample will go back in her drawer. <laughs> She'll come in tomorrow, not realising what's happened. She'll go, oh, I got, oh, I've got just the thing for your special auction. Oh, I've got just the thing, Jen Pori. We've got a few 15, we've got 59 maybe of these amazing pearls that you can have. 
Oh no, I did a silly price and then Ross stole them. I'm in tomorrow. I'm in the studio tomorrow. I'd I take might, cover. I might go up and say, oh, he had a really nice strand of pearls on. Had. <laughs> and had. And you special. Oh, no, don't the show the was beer, a had. Alison. Alison. We are going lower. This is all on Georgia. Look at those. Look at that one on the end. Four. Lavender, 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 lavender. That one. Oh, gosh. Look at how beautiful. Oh, In 20 seconds, you're going to benefit from the manager's special closeout deal. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely Can I say it again? Stunning. I know I opened this hour to do it. It is still our greatest strength, isn't it? And that's yeah. saying something. That's a success story. It should be jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Best at buying pearls. <laughs> Amazing at buying pearls. That's what we should say. Should be on our coffee cups and everything. This is all George's manager special deal. I wish I had more. Wow. What? Yeah. <gasps> That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Oh. Not if there's any left, I'm going to multi buy. I've bought two. Bought one. Yeah, no, no. I, do I you want, want another one? Yeah, I'm going to do multi strand. Oh, my <gasps> goodness. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? She's, she's so very excited. excited. She's knocked over a cup of tea. <gasps> David's got two. Liz, Denise, Patricia, Lucy, Julie, Sarah, Yime, Anne, Cheshire, Cheryl, Deborah, Samantha, Elizabeth, Denise. Well done to you. That is your price. We cannot go any lower when you think that these are literally like gold. Like liquid gold. Beautiful. Go lower, for goodness oh. sake. You know what you were talking about like with Ripple Pearls? The analogy of like yeah. poor melting chocolate and all that lovely oh. luster. That yeah. you get now imagine it with gold yes like literally liquid gold that's what wow. this strand's all about it's absolutely beautiful so what we're saying is the pearls taking its the the oysters taking it pearl and laid gold leaf all, all, all over, over it. it literally all over it wow look at those the whites are beautiful too don't get me the, wrong but i'm almost like yeah I'm just, I'm, I just, I'm just drawn to these beautiful gold. Look at that! Look by my fingers right now. That's like 24 karat gold, but it's actually a pearl. Amazing. Cool. Christine, Jalanta, Jenny, Hilda, Judith, Sue, J, Denise, Liz, Anne, Maker in Hertfordshire, Sally, Amanda, Suzanne, Janice has got three, Hazel, Oxfordshire. You can still do it, jewellery makers, but it is getting extremely limited now. You do need to check out if they're in your baskets because like the previous auction, keep an eye on the website though because occasionally sort of people, um, they might drop into quantity. I doubt it, to be honest. Um, and the only reason that we're getting this opportunity is because how quickly the previous strand of pills sold out. So, um, yeah, we had five minutes to fill, basically. And on live TV, that five minutes can be used very well. Very well with some beautiful pills. Out of the 200 that we originally launched, we have now... Ah, okay. But still 18, which is amazing. 18. Again, can, can, let's just, just always try and consider that that pearl supplier had ones yeah fives if a jeweler had 18 of these they'd be absolutely over the moon oh gosh they'd be ecstatic over the moon you know we become blasé don't we we become so blasé to what we get what we get at an affordable yeah. price tag and what they would be elsewhere um adam is so blasé he's horizontal on you ads yep um, Keith, Lynn, Linda, Anjum's got two, Suzanne, and Vivian's got two, Gerda, Pauline, Patricia, Liz, well done, Samantha's come in and got another one, well done, Samantha. Uh, Julie and Sarah and Stacey, congratulations, we have literally 15 left. If your name is, look at the call screens, can we show that, Bex? Sorry, darling. Um, if you and remember, this was a smaller quantity than the previous auction, so um, it is dangerously limited now. Um, if your name is Fiona, Hertfordshire, Elizabeth, Nina, Joanne, Glenda, Lynn, Penny, Janine, June, Karen, Lucy, Lynn, Maker in Oxfordshire, Cheshire, it's no good having them sat in your baskets. They will not stay there. You need to check them out. June in West Midlands, for example, on the app has got three in her basket. June, I've got 10. I've got 10. 
You need to check them out, otherwise they'll disappear. They'll be in somebody else's collection, somebody else's orders. If you see your name here, you need to check them out and you disappear off the bottom of the screens. All the people on the other side, they've done it. Sit back and enjoy. Yeah, they're all going, yeah. Well, yeah, you've done cup it. Of Congratulations, tea. you've got one of the best amazing metallic pearls um, and a manager special deal. Well done, everybody. You can see the multi buyers. We are going to do a clock to close. There are nine oh. left. Oh, wow. Nine left. Nine opportunities. Not them with silk, but them with your favourite precious metal colour. I'm absolutely floored by this section. Literally, that. I know you inch. can't let that section alone. I can literally you? can't let it go. That's what I would just be staring at. Because you're right, ads. It's like that strand that, that she was saying. What is it? The original lot I picked up showing pink and peach body colours with an intense gold and aquamarine flashes um, into thousands, depending on the size and surface. Yeah, it's literally like that gold colour, isn't it? Literally that colour gold. Ah, uh, incredible. Fiona, you can still do it. Harvard, you can still do it. Nina, you can still do it. Good luck, but time, the chance is slipping away. In 13 seconds, make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. We're going to have to move on from this and then we'll leave it in uh, in your hands. In your hands. Um, if you miss out on the previous auction and you haven't already done so, then make sure you've added it to your wish list likewise with this one. Because our call centre team do give you a call if anything does fall back into stock. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, what are we doing, Russ? Ah. Okay. Just gonna dip into a quick break, but after the break, we have a mega deal on a gem that actually it's been ages. Who's hands up the opal lovers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alison's hands and legs in the air. But nearly. <laughs> um, I can't hold that. Now, a little bit of inside information. Adam, oh, you're a big Opal fan, aren't you, Adam? And Adam, for directors, by the way, Opal can sometimes be a little bit of a nightmare because to film, to demonstrate the play of colour and for it to be able to translate on your screens is quite difficult to capture. Same as if you photograph it, it's quite difficult yeah. to capture. When you have opal of this grade, however, there's nothing difficult about it at all. Oh, look at that. We have a mega auction quantity, jewelry makers. The reds. 300. And that means mega oh. auction price. Have you just looked at the price? Adam's just like, that is phenomenal. That what what's not to love about black opal? It's hypnotic, mm. isn't it? It's just like wow, you know, you know, like when you think about when you think about gemstones and everything that they encompass, the rarity, the fascination, the beauty. Black opal ticks at them all, and we haven't seen it in ages. It's coming up, mega auction, mega auction quantity at a mega auction price. Do everything. Are you going to do it? Pre-orders are open now. We haven't seen opal in ages. We definitely haven't seen black opal. Um, we're going to talk about uh, black opal. I'm going to share with you an article that the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, wrote about black opal and it, you know the popularity of this amazing gemstone, particularly over the last decade. Um, and this is going to the most amazing price tag. So do shop ahead, guarantee your success. Don't go anywhere. It's on pre-order. <laughs>
Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had a go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. It's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. We're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we going to start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me. I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewelry and accessory organizer. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. everyone it's Mark here I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up my kits are just incredible in the nine o'clock hour we've got macrame with fire agate beautiful beautiful agate and then at 12 o'clock we have got one of my favorite products We've got diamond tubing, brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and Pearl Elements. It's gonna be the most amazing show. We've got so many surprises, competitions, giveaways. It's gonna be an incredible show. So that's Tuesday, 23rd of July. Join myself and presenter Eleanor. It's gonna be amazing. taken the initiative have you I noticed you sloped off have you gone and got your opal because you love opal don't you Alison oh I, I adore opal hmm. and it's I do adore favorite it. as well Claire yeah McDonald's favorite love it I've got very many favorites but that's right up there is yeah opal. And, you... and Adam it's up there with yours mm. isn't it so so rarely do you see black opal he loves it love it now the GIA 
which arguably, if you're going to get information from anywhere, the GIA should be a go-to. It's where I actually did my qualifications. Um, it's the largest in institution um, in the gemstone world, the Gemological Institution of America. They wrote an article, it was back in the winter of 2014, um, that speaks about a brand new deposit of black opal. And you might think, oh, it's 10 years ago, well, that's still very current in the gem world. You know, 10 years ago is nothing, really. Um, and they say, a new deposit of black opal from Ethiopia. It made headlines, this, this, this deposit, this location. Um, the opal was, first, uh, opal was first discovered in Ethiopia in the early 1990s. Can we just take a second? Because we almost assume opal, with all that history, mm. to, be, uh, to have been around for Ancient. hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah. Ethiopian opal was much later. It is a baby, an infant, if you like, in the gemstone world. It wasn't until the early 1990s that Ethiopian opal was actually discovered. Specimens from um, uh, Mezezo in the historical Shiwa province consisted of nodules of a reddish-brown volcanic rock with orange, reddish-brown uh, and chocolate-brown precious opals inside. The next major discovery occurred in 2008. So again, from 1990 to 2008 um, another so obviously the new opal was there um, I'll get into what produces opal in a few moments time but the fact that they would have been looking in different locations will all become clear in a moment when white precious opal was found in the Wello um, in the Wengal Tenor region talks about the altitudes there this deposit deposit still produces large amounts of white and crystal precious opal and occasionally some black material just to put this into perspective black opal is far rarer than white opal and it's also i think i think it's all down to personal perspective of course but black opal is very exciting because that dark body color really showcases the play of color internally i want to show you a few sort of rough pieces um, of black opal i mean these would be worth literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds um, can you see that sort of deep rich color and then you've got the, the play of color which again is formed from silica spheres Opal does not have a crystal structure in the same way that your diamonds do, your jade does, your sapphires, etc. So, opal forms from water. Over millions and millions and millions of years, water that has filtered, become trapped within sort of cracks and crevices underneath the ground, millions of years will produce this, well, can produce this gemstone. But it's not just that. How the silica spheres are arranged in an opal will demonstrate the quality of your opal. So we'll show you this in a second. So there's no crystal structure for opal um, like you would do in other gemstones or certain other gemstones, not all. Opal is all about basically ancient water. So it was very surprising, you know, uh, if you think about it, Australia, quite a dry, arid area, we know that Australian opal formed on dried out riverbeds where there was once sort of big vast location uh, full of water. Ethiopian opal is similar to that. Now going back to those silica spheres, it's the arrangement. Now if we were a builder and you were building a wall and you put those bricks all over the place and there was no organization, guess what? You wouldn't have a very good wall and you also wouldn't have play of color. If you managed <laughs> um, to arrange your silica sphere so perfectly, like this, that they look almost mathematically precise, this, if microscopically was an opal, you would get the most insane play of colour. It's very, very, very rare for them to be aligned like this. Here we go. Each sphere is only 0 0.0001 0 0 0 inches wide. Wow. I think I've said enough noughts there. That's little. Opal is made of tightly packed silica spheres. And only when they have that arrangement do you get the play of colour that's demonstrated. Now, I want to show you this photograph just to show you how vast the difference can be. Ty um, uh, graph sort of A is your play of colour. 
where you see the full amazing reds and oranges and greens and blues and it says there shows the um, orderly packing um, of silica spheres which in turn makes up the precious opal order b um, and you can see they're all over the all over the place um, shows the disordered packing of the silica spheres which turns up to be potch opal which is basically not gem quality it's basically like a, a white rock effectively um, so not 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 especially sought after in the gem world now um, I'm going to go back to yeah thank you uh, the many colors and types of opals because there is lots of different types of opal you can have your you can have Australian you can have Cooper PD you can have lightning ridge you can have Harlequin, uh, and then there's different play of colours. You can also have Wello Opal, uh, Peruvian Opal. There's loads of different varieties out there. Then you can have Mosaic Opal, Dendritic Opal, um, but sort of classic high quality opals really come down to your Australian and your um, Ethiopian. So anyway, they say there are five major major types: um, white or light opal, translucent to semi-translucent, with play of colour against white or light grey background. Uh, color called body color the opal specimen seen in uncut gems if anyone's seen that that film that was on Netflix appears likely to be a representation of a white opal despite its description as a black opal in the film black opal translucent to opaque with a play of color against a black or other dark background they often sell for higher prices than white opals because the color contrast is much greater against the dark background. You've got a better play of color. You've got to imagine, imagine those perfect silica spheres have now got the battle of being amazingly orderly and then they have to be produced the most play of color. Now what produces play of color? You need an observer, aka you, basically. You need an object, effectively. You need white light. And the observer looking at the object with the white light, how the arrangement of the silica spheres will equate to, and how far they have to travel will equate to what play of color you see. Certain colors are rarer, red's rarer, because it has to travel further. As we mentioned, Uncut Gems, and by the way, I have seen this film. It made me very anxious. It's not a great. Uh, well, it, I can't say it's a bad film. It's not a bad film, but it's not an enjoyable watch. It, it's quite stressful. Um, but it's all for, all centered around a black Ethiopian opal. The real gemology of Ethiopian opals in uncut gems. And there they are looking at it. You might think, oh, that doesn't look very white. That's its host. Uh, that's its host there. Inside there's like a window of black opal. It is very, very, very stressful, that film. Um, but one thing that it did do is absolutely skyrocket the price of black opal because it put in the limelight, of course. Um, why pearls, black opals and chocolate diamonds are so expensive? Several factors determine the value of a pearl, including its size, lust, uh, color and luster. And the high price of black opal is la largely influenced by its rarity and its difficulty to mine. And then they talk about chocolate diamonds as well. But really, they also need to talk about the fact, you know, desirability. You know, uh, um, black opals, people knew about black opals mm. after the films like that. The same as people knew about amylites after um, Kate Winslet filmed that film, you know. Um, and Jurassic Park with your amber. Black opal is one of the rarest gemstones in the world, sought after for its seemingly infinite displays of color compared to common opal, which is usually one color. High quality black opals can cost over $10,000 per carat, making it one of the world's most expensive gemstones. Over 90% of black opals come from Australia, but um, <clears throat> they aren't easy to find. Miners start by drilling a vertical shaft in an area that they think contains opal. Then uh, they must clear out the underground room large enough to start digging out the rock. The equipment needed to mine and cost to register your claim can be extremely expensive between $100,000 and 150000 but there's no guarantee. Imagine that risk. That gamble, yeah. effectively. There's no guarantee that the miners will find black opal. Once rough opal is extracted, <coughs> excuse me, and processed from the dirt, it has to be cut and polished. This is when the real value of the gem is determined. There's a huge demand for black opal, with lack of supply driving the price up. Black opal costs from $1,000 a carat to tens of thousands of dollars per carat. The most valuable black opals features 
bright red stones against a very black uh, base. Now, we can bring you black opal at an affordable price tag. Basically, how we do it is we will take a dark body colored opal and we will place it into the hands of the most amazing uh, um, pearl prof uh, sorry, opal professionals who have methods to increase, the same way that you heat a, a tanzanite, have methods to darken the original body color to demonstrate a pure black. If this strand, by the way, was completely and totally natural, it would, have be, the it would be the tens of thousands of pounds. Tens of thousands of pounds. We can bring you genuine opal with the finest silica sphere arrangement, the finest play of color, but with already a dark body color, it's got to have that, but an encouraged dark body color through those treatment processes. We have 300. <gasps> we haven't had black opal in, I can't remember how long. I genuinely can't remember how long. I can't remember the last time they actually spoke at that presentation. They are flying on pre-order. And the reason behind that is because the start price is already ridiculous. 30 seconds to your graphics. Brand new, first time to wear, like your deal of the day. I think this is going to be on screen sellout. Because there will be viewers who have joined our, um, our audience over the past maybe year or so who haven't seen Black Opal at all. Um, there will be regular collectors who've maybe been with us for, since day one who haven't seen Black Opal in ages. I can't remember. I think the last time I had it was in Ivy House, which was about what? how long? Three years ago? It's got to be about three years ago. These are beautiful organic opal nuggets. What? Okay, no, 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 no. I, like, again, I was definitely thinking triple figures, Ross. That's where we're starting. I've just looked. This 300, we're going to melt the phone lines. I hope our call centre have been prepared for this. We've got 300 available. Okay. Jewellery makers, you know that we are, we're all gemstone fanatics, aren't we? We wouldn't be tuning into jewellery maker. We probably wouldn't be making jewellery if we didn't love our gemstones. Um, and we all want the rare, precious, exciting gemstones. And we want to be able to uh, access them at an affordable price. I'm going to say, again, a big statement. I think this is the most affordable price black opal I've ever seen. Probably, and probably ever will. For the quantity, for the 300 quantity, that's the only reason that we're going to go anywhere near this mega auction uh, um, price point. Alison, I don't know if you've looked up, but 49.99 is our start price. Wow. No, you see, I was expecting that sort of price to be the finished price. Really? Yeah. We haven't seen it for ages. Ages. May. Oh, no, no, we couldn't. No, we, mate, you we, know what? When we went back in Ivy House, Black Opal would have been 149, wouldn't it? The first time I saw it. It would have been, first, it would have been about £150. How big's the strand, by the way? 20 Ooh, centimetres. No, you see, I, I'm, yeah, thinking of, I'm thinking of a little. You know the little gold boxes? Yeah. It would have fit in one yeah. of those, so it was only. What? Oh, I can't ten wait for you to no, see your reaction. Because I know you've strand. shopped on this. I can't wait to see your reaction. I hadn't realised it was a price. twenty centimetre strand. Yeah, that's why I was. Next price, jewellery makers uh -oh. for beautiful, genuine black opal. Again, remember it's that firework let off by night, not by day. You see more of an explosion of colour because of the dark body colour. Not your price, jewellery makers. What on earth? We're at $19.99. I can bring you agates and quartzes for that price. Certain agates, dyed agates. I can't bring you black opal. That, that, yeah. That's 90. That now, has that amount of colour play. Now, why are we. It's going on. It's it's, that should be a red one. It's not your closing price, Alison. We've got 300 of them. Yeah, no, we've got 300. <clears throat> They're going to sell at $19.99. Yeah. We're going again. We go again. Good luck, jewelry makers. It is an explosion of colour. It's a it's a fascinating gemstone. Mm. 
But you know, I love opal in all different varieties. I love it from Lightning Ridge. I love it from Cooper PD. I love uh, um, your sort of your white opal as well. I love your dendritic. But black opal definitely has that level of excitement, don't it's you think? It's got that drama. It is drama. It's that. It's that. It's almost like a Moulin Rouge. It's it's that very dramatic. Yeah, and you know what? We probably had to sort of uh, um, duck out of Black Opal, maybe on the back of the Adam Sandler film, um, because it pushed the price and the desirability of that gemstone through the roof, which maybe made us think, okay, no, no, we, we're not going to be buying Black Black Opal, and that's what we'll do. We we'll make an executive decision. We'll step away from that gemstone. Remember that quote, they often sell for higher prices than white opal because the color contrast is much greater against the dark background. Here we are casually at 17 pounds and 99 pence. That's, that's, yeah. And we're going even lower. That's you know those of right. you that have got threes and fours? I oh. think you'll up your quantity. I do, I think you'll up your quantity. Oh my goodness. Because we're not stopping there. We're going even lower. You are not paying $17.99 for 15 carats of black opal. I can't wait to get mine. I'm not going to get it till next Sunday. Oh, no. you got to wait that long. Oh. Alison, you might up the quantity that you've bought. Because I don't, I don't mean we're just going a little bit lower either. <laughs> 14 pounds and 99 pence only move the decimal point this would have been 149 previously that's like don't take this the wrong way but that's a plastic price yeah, it is it actually that, is that's a plastic it, 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 yeah it genuinely is you're getting 15 carats of black opal for, for under 15 quid you, it's you, mad you that is actually mad that, that, yeah Look at the colours. See the reds? Yeah, I know. Remember Look. that statement? Reds is the, the, the most intense reds is the most valuable. Look at this on Adam's recording. Red. Wow. And guess what, no. jewellery makers? We've got 300. We don't just throw the word mega deal in for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We've tipped over the first third quantity. Alison. We're going lower. I can feel a cramp I coming on. <laughs> I told you, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alison's got cramp because she's got cramp. She's got a little money spider who's popped in no. the solo right in front of me. <laughs> um, oh my yeah, goodness. He's in shock. <laughs> money spider's popped in the same. What are you doing? How these is it these should be worth more than that. Can you see him there? No. <laughs> Anyway. Is he, is he like this big? Yeah, he's tiny. That's all right then. Keep he's him over diddy. there. He's diddy, diddy, up he goes. <laughs> right, jewellery makers, we're going even lower. He's come down and gone, how much? Yeah, I'm off. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. This is, this is... It, no, no, again, it is, I agree. All joking aside, this is black opal. Let's not lose sight of that. Make oh. the most of this price, of course, because yeah. I don't think we've ever done black opal at anywhere near this price. But seriously, it is black opal. Let's not forget that. Black mm. opal is the most valuable of all your opals. You know, um, and the more play of colour that you get. It's not black opal with just like a suggestion of play of colour. It's black opal with play of colour in its entirety. Gemologists will say an opal with over 80% play of colour is exceptional. These exceptional. Are, these are amazing. Yeah. You've got the most exceptional demonstration of play of colour across every single one of those beautiful freeform shapes. This one keeps coming round. There's a smiley face there. This one keeps coming round and there's a sort of maroony colour that goes into red in one of them that yeah. is absolutely amazing yeah. just there yeah did you see it that, yeah, that sort of maroony before you go into the blues and greens incredible it i don't think incredible. i've ever seen that before can we go back to the aurora borealis because again this is yeah. uh, for, for me the the op an opal a top quality i'm going to say more ethiopian opal than australian opal um am i allowed to be controversial oh i prefer ethiopian opal 
because you get more I play do. of yeah you don't just see play of color on the surface like you would do with an australian opal you see a pl play of color through it yeah because it's got translucency it's got that jelly. so look at that it's like that in a gemstone it is you've literally got the beautiful flash of red and orange and green in a gem and as that shifts in nature because that those are flat photographs but as that shifts in nature it does on the strand as it moves as it moves round you've got that colour going round just like you know just like your we say does. oh look that looks like the aurora borealis that's a flat image but just like the borealis it moves and it's absolutely and it's stunning that. and you're going to be able to see people pay thousands to go and oh, see and it's on my borealis. bucket list you know what that and that you're going to see it on a daily basis if you've got this strand what you need to do is go and see the aurora borealis that took some saying and wear your, wear your black opals. Yeah, at the same time. It's just perfect. It, it, it <clears throat> is gemstone nature mimicking itself. Absolutely incredible. In Some of you might have actually seen it recently because we had it here, didn't we? We've seen I it. I didn't. Do, I missed we, it. We could see it in North Wales. Could you? So one time I didn't sleep. I slept through it. Ah. Oh. Didn't see it. Um, Gutted. Ross is just saying. Oh my goodness. Here. So look at this. Paraba tourmaline, white jadeite, teamed with lapis lazuli and black opal. Oh, wow. The opal's on the ends. Can you see on the yeah. side bit? On the side bit. It's more blue. It's actually more blue than black. Um, but and, and the play of colour, I mean, I, granted this is a photograph, but it's... Yeah, that looks more like Australian opal because it's like green, isn't it? Whereas you get the full colours with it. That's why yeah, I love Ethiopian rain. opal. I prefer Ethiopian opal myself. Um, it is all personal. We had 300. 184 have gone. <laughs> it's not your price. Alison's glasses. I, I, I love it under £10. Look at Alison's glasses literally. <laughs> <up> <laughs> the same I, way. I, I, Me, I want it under I, £10. I, I, wow. You have 50 seconds to get involved. Genuine Ethiopian opal. Under a tenner. That's what we're doing today. We had 300 of these. Told you'd be go joining us and getting more. Wow. Told you so. Janet says I'll have five. Thank you very much. Janet, oh, yeah. you've just got uh, 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 carats. A black Ethiopian opal for less than 50 quid. Oh, my God. That's amazing, isn't it? That's ridiculous. When did you ever think you'd be able to say, I'll do a multi-strand Ethiopian piece? Never. Like, never. You, you, no. Never. We had 300. Again, the phone lines, as you can imagine, have gone completely crazy. And so many multi-buyers. Isn't that exciting? That we so can exciting. actually, we can actually multi-buy on black Ethiopian opal. <laughs> I find that absolutely incredible. Oh, oh shut up. Me. Even if it, like, if this was 99 99 I'd still say that's a great deal. Yeah. Goodness me, we had 300 of these. You need to be checking them out, though, lovely jewellery makers. Amanda, Barry, June, check out. And look at the quantities that are in your baskets, too. Jane wants tune. Um, London, Sandra, Barbara, Norma, Emma. I can't read. Every time I read a name, it jumps. Yeah. Since my eyesight funny. Um, look at how quick that call screen is moving, jewelry makers. Sixes, fives, fives. Here we go. Look at this. David Morris, ribbon earrings with opal oh. and spinel and diamonds, POA. That means I can't afford it. Yeah. And I have to say, I'm, that, that, I'm, the opal's. Opal is a very expensive gemstone. Um, again, three years ago when I was in Tucson, op Ethiopian opal was more expensive than Australian opal. In, um, and I think, you know, it might well still, I don't know, might still be the case. Um, but I get it. I do get it. I think yeah. with Ethiopian opal, you get more translucency. So you don't just see the play of colour on the surface because uh, uh, Australian opal is quite opaque. Um, whereas Ethiopian opal is almost like, it is like liquid water, isn't it? Which is obviously how it forms. There's a definite difference. Um, and you, but you don't get it for a tenner. 
You don't get it for a tenner. It's not a gemstone that fetches single figure price tags. That's ridiculous. It is actually ridiculous. All joking aside, we had 300. Well over half the stock has gone. How are we doing, Roscoe, in terms of quantity? Okay, double figures, double figures. We're down to the final third. Susan's just snapped at four. Debbie's just got six. Debbie and Middlesex have just got four. Mandy's got three. David's got three. Julie's got four. Uh, I can't keep up. Honestly, I can't keep up with you. Um, if you have it sat in your baskets, like Christina in Devon who wants five or Joanne who wants five, um, double figure quantities, and granted it was high double figure quantities, does not hang around for very long. In fact, there you go. I've got 45 out of 300 left. <laughs> and you're surprised with that price? <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised at all. I'm, yeah, one thing, I suppose I am surprised that it hasn't sold out already. Yeah. Because when was the last time that we had black Ethiopian opal? Well, I can't remember. I think you're right. I think it must have been an Ivy House. I think so. I can't remember seeing it. No. I might be wrong, but I genuinely can't remember seeing it for ages. Uh, do you know how I would know? Is because I would have revisited my PowerPoint. Right. So that jogs my memory. Seriously? <coughs> we had 300. Hampshire's got five. Somerset's got three. Well done, everybody. Down to the final 37. What a day. What a day. Amazing auctions today, Roscoe. Absolutely amazing auctions today. And it's only just beginning because we've still got the Colour Wheel Jadeite strand to bring you with the lovely Alison and her amazing masterclass project. We're very excited about that. Um, well done, everyone. You can still get involved, but you need a little bit of urgency about you now because we've only got from 300 down to 27. Um, again, I think it might get, be another one that sells out. Um, and that's because loads of people are saying, well, at that price, I might as well get a few of them. Well, you might as well. Be rude not to. Once upon a time, it used to be a gem that I, you know, one strand was more an investment, more of a considered yeah. purchase. Yeah. Now, under a tenner, let's not get used to that, though, because it's not normal. Um, well done. Clock to close, everybody. The final 23. So if you are Gillian, if you are maker on the phone line, stay where you are. Tracy in Lant Manchester. Cumbria, who wants three? Kent, Janice, Hertfordshire, June, Anna, Jill, Hampshire. London, Christina who wants five, Joanna who wants five, Lorna or Gloucestershire, Linda in Leicestershire. You can still do it, but you need to be quick. Look at that call screen. Every time it moves, by the way, it's either a confirmation or someone joining us. Sometimes, I've got 16 out of 300 left. Yeah, left, so this won't see another show. No. If you if you're thinking if you're thinking ah oh, I'll get it next time it's on it's not going to be on. It's going to be on next there, time. There won't be a next time. And it's not an easy gemstone to get hold of. Um, good luck and make sure you check out. Well done, jewelry makers. Now coming up. These are great. Just, just one moment. Give yourself a pat on the back for what everything that you've if you've managed to acquired today because there's been some special auctions today savvy shopping today yeah some amazing auctions and it's not done yet i want to show you alison's masterclass, which includes arguably whether you say historically whether you say financially rarity most definitely Whichever angle you look at, this is one of the most exciting strand purchases we've ever launched. And as far as Ross is aware, it's the first time in a project. Because this took, I don't know if you know this, Alison, two years to put together. Right. Oh, I'm not surprised, because it's stunning. Cast your mind back out, uh, to when we launched the very beginning, really, of Jade Fever, yeah, as I refer to it, <laughs> it was literally during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, a difficult time, obviously, globally. And some of our amazing suppliers, who we've got great relationships with, so they attended uh, the Hong Kong Gem Fair. And we're going back to, what, 2019, 2020? Um, and unfortunately, they didn't actually cancel it. They didn't cancel the event. Bear with me on this one. Instead, they postponed it. So what that meant was you had every single gem trader 
waiting in Hong Kong Harbour, paying a daily cost for each of their gemstones, um, waiting for the, for, the, for the gem fair to hopefully start. You've got to remember those traders do 90% of their business at that fair. Sadly, it didn't happen. And one of our collectors actually had to say, I've got to cut my losses. I can't continue to pay the expensive Hong Kong Harbour fees. And they, he approached us. And that's how Jade Fever started. But at the very beginning of that, we said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could recreate our own version of the Gumps necklace? Gumps being the um, San Francisco jewelers, create an absolutely beautiful multicolored type A um, jadeite strand that encompasses all these strands. And they're about 10,000 pounds. Now it's coming up. This took two years to put together. First time in a project. Ross, how many do we have? 50 available opportunities. Plus you've got the inspiration from our wonderful Alison. Um, that's coming up in about 10 minutes time. About 10 minutes time. We also have... The what? Gemstone jump ring. Gemstone jump rings. In what gemstone? Uh, a variety. Jasper, lapis lazuli, quartzite, jadeite, amazonite, amethyst, carnelian, and all natural. Look at that, Alison, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. Carved gemstone jump. I know, I love them, I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, they also are limited jewelry makers. You get we have less than fifty of both of these projects. Yeah. Uh, but but then that, that that's an amazing. Put it into perspective. Get, that's actually a really good quantity. That's each, actually a really good quantity. Each of those gemstones is hand carved. You know. Yeah, and each each whether it's whether it's the color wheel, whether it's the 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 um, jump rings. They're all very rare gemstones. Oh, totally. Stunning. Amazing, amazing, amazing jewellery makers. Congratulations. All natural. They are, we can confirm, all natural. Um, we're going to put both of those masterclass projects on pre-order, which I think is quite brave for us. Yes. <laughs> considering there's only 50. I bet he knows what he's doing. Eh. He does. I don't, I, I don't doubt him. We have faith. <laughs> he does, he does, yeah. He does. He knows what he's doing. Um, in the meantime, Roscoe. Oh, yes! Oh, forgot about those. Which parcel? As a bundle. There's only 50 left. You've bundled them together, which oh. means you also get additional savings. Amaz Knight has been completely thrust into the limelight by all the big jewelry designers. Um, you've got Louis Vuitton, you've got David German, you've got all those big designers working with Amaz Knight, and rightfully so. I mean, it's this beautiful tropical gemstone. It's a member of the Feldspar family um, that believe that has this internal glow. You can find it from a few different places around the world, um, but it's difficult to get hold of at the moment. Like I said, because you've got the big designers really embracing it. Um, the only other gem that I can really compare Amazonite to is maybe a Pareva, a Pareva tourmaline, of which, by the way, is one of the most expensive gems on our planet. Now, we've bundled it today. How many have you got, Roscoe? 50. You're getting 8, 6, and 4 millimeter. Totally natural, no enhancement to this. Look at just fascinating that this gemstone literally forms in the ground. It's the first time it's ever been bundled. What's the location of this, Roscoe? Oh, amazing. A parcel that we purchased about two months ago. Um, this is your African Amazonite. You can see how beautifully colour matched it is. But today, because they're bundled, you're actually going to get a better deal than the original launch. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? That, that technique. Right angle wave. Do that technique, yes, that you've just demonstrated. Ah, oh. you could literally do that, couldn't you, with Amazon? Do that, oh, that with, the, with, with both of those. It's going to look stunning. Okay. 
Look at it. For natural Amazonite, how about £30 per strand? Well, you consider nice. it's £31,500 in Louis Vuitton. Mm. David German for one little tusk is about two grand. You know, it's not an inexpensive gemstone. I have to say something. Over the last two, three years, yeah. I think the quality of our Amazonite has just got oh, better and better and tell better. Tell me you saw Ross's parcel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> could, could we have some context please Al? <laughs> tell um, me you saw ross's colorado amazonite parcel <laughs> finish your sentences <laughs> Al. goodness me you get yourself in trouble oh ross i'm actually blushing <laughs> <laughs> bit warm in here Al. because that was absolutely incredible no, absolutely was incredible when was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, when was that, Ross? On Monday? No. Friday. Friday. Sold out, by the way. Oh, thanks. But again, yes, we bring amazing quality we... Amazonite. Whether it's Peruvian, whether it's African, whether it's Colorado, our Amazonite is amazing. It's... They'll all be different in some yes. way, shape or yes. form. Because, like, think emeralds. Think about the difference between like a Brazilian emerald and a Zambian emerald and a Colombian emerald. Yeah. They've all got characteristics. That's what makes gemstones so exciting. Absolutely. Here we go. We spoke about David Yerman. If you want the tusk, told you, it's about a thousand pounds, isn't it? When we first started showing it, it ha yeah, it's doubled in price, that has. That was 500 pounds when we first started. And if you look at the link of the chain, it's a very small tusk. <laughs> it has doubled, hasn't it, Ross? <laughs> <coughs> no, I'm sure that was five hundred pounds. I think you're right. And if anyone knows, it's Ross. He's well read up on our on Amazonite. You've got three strands. We're at eighty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I've already got multi buyers. Again, look at that tropical glow. <coughs> How about then, jewelry makers? Remember, Look you're going to get that. a saving because it's bundled. <clears throat> Sixty nine ninety nine, three strands. Didn't it win number one most popular gemstone here at Jewelry Maker as well recently? That's what twenty five pound per strand, and we're going even lower. <gasps> But that's for all three. That's for all three. You know that you have. You, we, we brought. Look, we brought Amazonite on Friday. Sell out, complete sell out. It is a gemstone that people love, absolutely love, for obvious reasons. Lots of um, beliefs behind Amazonite. They they see Amazonite as the bridge between the cold of winter and the warmth of springtime. It's the, uh, often referred to as a gemstone of hope um, and positivity, believed to help with stamina as well. $69.99 and we're going even lower massive close out deal all totally oh and gosh. utterly natural I love he's it. back the money spy is back I kid you not well, I need to show you now because I feel like I'm talking oh yeah see him here he is you need the Mission Impossible music. He's like, stop it with these silly prizes. Oh, he knows we're talking about him. Look, he's killed in a ball. Oh, good camera. Good camera there. Close out deal. The money spider's like, what are you doing? £49.99. pence. If you bought them individually, obviously they would be at the higher price tag. They'd still be amazing. Don't get me wrong. You'd still be getting the incredible deal. Um, but to get the trio today at $49.99. Sorry, I'm very distracted by that little guy. Um, well done, everybody. Virginia, Pauline, London's getting two. Congratulations. Hello to you, Fife. 
Nancy in Bristol, Gillian, Carol, how do you, Patricia, Angela, Amanda, Gillian, I'd only had 50 of these. He's still there. <laughs> have you got some nice messages coming through? Go on, Ross, do share. Do share. Not for general consumption. Oh, well, have you seen Ross's bundle? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was worse, Lisa. I said parcel. You did say it's parcel. I don't know. I think parcel's worse. Hi, Lisa. Lisa saying that is just stunning. What, are we still on Russell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, individually, jury makers. Sorry? The eight mils were £25. Six mils, 20 and the four mil, 15. So basically that's 60 pounds. That's where we should be. We are 10 pounds lower, jewelry makers, for that beautiful, glowing, natural African Amazonite. Should we go again? Let's do it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Half the stock's gone already, jewelry makers. We're going even lower. I know the managers were trying to do, outdo each other last week. Ross is on form But are you today. carrying on, Ross? Yeah, he's on Some form. Some of these prices are ridiculous. Yeah, they're amazing. Remember, Wayne's away. He is Wayne. He is, he is away. He is, he is Wayne. Wayne. And this is one of his favourite gemstones as well, Ross, isn't it? You love a bit of Amazonite. Cornwall, Wiltshire, Marie, Carol, Virginia, Patricia, Pauline, London, Five, Sandra, Nina, Nancy, uh, Donna, Gillian, Amanda. I can't keep up with you, honestly. We've only got 50. Lynn in County Antrim, you're there as well. 25 seconds, we're going to do a closeout deal. We're already £10 back in your pocket, just because you got the bundle. We want to give you more than a £10 saving. You can get all three strands. If you see them individually, they will go back to that original price. And also, yeah, we had a little malfunction in the middle of that auction, didn't we? Where, you know, packages and things like that were spoken about. <laughs> Basically, you're buying the 8 mil and the 4 mil, you get your 6 mil for free. Wow. Free gemstones. One of the most coveted gemstones at the moment. Why not? I could go to Monica Veneda. I could go to Ashley Clark. I could go to Louis Vuitton. I could show you all these big designers that are working with it right now. Piaget is another one. Loads of big designers. I could go to David German, And you wouldn't see 39.99. No, not anywhere. No. No. I'm, I'm, I think Ross is right, you know. That David German Tusk, I'm fairly sure, has doubled, doubled. in price. Literally doubled. You can go to Cartier. There's another one. Cartier. Mm. I've included it in their collection now. Clash de Cartier. There you go. 60,000 60, for that bracelet. And they're, they're beads. They are beads. They're not faceted, they're beads. Six, I can't even say it, 60 and a half. Is that right? 60,500. You know when a, a number is that big, I can't, yeah. I can't get process. my, I can't get my head around it. If there's too many zeros, I can't get my head around 60, it. Sixty thousand five hundred. Sixty thousand five hundred. Mm. You can almost, the, the five is <laughs> almost irrelevant. It's so over sixty thousand. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just, wow. I mean, Adam said, even if he had that money spare, he wouldn't spend it. I don't know. It depends. It's all relative, isn't it? That's a lovely piece of jewellery. I do agree, though, Ads. I do agree. That is an indulgence, isn't it? That's extravagant. <laughs> That's treating ever. yourself. Yeah. So if ever I feel like buying, if ever I come into money and can afford a Cartier bracelet, what? Adam saying he'll make me something from jewelry maker and just give me the 60 grand okay I think it's fair I probably won't ever have a surplus 60,000 pounds though um you never know we have just 17 of these left jewelry makers massive massive close out, out deal for today and today only they will go back to the original their original individual prices which will total 60 pounds so you've got 20 pounds back into your pocket Happy days. Oh. Samantha, Beryl, Zoe, hello to you, Westminster, Pamela, Hilma, Kathy, Ann, and so on, so on, so on. So you could buy two strands of black opal. 
Yes. With your spare 20 yes. pounds. Oh, they'd look, look great with it too, yeah black opal spaces who would have thought who'd have thought that yeah move over cartier you can keep your, your 60 grand where's bracelet. your black opals in that i he's back i'm gonna make myself he's on the desk now he's getting oh. brave i'm gonna make myself a, a, a whole suite there he is he's on the desk now um, hello mate Now, appetite. Sorry, if you're scared of spiders, I've just realised. Sorry. He is only tidgy. He is tiny. That's why I haven't screamed and run off sound. I don't like spiders either, but he is only tiny. He's quite cute. <laughs> um, six and four? Oh, well, it's just waiting to be a, a Marla necklace, isn't it? Flat spiral. Oh, very nice. Now, this is the last auction before the break. <gasps> I've got how many? Oh, that's gorgeous. 70 available for Neon Appetite. I know I say it repeatedly, but remember this statistic. Leon Appetite's average carrot weight is 0 0.15. It's like granular. Granular, like, like, like sugar. A grain of sugar. That's just stunning. That's a lot of Neon Appetite. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to do a massive closeout deal. Two strands. Not just closeout, massive. Oh massive closeout deal we've got 70 available and straight away christine's in there um it's the, the, the two gemstones that we really have been sort of i don't want to say champion that's the wrong word but the two gemstones that we've seen like a a, a pivotal point um have been amazonite and appetite yes. you know in terms of the the big jewelers working with yeah. them and and rightfully so rightfully so i mean it's fascinating that this gemstone forms within the ground it's very high in, in phosphorus same as us we have phosphorus within our bones many people believe that appetite forms where dinosaur bones once lay oh. um so that's how you get this beautiful gemstone many people believe um hang on a minute ross i've just looked up it says 39.99 already oh first Massive, yeah, that is massive. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, Ross. That's you're buying your six mil. Oh no, 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 you're not. Buying no, you're not. You're not. Mil. You're buying your four mil, and you're getting your six mils for free. Yeah. Yeah. So that's two strands of of free six mils. One in the appetite. Basically, one. yeah. Oh, imagine these together. Oh, those together appetite. will look gorgeous. Would you mix them all together? Yeah, I would. It's just like perfect tropical. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Put some of those amazing pearls with it as well. Oh, and your black opal. Yes. Oh, we're making high end jewelry today, jewelry makers. We had 70. I'll have that project. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Cat Florence. Yeah, absolutely. She's a big fan, a big advocate of your neon appetite. David German. Um, Louis Vuitton, Cartier for your Amazonite. night. One hundred percent. Cat Florence is a massive champion of your Neon Appetite for obvious reasons. It is beautiful. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, there is still quantity. Massive closeout deal. You've basically bought your four mil and you're getting your six mil for free, um, which is incredible. Um, well done. What? No. Ross. He says, I've got 17. You don't have to sell out of absolutely everything. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, so, yeah, we do. 60 seconds, we're going to crash that price. One minute on screen, and then we'll go straight into your break, jewelry makers. So, if you love your appetite, that wonderful, deep, rich, intoxicating blue, dial quickly, because we're already at the four mil price. So this is the price, 19.99 is the price of the four mil. You're getting your six mil for free. Does that make sense? However, in 39 seconds, we're gonna take it to an even lower, lower um, mega auction, or what did you call it? What did you call it? Massive mega deal. Mega we're gonna go deal. even lower and then we're gonna put a 60 second clock because we'll have to limit the time that we uh, 
it's been broadcasting this basically um we had 70 it's all down to the quantity that is rare to get that quantity um especially in your neon appetite jewelry makers again a gem that is hugely popular um jewelry editor were publishing about it the fact that this wonderful gemstone actually has you know real sense of tropical uh saturations it was a great deal at 19.99 that's seven pound fifty a strand. Sixty seconds to close this auction. Then I've, we've got we're going to dive now. straight into a break. When have you ever seen Neon Appetite at seven pound fifty? And look, it cast your mind back a few years when we had Neon Appetite, but they were usually rondelles, weren't they? They were much often shorter rondelles. strands as well. Yeah. yeah. You get full thirty-eight centimeter strands, and they're bigger. They're actually bigger. Seven pound fifty. What on earth? Please know that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Uh, Yorkshire, Carol, Pamela, Jacqueline, Amanda's got two. Joanne, Maker in Cornwall, Sarah, Brenda, Judith, Samantha, Donna, David's got two. Virginia's got two. Five's got two. Suja and Pauline and Marion and Tracy and Alison and Maureen and Helen and Lucas was like, I can't keep up. There were 70 available. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, in 10 seconds, we're going to be ending this auction and diving straight into a break where I'm coming back with the Colour Wheel Strand Jewelry Makers. Arguably the most coveted strand that we've ever commissioned in our, in our um, years of broadcasting. Do not go anywhere. Join me and Alison on the other side of this. <laughs> Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. everyone it's Mark here I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up my kits are just incredible in the nine o'clock hour we've got macrame with fire agate beautiful beautiful agate and then at 12 o'clock we have got one of my favorite products we've got diamond tubing brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and pearl elements it's going to be the most amazing show we've got so many surprises competitions giveaways it's going to be an incredible show so that's Tuesday 23rd of July join myself and presenter Eleanor it's going to be amazing <music> it's Mark here. Now as many of you know on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be rather a special show. 
we're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we gonna start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me, I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewellery and accessory organiser. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colourways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? and also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Gosh, as if it's in like afternoon now already. I know. Had fun though. Today. Where's it? Oh, we've had great fun today, haven't we? That's done the done. Oh, oh no. We've still got time. Still got so much to bring you. Oh yeah. The if you've never seen. Did you say booyah? Yeah. <laughs> booyah. Just feel the felt appropriate. Is that what Matthew Mahoney? All right, all right, all right. Just it's an Ameri isn't it? It's an American Army thing in there. Is it? Booyah. Booyah. Oh, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say things like that when I don't know what they actually mean. I'm sorry. I have no intent on offending anyone. If that, <laughs> that is offensive, I'm so I sorry. I think it's bad. I think it's good. That's okay then. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Stop doing that, Alison. Mm. Right then. Anyway, we have. Booyah. You're okay. <laughs> We have the finest, certainly the most coveted strand we've ever commissioned here at Jewelry Maker. Certainly, it took two years to put together. Mm. Two years Stunning. was invested in making this strand possible. And, and to our knowledge, it's never been in a project up until today. I don't think so. Um, I meant to ask you during the break, Roscoe, and I obviously don't need it right now, but when we do get into the presentation, do you have the gumps pieces? Thank you. <laughs> um, plus you've got those amazing natural gemstone oh, jump rings. Fabulous. All hand carved. I call them gem rings. As a gem, rings, jump rings. That's gem rings. Yeah, better than jump. Yeah. So the the gem rings are the ones on the left. And then the Gumps inspired strand you've got on the right. It's looking a bit. Two of the best projects that we've seen all year. Yeah, without doubt. They're great. And I've had some really nice projects. That strand, by the way, when we launched it, I, yeah, we were, we were part of that show, weren't we? Two years ago, 2023. Gosh. Sorry, one year. We've actually managed to reorder this and we've but we we're only able to get 49. Wow. On the launch, we had 300. This time, 50. Including the one that obviously yeah. Alison's worked with. It is, uh, like I said, the, the most coveted trans we've ever worked with. It's gorgeous, though. But before all that, <gasps> let's talk about your beautiful pieces of jewellery, shall we, jewellery makers? Do you want to take it away? Okay, yeah, I'll do this one, because this, this is a piece, piece of my amazing. heart. That's amazing. So this is number 73 and it's Jim Hall. He says, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a memory wire necklace, uh, which has been decorated with red glass beads, gold Ato beads and gizmo coils made using gold plated wire and blue aluminum wire. The drops are further gizmo coils. Oh, interesting. With EF color enameled bezel cups. 
Best wishes to everyone in the draw. I, that is so effective. And I, 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 I'm a massive EF colour fan or F colour, whichever Beautiful. way you want to say it. That is just gorgeous. Love well that, done. Jim. Well done. They're amazing. Nice original design. I've got a lovely pair of earrings here that I think Becky's going to love these. I think you're going to love these. Because, Becky, you've had your eye on that necklace, haven't you, over my shoulder, so I think you'll love these earrings. From Joan Barron. Um, Joan, you're number 74. Um, they're beautiful, aren't they? And Joan says, Hi, jewelry maker. Been making lots of these earrings. After Mark's clear demo last week, I've been inspired. All sea beads and pearls are from jewelry maker. And she says, Good luck, everybody. Joan, they're beautiful. Good luck to you. Yeah, very Alhambra. Mm. Very Alhambra inspired. Amazing. Well done. I have another Alhambra inspiration. Oh. Says uh, this is seventy five, and this is Valerie Ferguson. Says, can I please enter these two rings? Now I've not seen a ring before, no, um, I Valerie. It's great. Uh, my obsession with clover jewellery continues. The larger ring is made of six mil agate rounds and gold eight o's, eleven o's, and fifteen o seed beads. I've adjusted the sizes uh, used to make the smaller diameter ring. It's made with four mil pink agate rounds and gold eleven and fifteens. All components from JM. Big thank you to all at JM, and thank you, and good always good luck to my fellow offers. They look great. They look really great as a ring. Well done, you. Yeah, loving that. Very uh, clever. Yeah, very original. Um, I have number 76 from Joe Green. Hello to you, Joe. Um, and Joe says, after hours of sorting out my craft stock, it was time to have some fun. Um, this is an agate stone I found and loved it. I also found a lot of toggle class and some oddments of jump rings. Um, hope you like the result. Uh, a necklace composed of lots of leftovers. Good luck, waffers. See, that's the joy of jewellery making. Yeah, you absolutely. Re, you know, refashion pieces, yep. can't you? Yeah, reuse. Love that, Joe. Well done. No, number 76. And number 77 is Jill Taylor. And says, hi, everyone. Here is my entry for this week's waff. Um, I was on a, I was on a day tour, I think it must be, but managed to glimpse uh, these ocean jasper beads with Mark. So they jumped in my basket. Didn't even get a proper look, but wow, it was a good move. They're gorgeous. Came up with a simple necklace and just added a magnetic clasp from my stash. Everyone, uh, earrings to match too. Good luck to everyone and best wishes. That can be, it, it can be really, you only need that moment sometimes. You're like, I'm having that. Yeah, just and yeah. I love Personally, Ocean I just Jasper. Say, Ocean Jasper's mined out now. Yeah, yeah. It's All another gone. one that's that's not but I love it. Absolutely they lost the location. Love it. Oh, is this Once. another one? They're so Once careless. I know, for goodness <laughs> sake. Well, because you can you imagine it was along the coast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hence its name. Ocean Jasper, yeah. Oh, but they forgot where on the coast. Oh and my they goodness. lost the location. Then when they refound it, it was actually mined out then. Beautiful. Crazy. Love Ocean Jasper. Well done, you. Beautiful. Um, well done. Okay. Right then, jewellery makers. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because this, these two projects are simply, simply breathtaking, but both projects are extremely limited. There's literally 50 or less of each of these. Yeah. They, they'd work wonderful together as well, I have to say. They would work well together. Now, cast your mind back to round about the pandemic time difficult time of course um but it's when really so i'm not going to dwell on this too much but obviously it's when uh we certainly got the opportunity to start including jade into our portfolio and it is now our number one gemstone year after year i think actually now um so we've brought you started off with green i remember the first time gemporia ever did jade and it was like oh my goodness we got jade and of course it <coughs> excuse me the apple blossom green yeah <clears throat> but when we were learning and, and i was very much learning with you because I, I you know i knew of jade i i knew of, ne of, of nephrite but i didn't really know as much as we know now <clears throat> but one of the presentations that we used to show quite frequently when we were when we were discussing the color wheel or what colours mm. jadeite can form in, um, was this. And it's actually found on Mason and Kay's website, which is, uh, um, they sell only jade. <clears throat> and it's also on the GIA. The GIA use it. Um, they say, um, yeah, we were showing it in particular when talking about gemstones like the reds, the yellows, and the lavenders. And they say that's the boulder of the skin, which has completely disappeared on the market as it's the only material that's never been stockpiled. Do you remember all this? Um, so it was that colour wheel. And we showed it a few times on air. And we were like, 
Wouldn't it be amazing if we could go, we could do all wow. of those colors? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could do all of those colors in one piece of jewelry? And I forget who said it. Might have been Dave. But someone said there is a piece of jewelry like that that was sold by a jeweler called Gumps in San amazing. Francisco. And by the way, a former employee has even reached out to us. Oh, have they? And said, Interesting. Who sources Jade from us as well. Yeah. And has said, I have jewelry maker Jade and I've worked at Gumps and I can tell you there is no difference. So please wow. know that you are getting amazing quality. But this is the necklace. So there you are. Dave said, there has been a piece. Are you envisaging something like this? Wow. Perfect. That would be amazing. If we wanted to buy said piece of jewellery, it would be £10,638 from Gump's Jewellers. That is type A jadeite. It is on a gold clasp, but can I just tell you that gold clasp was not... Um, I'm going to say a couple of hundred pounds for the gold clasp, maybe. Yeah. Ten and a half thousand pounds for that. And it's sold. Just to get up close to it. Adam, it's been a while, isn't it, since we've done this? Have you? Look at the quality. Up close, you have the opacity. Look at the quality of yours. Everything in there, haven't you? You have the honey yellows. You have the reds. You have the imperial whites. You have the blacks. You have the greens. In what might be the first time ever seeing it in a project. Look at those yellows. Those yellows I are know, amazing. I know, they're vivid. We can already see people dialing through. Whether you section the colours like Alison has done, whether you keep it random like Gumps has done. Well, not so, it's not random actually, there is an order. We launched this colour wheel strand on our birthday in 2023. And it has taken us that long to get, get it again. Back. That long to get it again. And it is, I think if you, you know, if we were talking about the history of jewellery maker, strands that, you know, have been probably some of our greatest successes. And I don't just mean financially, I, I mean certainly in terms of acquisition and the whole story and the fact that look, you've got, you haven't just got one rare colour, you've got the whole colour wheel. The Gumps piece that we just referenced, £10,638. We're going to better that straight away. And it's half that price immediately. Straight away. Straight away. But, of course, we're not stopping there. There is another one on Gumps. Oh. That's actually around about okay. the price that we're at right now. £4,717. That was sold, I think, at first dibs. So that's probably like a pre-owned price. A pre-owned price. We're already round about that price. Here's another opportunity. Seven mil. Multicolored jade. Right, let's read it together. Since 1861, Gumps has been a destination for jewellery that is distinctive and timeless. Once considered more precious than gold and treasured for thousands of years, jade um, has been more highly prized in Asia than any other gemstone. It represents harmony, balance and protection and is thought to bring good luck to the wearer. 17 inches long, so actually this is longer. That's £2,000. Our next price crash, jewellery makers. Beats the £2,000 price tag. How about a bracelet? Because you'll make a couple of bracelets. Oh yeah, easily out of that. There's 15 on the strand, and we're a thousand pounds for that. Hang on a second. Just for kicks. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. How many did we say? 14, 15. Okay, so that's that length. 
Oh, so that's for the bracelet. Thousand pound for the bracelet. It's going to use about this much. You get four in that. Of which you can make four of those bracelets mm. for. Out of our strand price, and we're not stopping there. Our next price crash, lovely jewellery makers. And still not your closing price. You also get some sterling silver jump rings, by the way, mm. and you also get a lovely little pochette, which I know I haven't even mentioned yet, but you do. And Alison's instructions. At £499, still not stopping there. I've got 50 available. Hello, Caroline. Again, a very oh, uh, yeah, a, a, an amazing jade collector. Um, thanks to Jewelry Maker, all the colours of jade I has now been entered to my collection at reasonable prices. Um, if it wasn't for you, I'd still be sourcing it all. Exactly. Mm. That's the thing. And we all would, though. That's the thing, Caroline. Um, and we would all have to part with the tens of thousands of pounds that we've seen in the places like Gumps, the Jewelers, um, or first dibs at the very least that's the thing now we can actually get hold of all those colours at an achievable price tag it is heirlooms of futures isn't it Caroline you know when we talk about pieces like this that's why I buy opportunities not just because I love the gemstone I find it fascinating I buy it because I know that these are heirlooms of my girls mm. It's on five-way split pay. For some reason, our graphics aren't showing it, but it is on five-way split pay. In a few moments, we'll drop the graphics out. We'll bring them back in, and you should be able to see it then. Are you ready? <gasps> the finest jadeite strand that we've ever had at Jewelry Makers. That's not an overstatement, is it? Oh, my gosh. That's not an exaggeration, is it? It's I mean, certainly the most coveted yeah. for many a reasons. The fact that, look, you can, we can literally say, okay, look at Gumps. This actually looks more opaque, actually, to be fair. Mm. It looks far more opaque. Um, they've mixed the colours up. Uh, they've knotted it. They've put it on an 18-carat gold clasp. I'm talking, I don't know, maybe £200 for the clasp. Maybe. And it's £10,600. The fact that we've actually had collectors reach out to us from San Francisco say, listen, I work there. I can tell you. That's amazing. Um, jewelry maker Jade Eye is as good. Yeah. Is as amazing. good. We're at £299, jewelry makers. Um, we have only 50 available opportunities. That's all we could get. We originally had 300, I think it was on the birthday last year. Um, <clears throat> so, and it's taken this this long, that time frame to actually be able to repeat this opportunity. Because you're not just sourcing one color. And you've got to remember one boulder does not produce all the colors. No. You know, one boulder might produce apple, um, apple green. One boulder might oxidize with a bit of red. Um, and they're not small. They're, they, you know, they are, what, eight mil, these Ross? Seven to eight millimeters in a graduation. The launch back in 2023, when we had 300, we closed here and it sold out here. Fast forward and things change in the jade, in the gem world. You know, it might be, okay, I've got some of this available. I'll bring it to you. Or it might be a case of, I've got so you can have this if you buy this. Yeah. There's lots and lots and lots of different things that go on behind the scene with your gemstone buying. For example, we are quite, it's quite common for us at Jewelry Maker Run across Gemporia to go, okay, well, I'll buy X amount of this gemstone and I'll buy X amount of that gemstone. What's the best deal that you can do on all of these different gems? On a one-time deal today, you're actually going to beat the birthday deal. I've only got 50, though. We should actually be at a higher price, logic tells me. Um, yeah. But oh, it's actually the opposite. Because we managed to negotiate somehow. Probably bought it alongside another gem. That's, the most, that's usually the situation. 60 seconds, and we're going to take it lower. Take it lower. There are only 50. I love this strand. I, I love this strand. I absolutely adore it. I, I mean, I love the lavenders. Words. Yeah, I, I kind of have done a little bit. Yeah. But I've kept them together sort of in groups, but I have mixed them up within there. So the lavenders with the whites is, 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 is mixed in, but then I put the black between them and, and again, I had a play. And again, think about it. You know, yellow forms under the red umbrella. That's if the, if 
the, the boulder oxidizes. You've got lavenders in there as yeah. well. You've got beautiful apple blossom greens. You've got black jadeite. You're taking so many of the colors, as Caroline said earlier on, which many of us would still be trying to source. Yeah, absolutely. Or still saving to buy. I had 50, our birthday auction in 2023. The number one, the big auction was this strand. We had 300, sorry. All of which are type A grades, by the way. The reds, the yellows. <gasps> today, and today only you get a lower price. That's, that's an incredible price. Any other jeweler would go, yeah, well, we got a great deal. Yeah, yeah. The deal's yeah. ours. Any other, any other business? We'll take the profit and run. We'll take the profit and run. Absolutely. That's not what jewellery makers is about. You've heard, I, I can't remember the amount of times I've heard our founder actually saying, we get a great deal, our customers get a great deal. That's that whole ethos. That's yeah. what, how we actually source the rare gemstones. Uh, and the reason why, you know, it's not about how much can we get. It's not like a, a sort of... A, it's not profit, 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 profit. It's about actually fit, give it, offering our amazing collectors the opportunities to work with those beautiful gemstones. Um, we launched this strand back in 2023 at £299. This has graduated from 7 to 8 mil and they are natural. Type A grade. Um, it is on five-way split pay jewellery makers. I know our graphics don't say it, <clears throat> but it is on five-way, isn't it, Ross? We'll I reset it for you. Bear with. <coughs> and by the way, it wouldn't have been on that on the launch, I don't think. Not the five way, but all the bosses are away, so you know. <laughs> you know. So that's less than fifty pounds on split pay. Yes, yeah, about what is it? Forty? Thirty nine pounds something? Is that right? Yeah, thirty nine pounds eighty. That was good maths on that my part. That was very good maths on your oh, part. I'm, I'm impressed. impressed. Well done, Pauline. You've done it. County Durham's got four. Yeah. Well wow. done. Alison in Bristol, Nicolette in Surrey, Maker in Cumbria, Laurel in Oxfordshire, Virginia in Hampshire, London, Kerry, Brenda, Margaret, Chris in Cleveland wants two. Another Cumbria wants two. Um, amazing. I'm going to leave this with you, jewelry makers, and I'll keep you updated on the quantity because I have got two projects to bring you as well. Hello, Amanda. Thanks, Alison. Now I know what to do with my strand. Oh. Um, I bought a uh, I bought at launch. Yeah, well done. This beautiful strand. It is beautiful. So it's you would use section strand. it as well, Amanda. I love it like that. We we had a strand. It wasn't the same colours, but similar to that. And and I I've always loved that strand. Well, it was a it's necklace. It was it? a ready made. Necklace. So this to do that with, and just having the sterling silver, that touch of sterling silver with the Mobius at the bottom. Yeah, just, lovely. Just a little bit different, but you could just do it the full loop if you wanted. You know. You know four yellow yeah yeah i'm fairly sure we've sold four yellow jadeites for best part of 100 pound yeah four you've got that multiple times over right i'm going to bring you the next project so we have got the demo to bring you as well these are oh you're brave your gem rings okay oh do you want to use the recording here you go here you go. Look at all those. That's a really good slide. I wonder who did that. That is an amazing slide. Who took that photograph? Who lined them up perfectly like little soldiers? It was Becky. Was it you, Becky? Well done. Well done. That's a lovely recording. Yes. Um, okay. Look at all these. Yes, they're horrendous, oh, isn't it? Carved. You get masses. 12 of each gemstone. Right, okay, let's go through it. Amazonite. Yay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Amazonite. Tick. Lovely Amazonite. Look at the glow on it. Da -da 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 -da. Amethyst. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> Carnelian. <laughs> Love that car. Beautiful. What do you say? Jasper. The red Jasper. Don't see that very often at all. Lovely. Yeah. Lapis lazuli. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just being like a machine pointer. Yeah. 
Quartzite. Oh, hang on. Sorry, yeah, Quartzite. The quartzite's the yellow, yeah. Yeah, Quartzite. I'm going to say that's gold and silk. I think it is quartzite, Jade. Our, our specifications only say quartzite, so we'll just go with that. Let's go with that. Um, and then this one is your type A jadeite. Which, again, you don't expect to get that in a, in a project, do you? No. 84 gem rings. 84 of them. Yeah. Plus, you've also got your jump rings, which come in four. Oh. Hang on. Oh, I've lost it again. Can you go back? The jump rings include four, five, six, seven, eight millimetres. Ten pieces of each size. Okay. One pound per gemstone jump ring. And then one pound for all your jump rings. Other jump rings. Your basement uh -huh. ones. It's crazy, base. isn't it? That's awesome. They've got to be carved. But I, I kept that with... Um... No, I didn't. It was the other one I put the, the gold with. But the Ooh. silver. But you And this is a great project for using with your, um, what are they called? Soldered closed jump rings. Yeah. Because you, it, that's got a mix of, so I have added more jump rings, obviously. Um, it's got a mix of sizes. It's got a mix of closed and open jump rings. I just had great fun with it. Do you know, I, Alison, I can't believe we're at a pound per gem ring. I know. Without the Seriously, jump rings. Seriously, which is a genuine gemstone. They're all natural. Yeah. That's been carved. I know. Literally hand carved. We've got 50. We're going to go straight to the price point and then dive into the demonstration, jewellery makers. So you get the instructions as well from our lovely Al Alison Tari for that beautiful chain mail. Oh, chaos mail. I love I've it. I've called it chaos, chaos mail, yeah. Chaos mail necklace. Oh, it's like us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little us. bit of chaos. So I was like, oh, yeah, but chaos, good chaos. chaos. Oh, yeah, totally. It's a pound per gem ring. Crazy. And then all your uh, your silver plated uh, base metal jump rings for a quid. And you also get your, uh, don't forget your instructions. Not your price, though. Going even lower. Good luck. Geraldine's got two. Anjum's got two. Cindy. Ooh. Oh, Durham's four. got four. Uh, David, Aisha, Lorraine, Kerry, Alison, Stephanie, new customers, Karen, Linda. There's only 50. These will sell out. These will sell out. What it's do just... they know that we don't? I think they trust Ross. And the fact that we are uh, well, a, a pound, pound for a genuine both. gemstone solitaire. You could have a collection and add one mm -hmm. to the end of a collection. Mm -hmm. How much is that per gem ring? Seven eighths, fifty, six. Sixty p. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. That's natural amazonite, natural carnelian, yeah. natural lapis lazuli, natural amethyst, natural jadeite, natural jasper, natural quartzite. All for a pound Stunning. each. Stunning. Amazing. Right, we're going to dive into a demo, everybody. If you have any questions for our lovely Alison, make sure you check it out your baskets, both on the colour wheel and also your gem rings. Um, take it away, Alison. So this is a great way to get into chain mail. Yeah. Um, I was going to do this all the way around, but I I liked it. Right. I, I, I put it, I thought, I don't know that this is going to be comfy on the neck. Yeah, I'd agree. So I, I then went to do the spiral. So you just had the chain mail at the back. So I just had made some chain mail at the back. Now this is a, an easy project. Mm. So what I did, and I'm not going to put all the jump rings I did on here. Um, I think I used somewhere between two and 300 random jump rings. So you know if you've got like one left somewhere and mm. they can be closed, they can be open, they can be textured, they can be shaped, whatever. Throw them all in. Mm. It's great. Yeah. So what I did was I kind of laid stuff out, got me little V going. I emptied them all out of the bags and mixed them up because that's the only way I can do random. And then for each um, section of, I'm going to pull that down a bit. For each section of, of or p package of jump rings I had, I literally did that with them and just built oh, it up. Yeah. So I just sprinkled them over randomly and i built them up with different um different shapes these are obviously the same size because otherwise it's going to take me forever to undo that <laughs> to sort yeah. those out um yeah and when you've got sort of enough take a photo of it it's not going to look exactly like that 
when you put it together but then start up here so if you get you know sometimes you get jump rings and they're sort of stuck together when you when you're fetching them in yeah um leave them and just close them and say well that's my starting point so i pop that onto um i used i used a toggle clasp so i just popped it onto the toggle clasp and that's that makes quite a nice little holding point for the start um so just like that, popped it, popped it on my my um, toggle clasp, and then off I went. When I'd got that into the chainmail section, when I'd got it into the, the the chaos bit, so I sort of started off there, and I just added them on. Remember to do them in different directions. So don't just add them all in the same way as like you would do a Mobius ring, because you'll end up with something that's quite flat. So. You want to add them, I'm just going to, sorry, whisk that away. You know, turn some back so that they sort of sit funnily. Don't just put them in and just play. They can go anywhere. That's the whole point of it. So that's the only way I can do random is to do it like that. You might be able to set out your little uh, piles of jump rings you've got and be able to just pick them up, but I can't. So I literally started there and worked my way down and then back up the other side. So that's what I did with the jump rings. I'm going to move those all to the side now. That is that is the, the very, very, very easy part of the demo because it, it that is just playing with jump rings. That is literally just playing. So then I did, then I thought, well, if I don't want that round the neck, what am I going to do? And one of my favourite weaves, um, and I'll turn it sideways so you can see it a bit more, um, is the double spiral. I absolutely adore a double spiral. And I thought, because I can connect, um, I don't know how tight you can get in there, but because I can connect the, the jump rings into it quite a bit, it almost like blends into, and then you start doing it properly. If you've ever seen anyone spinning wool, mm. they've got this mass of sheep's wool, and then it slowly becomes yarn. Yeah. It's great. I love watching people spin. It's fabulous. So I'm going to show you how to do, well, I've kind of shown you how to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the, the double spiral. One of my favourite. If you do this so in... that's the bit at the back. So that's the bit round the back. If you... Just pass that next. I shall over pass that I necklace can... over. If you do it... Oh, had I not got much show in there? Sorry. Ooh. If you do it in a gold or a gold plated, it looks so rich. So, so rich. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a lovely, lovely weave. So for that part of it, oh. I, I did that in... Um, five mil in a diameter jump rings and I used a um, hundred there's a hundred jump rings so 50 on each side of the neckline but you can make it longer or shorter however however many jump rings you've made your random your chaos bit with you can you can change it um, and vary it so we're going to have uh, we've got our two jump rings stuck on our on, on our thingy so when you're doing the spiral th these are bigger I know these are bigger I, I've completely forgotten my large, large jump rings. So I, I'm using the biggest ones I've got. So I've opened a load of jump rings. I've got them all mixed up down here. So you're going to put two jump rings into this. So you're going to start, end up, and I'm only doing it with my hand for speed. Do use your two pairs of pliers. Um, but picking them up is going to slow us down and I'm conscious of time. So you put in your two, so you've got a two by two. You're then going to take these and you're going to... Now, I, it doesn't matter which way you twist it. The twist will give you a, 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 a clockwise or an anti-clockwise spiral helix. So I tend to do them clockwise, which means I'll take it and twist it away from me. And you get... And I'm going to try and hold this for you. Trying to photograph this was a nightmare. You, you get a little, uh, if I hold them like that, can you see that little eye, like a Venn diagram? Do you remember Venn diagrams from school? Mm -hmm. So you get this little eye, that's where your next two are going to go. So you hold it like that. Of course, as you get later, it's settled into, a, it's settled into itself. So you're gonna pop two into there. Whoops. And I also left my favorite chainmail pliers at home. It's stupid. They're a set of, a pair of pliers, but they're what I always use when I'm chainmailing. So you can see better now. I've got that other one in where they're going into the eye. In there. 
pick up you come on and go in there as well now the if you're doing it with the five mil in, in a diameter it is tighter so it'll hold its shape but you can do it with this i've done it with bigger jump rings and it just gives you a looser effect so now we're going to ignore the first one and we're going to look at the the um eye created for the next two so we're going to pop another two in there and you're always turning them the same way so let me pop another one in i'll show you what i mean by that pop that one in there so when you have them you're always going to twist them the same way if you do it the other way it won't work and you'll very soon see you haven't got a spiral so you're always turning them in the same way again you're going to take the top one out of the way now you're getting a little bit tighter so we want to go in the gap of those two and those two okay so it's always the last two pairs and it's always where they um bisect each other and you get the little eye forming so we'll pop that one in and that one in if you can do a mobius ring you can do a, a double helix and and then your spiral just starts growing you can if i move those out of the way you can see it twisting already these will fall open so it's a lot more open but if i can you have you still got the other one on show or shall i fetch it over here yeah let's grab that so you can see on this one where you've got that much better spiral i love these i love our jump rings look how shiny our jump rings are um if i try and twist it the wrong way you can see it does undo but you just keep doing that and you just keep adding them twist add the next one twist add the next one twist add the next one and then when you get to the end i've added a couple of jump rings above and a couple of jump rings into the last one and i've even split it to make it a little bit more random so it's gone from this random um arrangement of jump rings <laughs> And it gradually then becomes this smooth one and i like that transition from the random to the to the to the smooth spiral so then you end up with this really comfy spiral yes. behind the neck with this randomness to begin with so i'm going to pop that back to l and that it is one of the simplest necklaces you can do it's 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 great the spiral th that makes a really nice bracelet yeah. um on on the uh on the bust it makes it this you can make also and do a bracelet with that but the spiral makes a nice bracelet and that's all you've got to do it's really all you've it's got to do absolutely gorgeous it's a fab thing so you've got i reckon a couple of hours but okay maybe amazing we've only got seven left of your jump ring project by the way and this comes with it so alison's in, in instructions you're actually getting kind of like a double demo in your instructions aren't well, you? well yes but to be fair the first one's not very complicated well, it's, I don't know. it's like i can't do do just four steps I don't know. <laughs> um hi it's lorraine saying love alison's idea oh, and there is also um much potential to play totally. with these gem rings i've used them in in um, byzantine weave i've used them with um uh helms weave yeah. you can you can use them with anywhere where you can use a fixed jump ring but be aware you're only going to get probably two of your one mil jump rings in there so it, that's a limited set a gemstone in the center you could set a gemstone oh listen you know you. you know we had in the we had i can't remember when it was more auction but remember we had um ross you show, found a piece of jewelry which actually had jade around the outside was it the opal yes. was it during the opal auction yeah so it actually had the jade around the outside somebody's asking how many of each gemstone you get you get 12 12 of each gemstone it's amazing isn't it for 49.99 i've got a feeling i've only used half of them in there i think i've only used yeah, half i think so too because you do get masses i wondered why i had another bag <laughs> ah yeah now quick recap on the color wheel strand jewelry makers how many's left Okay, less than 20 of these available. When we first launched the Colour Wheel Strand, it was £299 back on our birthday, 2023. 
um, it's taken us this long to be able to revisit this strand again it is all still type a grade look at that you can get it home for um, less than 40 it? pounds those those reds and yellows and lavenders are just insane and they're some of the rarest colors that you could get um if you want some inspiration obviously you've got allison's beautiful piece of jewelry but you can also go full on gumps couldn't you and just restrand yeah. it in kind of uh so just mix just basically mixing all those lovely colors up 200 carats definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity though jewelry makers um so um, if your name is Swansea, Patricia, Nina, Hertfordshire, Jay, Kathy, Kerry, Brenda, Chris in Cleveland, Maker in Cumbria, um, I would check out. We only actually had 50. Now, we have got, just before the top of the show, we've got a couple of minutes to talk about oh. Neil Amani. Neil Amani is gone there, right? You know... Nilamani's I didn't know it. Yes. Yeah, oh no! Mm. That's another one gone. So Nilamani is a is a variety of kyanite. Basically, it's one Love of the it. rarest and arguably the finest variety of kyanite. Um, and basically, it forms in um, in Nepal, um, in extreme altitudes. It is to this day historically one of here. I'll pass that back to you, Alison. Oh, um, one of um, the most treacherous expeditions that can only be described as that expeditions that um, Steve and Dave actually went on in sourcing the gemstone. Anyway, they struck up a friendship. But yeah, Nilamani, we haven't named it Nilamani, locals named it Nilamani, and that basically translates to um, I think it was something like beautiful blue stone or something like that. Um, it's they call it the heir to the Kashmir sapphire. Mm -hmm. The Kashmir Love sapphire, that. equally, its win its mining window was very very fleeting. Um, but just take a little look at this beautiful strand. Um, it has already gone. It's mined out already. Um, the graphics are on your screens, and that gets you this beautiful neck. <gasps> I I made it as a choker because I just think that is just stunning. So wait, you get 110 carats. Yeah, it's gorgeous, Alison. Yeah. 110 carats of your kyanite in your six mil. Uh, and then you yeah, get I think it was. 88 points in a beautiful connector that's haloed with white topaz. Which is already, the connector is already set. Already set for you. 79.99. Crazy, isn't it? That's an amazing price for the strand absolutely incredible price but look at that and it's all natural from the most extreme altitudes um locals if you remember when uh steve actually steve and dave went up to the mountain they actually had a, a pet dog and dog and go to a best of friends oh yeah literally it's so cute um anyway we're running out of time i haven't really got time to tell you the whole story um coming up tomorrow jewelry makers um you've got a fabulous show you're going to be joined by Lindsay and joined by carol yeah. is that Lindsay? car right okay because there's two Lindsay's in there and carol vickers yeah. um eight o'clock you have got the beautiful 925 sterling silver dragon scale what? spacer bead what? i know i know i know i know uh ten at uh, nine o'clock sorry you've got your multi gem box set um yes. ten o'clock you've got your four millimeter rounds crazy close out deals Ooh. love it um 11 o'clock is all about cotan jade how amazing and then 12 o'clock is about your universal bench um, worktop holder. I've got one of those. It's fab. Don't miss out on that. <coughs> is it's it? Fabulous. Is it yeah. a great tool? Oh, fabulous. Unbelievable. Fabulous. Alison, when are you back, darling? I'm back on Sunday. Oh, lovely. So we haven't got too long to wait. No, no. Are you having a chill now this week? I oh, know I've got so much on. <laughs> oh, not so much though. It's almost like I was trying to rub it in then. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, thanks, Al. Sorry. <laughs> Try and have time to chill. Oh, I will. I'll find, it. I'll find so 10 busy. minutes somewhere. Always so busy. Mm -hmm. I'm back with you on Tuesday morning, jewelry makers. Remember, we've got an amazing show for Mark's anniversary. <gasps> yes. Happy anniversary, Mark. Yeah. So I'm back on Tuesday um, morning. So enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. The sun is shining, I hear. Ooh. Um, so fire up the barbecue, yeah. Um, and enjoy the rest of your, your day stroke afternoon. Um, tune in. Make sure you tune in to our lovely Lindsay and Carol tomorrow. We love you, Alison. Love you too. Love we'll you see guys. You soon. Have a nice Bye. day.